you know, when I do a big playthrough, let's face it, there's people out there who still do. This is how you don't play videos, and I'm okay with them now. I don't care anymore. Being very honest with all you guys out there, I don't give a crap about you. This is how you don't play anymore. I don't. I, the, the, they can't use the nasty comments anymore because my comments have been off for two years on YouTube. So I don't care about that. If they want to do edited style content videos, you know, abridging my playthroughs and say I suck at a game, I don't give a fuck. I haven't cared for a long time. Let them do it. It's not going it to... If anything, I've proven still being here after 11 years, those videos are not going to end me. If anything, a lot of them give me more attention sometimes. So I don't care. Let them do it, right? Shout out to the outsider who just gave me $3. So thank you, Phil, for the content. I've been watching for a while. You're a big inspiration to me. The reason I started making videos in the first place. Thank you very much to the outsider. Wave Ice just sent me $2. Said, I find your channel. This is how you don't play. Your vids are entertaining, though. Well, thank you, Wave Ice. The thing is, if you're watching this is how you don't play, and all it does is make fun of my gameplay, I'm totally okay with that at this point. I don't care anymore. You know, years and years ago, I used to be an idiot, and I would say, oh, no, people making fun of me, and this is how you don't play is a big deal. It's not really a big deal. Make fun of my gameplay. I don't give a shit. You know. Uh, Commodore92 to me $3 said, any form of edited content you're okay with people making about your stream? I, I said a million times. I don't care what anyone does. Okay. We want to make a montage of Phil failing. A montage of Phil raging. Whatever. One thing, again, to make fun of me for stupid shit that I do on my stream. You want to live restream and joke about it? Fine. Lampoon me all you want. You want to make... This is how you don't play videos? Fine. Make fun of my gameplay all you want. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, people have requested... On this very launch day of PlayStation 5, for me, it's not really launch day for PlayStation 5. I got it late. It's an impossible situation. <laughs> He's got hard. <laughs> but on this first day of me doing major PlayStation 5 coverage, everyone's been screaming for me to play Demon Souls. All right? So we're going to play Demon Souls. I've already added a death counter to the bottom left. I don't know if that's a good place for it. We can move it later if we need to. I think that this counter is just annoying as fuck because I just want to jump right back in and play. And instead, I got to worry about updating this fucking counter every time. All it does is annoy the fuck out of me. So I think this everyone can just say, fuck this. I'm not doing it. Phil, you didn't update it. Phil, your death counter's off. Phil, Phil, you didn't see Phil. No, stop playing, Phil. Stop having fun with the game, Phil. Open the death counter, Phil. Fuck you. How about that? Fuck you. Let's see what all the hoopla is about with this Demon Souls. I never heard of this game before, so I don't know anything about it. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> Cloud mode activated. On the first day. <laughs> Man was granted a soul and with it clarity. Why are there subtitles for this? There's, on the second, why are there subtitles for the fucking intro? Upon Earth was planted an irrevocable poison. A soul-devouring demon. Yes. Hang the body from the sky. <laughs> the souls of the demon. I'll fight the demon. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm daring Dirk Dastardly. Wait, what? That's a villain's name. Why should I have that name? Fuck this. Get out of the way, you stupid undead. See, these guys are easy to fight. Wait a minute, they're fucking me up. What is this bullshit? Oddly, these enemies, these normal enemies, are much tougher to fight than the three bosses I just defeated. Oh, no. oh! Shit! It's a big boy. What's hilarious is he looks tough here, and then later on, he's just like a regular enemy. Not a big deal. Don't worry, you can summon your friends to cheese the game and take away all difficulty. Take that, motherfucker. Uh-oh. They're ganging up on you. It ain't fair. Summon your friends again and cheat. Keep cheating with summons. That's right. Have them ha hold your hand for the entirety of the game, defeat destroying all actual challenge. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Look what it is. Oh, boy. Slightly different from the original. Slightly different. I think maybe he got a facelift or applied some cream under his eyes. All right. Demon Souls, baby. Deactivate the clown mode. All right. Demon Souls. Demon Souls. Gonna kick some monster ass. Oh, we don't know how bad my ass will get kicked. Yeah. 
the Pearl Jam version. Okay. I guess we're gonna leave everything on default. Let's leave everything on default. This should be online by default. I hope. I hope it actually works. Because my big negative of the last time I played Demon Souls was that the servers had been fucked. So you couldn't play it online. So there was no way to see messages around the world and you couldn't summon. And the, the, the boss, the big boss, which is the mo old monk boss, I couldn't fight a human. Which is the whole point of the boss fight. I couldn't fight a human because it wouldn't work anymore. All right, change category. I shall. Okay. Everyone says I should change my category on Twitch. Here, I'm going to change this to Pansy, Pansy Souls. It's the easiest game in the entire frame. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Demon Souls of the PlayStation 5. For those who are watching on YouTube, you missed the intro segment because I fucking didn't hit record because I'm an idiot. Now I'm recording. <laughs> Oops. All you do is you miss the intro cinematic, which is exactly the same as the original cinematic, only it looks like much nicer now. There's really no difference. Um, okay. Um, I don't know what to do. I was just saying, when I did my original... Well, my last run of Dark Souls was the Dark Souls 1 Magic Run. So I kind of don't want to do magic this time because it was so fucking overpowered in that game. I have no idea if magic's overpowered in Demon Souls or not because I don't know if I really even did a run with that. So I kind of want to do something with no magic. Um, has very high dexterity, it says. And has the Falcon and a shield. Yeah. Really? People are telling me magic's even more overpowered in Demon Souls. Then I really don't think I want to do that. By the way, just so you guys know, the new character for Demon Souls... PS5. His name is Console Dumas. Do you guys get the get it? Console Dumbass? Yeah, we already heard that, Dumbass. Wasn't funny the first time, you piece of shit. Console Dumas, a true Dumas for the next gen. Alright. That's what I'm going with. I think I might go with Wanderer. Just to, I don't want to fucking be here all day. Um, So let's see. None. Augit of Guidance. A stone that radiates a guiding light. I totally forget what that does. Grass Jelly, you get some HP. Elixir, increases the rate of stamina recovery. Bright Water, MP. Uh, raises item discovery rate. Kunai, a fire bomb. Soul Remains, extra souls. Fire, none of these are good. None of these are good. Seriously, none of these are good. Um, at all. They all suck. All these early weapons, you know, fuck it, none. Don't even give me a fucking item. All right, so what I could do now is make a character... So you may re see this. Why are there five saved creations? That's because, ladies and gentlemen, in this version of Demon Souls, the next gen Demon Souls, okay, um, you can make five characters. And I don't know why they think this is like okay because it kind of undermines the whole system. You can switch between the characters on the fly. I think it costs some souls to do so, but it's not like crazy amount. So you can have a build that's magic. You can have a build that's melee. You can have a build that's a hybrid. And you can go between them to beat certain bosses, which I think is kind of silly. I think that you should just have to play it like the old school, but I'm not going to do that. Like, seriously, I'm going to play it like it's old school Demon Souls. I'm not going to switch characters. I'm just going to keep the same. This is what old school gaming is about, brother. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Conversalist cheered. It said, Dumas is climbing the nobility ladder. He received a new royal pronoun. That's right, Consul. Consul Dumas. Outpost passage. Here we are, folks. We're up, in, uh, up to our fucking eyeballs in the shit now. We're playing Demon Souls again. This is always bad when this happens. Um, already, there's problems with my setup. What I'm going to have to do when I play this game is kind of move things around. Let's actually look here, right? Let's see here. Let's go to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom. We'll have the deck counter. We'll look here. We need to pull the camera. We'll pull the camera. We'll rotate. We'll line up the camera. We'll be the bottom. Now, you guys can see everything at the top. See that? That actually works out much better, I feel. Because now you guys can actually see the health, the MP, the stamina, the amount of souls. Right? 
So what do we got? Let's see here. We got. Okay, here we go. Standard attack is R1. That's right. And you run by holding circle? Yes. Now, how do you jump? Oh, oh god, I don't remember how to jump. That's not good. I'm gonna have to remember how to jump. It's important. Alright, can I parry the first enemy? I did! Or did I? No, I took damage. I didn't parry. Fuck. I thought I did. <laughs> I thought I was gonna impress myself. I didn't impress myself. I failed already. I did not parry the first enemy. Oh, I got the parry. Nice. I finally got a parry in Dark Souls. Well, I guess technically it's Demon Souls, so... Let's try that again. Oh, that's two parries. I can't believe it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for my playthrough of Demon Souls. I've done everything I wanted to accomplish, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>
and the Chieftain. In the original game, they were supposed to be all six, but they ran out of time and they cut a whole world. And that's what that broken art stone is. But they just didn't re-add it in this one. What's weird is that today a story came out. People have found um people have found a new door in this game. Okay? There's a new door, and the door, no one knows what it's for, but it was not in the original Demon Souls, and no one has figured out how to open it yet. So people are wondering what it is, if they actually added in new content to the game or not, because Bluepoint outright said they were not going to add new content to this game. Yet then people found a new door, and they're like, how is that possible? Of course, people are going to surmise maybe it's DLC, but no one seems to know yet. It was on Twitter today, that's why I know about that. Alright, so... We gotta talk to the witch, who I believe is probably hanging out around here, around one of these staircases. But of course, there's all these people you could talk to as well. Um, Carlton Jr. Cheer, he said, you know, I couldn't tell when you were playing Astro. Honestly, the 60 frames per second on the stream, as well as the visual quality of this game, has blown away my expectations. This might be the best quality stream you've ever done thus far. You think so? You think this looks good, huh? You think this stream looks good? You like? You guys liking this? You like this? You like the 900p 60 frames? It's still not pure. I can see it's a little bit of choppiness, but it's certainly one of the smoothest things I've probably ever put out, at least That's in recent memory. All right. I was right over here. Behind these. Right here? Yeah. Damn it. The parry again. Missed the goddamn parry again. Son of a Okay. That I got. There we go. Slam. Slam. Don't don't up. Don't don't up. Let the boys be boys and slam. Who the fuck got that one? Okay, this gate doesn't open till later, and I believe that's a shortcut directly to the boss area. Actually, we gotta go through the whole stage first. Fuck you. With your stupid crown of wood. Okay. Why are people saying to move the camera to the other side? There's, you're, you're missing nothing. I'm blocking nothing. Fucking ridiculously calm down, man. Like, overly sensitive. Jesus, just enjoy the game. People gotta complain about everything. Up here. See, I played this a bunch of times. What, two, three times? I did two playthroughs, and I, I grinded on this game a lot. My first playthrough. So because I grinded a lot, I actually remember the stages pretty well. At least some of the early stages. I don't know about the later stages. Oh, I interrupted them. Gotta watch your step in Bulletaria. The, uh... The durability of the contracting doesn't hold up these, these days. You gotta be careful. Alright? <laughs> Oops, I slipped. Alright. Let's get revenge on the asshole who pushed the boulder at me in the first place. There he is. He's standing right there. Hey, doofus. That was not a parry. I'm about to die because I'm in a stupid stairwell. Oh, I did it way too early. Stupid stairwell. Hit the wall. Okay, now I remember this. I specifically remember this. If you go one direction, and you got red eyes, who's a crazy pain in the fucking ass, and you can't really beat him right now. He's too tough to really fight right now because you do almost no damage and he almost insta kills you. I just don't remember which direction that is. Yup, boy, I told you I remembered. This guy is an asshole. He is so powerful, and he can insta-kill you. And I only have half health, so I'm not fucking with this guy till later. I'll come back later when I have all my health back, and I'll fight him. But I'm not going to fight him with half an energy bar, dude. That's just asking for trouble. Seriously, I, I'm not fucking around with that shit. So, hold on, because I just received a tip and I want to make sure it's legit before I, I give it any attention. The demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> uh, 
Dude, the graphics are so good. Look at his face. It's so creepy, but it's awesome to see him talking like that. All right. So that's going to be it, guys. That's all we have time for um, for today's stream. But obviously, this is a full playthrough I will be doing. Let's go ahead and save up the game. Because in Demon Souls, Dark Souls, you can save wherever you want. And when you exit, it saves your game. Good first session. Until next time, my friends. Demon Souls. Next gen fun. Very nice. Goes right to the title screen. That's fucking sweet, dude. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Demon Souls. Now, something important I need to tell you guys. First of all, as you can see, I moved my camera because earlier today I was playing this and people were complaining the camera was blocking the items I was picking up. So I said, fair enough, I'll move the camera so it doesn't block it anymore. But, but, why are people saying to move the camera to the other side? There's, you're, you're missing nothing. I'm blocking nothing. Fucking ridiculously calm down, man. I am now streaming and recording at at a higher bitrate than I was earlier today. I'm still at 900p resolution. I'm still at 60 frames per second, but it is a higher bitrate, okay? So what I wanna know from you guys, who are watching right now, live on stream and also those watching on YouTube, does this look smooth? Does it look like a smooth 60 frames, what you're seeing right now? And does it look as good as what I was doing earlier today? Does it look better than what I was doing earlier today? Because technically, it should look better than what I was doing earlier today, okay? Um, so it's up to you guys to tell me what you think, all right? If you think this doesn't look as good as earlier, I can go back to how I was doing it, all right? It all depends on what you think. So I'm going to do a, one video like this, one hour roughly, of gameplay of this. And if it looks better, or, or, you know, I'll leave it like this, but if people are like, nah, actually it doesn't look as good, then we could go back, okay? So let's see what you guys think. But anyway, continuing on, this is World 1-1 of Demon Souls. All right. So, by the way, guys, I should say this, because I haven't really brought this up in the last few days, but if you are planning on tipping me, I strongly recommend you use a registered PayPal account that has your information attached to it and basically says it's a registered account. Sadly, there are some people who are trolls who do unregistered tips, and then they try to charge them back. And if I see those kind of tips coming in, I usually refund them immediately. For example, I just got two that were just like that. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? Chances are these are probably, like, bogus tips. So, unless someone's here and like, yeah, no, that's a legit tip and that was me, you know. For example, I just got one from someone in Cryptic Metaphor, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, never heard of this person before, came in from an anonymous thing, who is this person, right? So, <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, here they come, oh, here they come. Here comes the freaking party, come on, what the f- whoa, whoa! He didn't even look like he was near me. <laughs> Lunging bastard. He seriously didn't look like he was near enough to hit me. So anyway, yeah. Basically, I, I, I'm seeing some tips come in from people I don't recognize. And, like, for example, does anyone know who Cryptic Metaphor is? Are they even in the chat? Is anyone in the chat want to take credit? If not, you know. There's no one called Cryptic Metaphor in the chat right now, you see? So unless someone fesses up, I believe these are all fake tips. There's someone who's trying to do all these fucking anonymous fake tips. I'm not going to put up with that shit. So, yeah. It's just actually, you know what? It's the same fucking person who did the last tip, only a different name. It's definitely bogus, see? See what I mean? Like, these people think I'm stupid or something? <laughs> right? Like, I don't... Oh, my God. Oh, okay. The Amazon driver who's who's delivering the audio cable, I guess, got lost, and then they, now they realize where they are. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, see, this is bullshit. I knew it. Okay. All right, so unless unless the tips are from a registered account or someone I recognize, I'm just not going to acknowledge them because this is all fucking bogus shit. Um, it really is. It's bogus shit. There's people who are trying to get basically get my attention and shit during the, during the, the gameplay. Derek says, I believe it was seven years ago that I did the original run of this game. I remember doing the original run of this game. I remember grinding to try to get extra levels in the light when I was playing this game originally. I grinded at night a ridiculous amount. This game seems easier somehow, says Kuzkari. It's not easier at all. It's that... Oh my god, see? It's that... I play so many Souls games, I'm more, I'm more careful and... I already know about certain things in this game, so I'm not rushing into danger and dying 5,000 times. 
But you notice I'm trying to parry everything, and I'm failing. I'm failing miserably trying to parry everything. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. So, by the way, is we're going to do a button up here tonight. Randy, are you here tonight? Yeah, so because you went and you, you saved him. Oh, Randy O'Button up's here? So, Randy, can you can you tell me if you just tip me? Because I got a tip that says it's from you, and I want to make sure it's really from you. Just because I got someone who's impersonating other people tonight. I want to confirm that uh, you tipped me. And if so, I will add it to the leaderboard. If not, I'll permanently ban this person. <laughs> By the way, I really desperately need the money to help with my tax situation. So, hint, hint. All right, you did. Thank you, Randy. Okay, thank you very much for the tip, Randy. I appreciate that. Dude, I don't want to hit that barrel. Late moon grass. Nice. Ah. Get my revenge on this fucker. Bitch. He screamed, but he took, again, he took no fall damage. I hate that. No one takes any fall damage in this game. He's a blood-curdling Wilhelm scream, but then he doesn't die. Look at the view. Wow. See, one of the coolest things about the From Software series, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, you can look out in the distance. You son of a bitch. Who just hit me with a fucking arrow? Who was it? What the fuck? This motherfucker who fell and didn't die crawled back up the stairs and hit me from behind with an arrow. You piece of shit. You little fuck. I can't believe that. <laughs> I see he hit me in the ass with an arrow. I can't... All right, anyway. The cool thing about... <laughs> that was funny. There's no Estus in this game. You eat these herbs. These herbs heal you in this game. Crescent moon herb, full moon herb. Basically, you're a pothead. Oh! Uh, uh, I'm high, high as hell. Yo, she's on the drugs now. He can't stay off the high. Chase the dragon. Oh my god, I do. I'm so high. I don't know why he's going. Yes, she on. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, my timing is so bad. He was, his attack is so staggered. Okay, here I am thinking he's gonna stab and nope. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. I said fuck you. Oh, God, who's this? Got another, we got a badass over here. You missed. <laughs> you missed. That was a bad call. Oh, here we go. We're back to the weaker healing item again. Okay. Oh, ID IC Warrior. Tip me $30. And I just want to confirm, but he's basically telling me it's a legit tip, and I want to confirm that. I think I should be able to. He says he wants to thank me for all my hard work. He's been watching me since Fallout 3. Cool. So he's basically telling me who he is, and I want to. I just want to confirm it's real. Um, yes, he is. Okay, thank you very much. This is real. Let's get this tip on the leaderboard. Thank you very, very much. IDIC Warrior, thirty dollar tip. I appreciate that very, very much. That jumps us up to forty nine dollars of tips tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think it's really messed up that people are so dumb that they fall for that and they would unload their money onto someone like that. But people are stupid. What can you say, right? They are. I remember how bad, bad it gets in parts of the game. You know what? When we finally get to that area that we kind of called Blight, early Blight Town, it'll actually be playable. What the fuck? I couldn't hit him. What was that bullshit? I couldn't hit the motherfucker. That was stupid. I was swinging over his head. I think he died. Yeah, he died. Finally, some fall damage. Uh-oh, we're going to finally see some of the creepy creatures coming up here. Don't you worry. Um, so Derek was actually thanking me for the smooth 60 frames per second. He's wondering if bug snacks and other games will look better now. So, again, i got to ask you guys. I've been streaming now for about 40 minutes in this higher bitrate. 
Um, oh, VG stuff says my streaming category is wrong. Yeah, I forgot to change it. I forgot to fucking change it to say Demon Souls again. I did. <laughs> I forgot. Hold on. Um, how does it look to you guys? Does it actually look smooth? And for those who were here earlier... Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what happened. My video stopped recording. This happened earlier today, too. I don't know what's going on. Something is making my video stop recording for YouTube. The stream's still going. Oh, I just got a backstab, by the way. That's the first backstab I got. Yeah, I don't know when the video stopped recording, actually. I have no idea. Oh, come on now. You fuckhead. I have no idea when the video stopped recording. At all. I looked up. It was recording earlier. Absolutely. Because I was tracking the length of time the video was recording. And at one point it was around like almost 45 minutes. And now I look up and it stopped. I'm almost thinking. Okay, something to do with the keyboard maybe? What? I don't know what could cause that. I've never seen that happen before. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm confused. This sucks now because now I'm in a new video for YouTube and I was going to actually stop playing this soon. But now I'm starting a video for YouTube that's like not even a minute. This sucks. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what's going on. It's something new. It's something new I'm encountering here. That's a problem. So, shit. Shit. All right, read message. I'm lost. Uh, oh, you're just stupid. You thought of that? <laughs> Ever thought of that? Raised by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious See? Objects. And one of these is broken and you can't access it, which is bullshit. King of a small yet industrial... Alas, the other monumentals have perished. Yeah. And only I remain. The last monumental... And no one cleaned up the fucking bodies. They're all just sitting there disgustingly mummified. Can you imagine the smell in this room? By the power of the monumental, the four sealed archstones have been unlocked. Now it is your turn. <clears throat> this is the red eye dude. He's a major pain in the fucking ass. He has a ton of health and he hits like a tank because he's supposed to be a higher level enemy from later. When you're a much higher level. But they put him here to, to, to guard an item. And I don't remember what item it is. But I'm going to try to cheese him. Maybe hit him with a firebomb or two before I actually have to head up fight him. Oh, never mind. Here he comes. Oh, Alright, that's not going to work. Look at my bicep. Oh my god. Half my health with one hit. Oh my god. Oh, that's it. He did the running charge. I'm done. <laughs> the running charge. Running charge of destiny. You are done. The running charge hits for multiple hits. When it connects, it's really ridiculous. So now I'm not human anymore. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a secret I need to reveal to all of you. I, too, am immortal. I'm actually a demigod like Cassandra, and I've lived many, many lifetimes. And this lifetime in particular, I've chosen to be a content creator on the internet. But I've done many, many things in the past. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> Great! I still want to kill this guy. Like, this is what I want to do for the rest of the stream. I want to kill that guy. Fuck him. AK Trader says the chat's bored because this sucks. Well, guess what? You're now banned. With the account that was created three hours ago just to fucking troll this game. See you in hell, motherfucker! Ah! Ah! Gabriel KO was resub for 41 months. Thank you, Gabriel KO, for the resub. I appreciate that. So, guys, I'm streaming till around 9.15. So, about another... Uh, let's see here. 35 minutes left on the stream, everyone. Currently, the top cheerer is Yoshino Lover. And the top tipper is IDIC Warrior with a $30 tip. Thank you guys for your support so far tonight. Appreciate that. If we do hit the tips goal, of course, I'll put on a vest. But with only 35 minutes left to go and almost 50 bucks, probably not going to happen tonight. But you guys have been very, very supportive the last few days. I really appreciate that. All right, guys. Anything else? Anyone? Any, any last-minute questions? Any last-minute contributions before we adjourn tonight? This is, you know, I appreciate those who were here and those who did contribute. It was a slow night. I don't know what happened. 
Shout out to Woke Up and Made This Username who just subscribed to the channel. Well, thanks very much. <laughs> I don't remember what that does. Alright, I'm pretty fucked because I don't have a lot of health anyway. <laughs> and now I gotta fight this red eye dude. I'm gonna see if I can hit him with a firebomb. When he charges me, I'm gonna see if I can hit him with a firebomb and then switch back to uh, healing items. Probably not. If he hits me with the charge, I die instantly. Hey, what up? Are you a fucking ass? It went past him, it went over his head. Get that shit off my face. Whoa, bitch. what the fuck? Seriously? I'm bad. I'm Did you see that? His work. charge animation was already done with. And the charge still hit me. What the fuck? His charge animation was done with. And it still hit me. And I died. <laughs> wow. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this right now. I think I need way more health in order to kill this guy. It's about the same. It's not really different. I guess I'll just use the scimitar. <clears throat> I'm gonna get fucked up. He's gonna kill me again, watch. <laughs> He's gonna insta kill me again. What did I say? Fucking shit. That charge he has is insane. Oh my god, dude! I think they made him tougher. I, I legit think that he's tougher than he actually was in the original game. It seems like that charge has more range. I don't remember it hitting me like that. I remember it hitting me multiple times, but I seriously don't remember it hitting me from that kind of distance and comboing like that. I remember being able to get around him and stab him from behind. I don't remember him hitting me like that. This kind of sucks. There's no lover cheers it later. I'll watch the rest on YouTube tonight and you missed my last cheer. Oh shit. He says, why'd you play this if you want to watch your older playthrough of it again and making me want to play it so much I'm hyped for it. Press F in the chat for the unread cheers. I've read every cheer. What are you talking about? I read every cheer today. There you go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill this guy, which really sucks now because my souls are stuck near him. <laughs> those, those souls are completely stuck near him now. And I, I might have to lose all those souls. Ugh. Yakuza 7 is great, says Mark McCauley. I agree. I really like Yakuza 7. You know, I played a lot of it this week. Taking a break from it to do the PS5 stuff, but I am going to play it again. And if I have room... On the hard drive of the PS5, I'm just gonna play it on PS5. God damn these assholes. They're doing the dance of fire. I can't tell who I'm swinging at. <laughs> can't tell who the fuck I'm attacking. There's too many of them. I'm stuck. Oh my god, I got stuck. Yeah, now I lost my souls. I got stuck against the fucking stupid wall. All I wanted to do is roll past him. I was going to try to grab the item. Because once you grab the item, he can't take it away from you. You keep it. And I think the item is good. <laughs> well... Well, <laughs> now, not how I want things to go, but it's how things are going. <laughs> and this is how it begins, when desperate men do unwise things. God, I do, I'm so off with the timing on the fairy of the spear. His spear is like a really weird delayed, delayed timing that he uses. It's very frustrating. Alright, there's no way I'm killing the red-eye guy, but I want that fucking item now. I'm seriously pissed that he killed me a million times. I'm just gonna try to run by him and get it. Maybe if I hold the, sh the, the, the shield, I can block his attack and run by him. Okay, run. Do you not know who I am? He must not know who I am. No, it's a hero's soul. I have to kill him. Oh, fuck me. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, get it! Oh my god! Yeah, what, motherfucker? Dude! It's an unknown hero's soul. That's not it. He drops the item. God damn it! This fucking guy is so frustrating. 
Oh, man. I don't even know if I want to bother trying it again because I can't even hit him once. <clears throat> yes, you are supposed to fight him. You could beat him now to get the item really early in the game and it makes the game easier. Or you could fight him later and then it's much easier to beat him. Um, let's go back to the Nexus and repair everything. It's alright. Especially once you get better shields that do 100% damage reduction. It's not that bad at all. But, uh... How do I get this item? Oh, I see. Get him out of here! Oh, wait a minute! Now, wait a minute! That's ridiculous. Obviously, it's not what I wanted. Come on. Come on, man. Obviously, that was not what I intended. At all. I wanted to walk straight on the wood. The game said no, die. Sounds like a good plan to not fall in a black hole. Well, fuck you. Ain't that a fine hottie? Fuck you, dude. These guys are ugly. Ugly on the PS5. Ugly booglies. What about the jam? What about the jam? What about it? Look. What about the jam? Look at me. <laughs> Sam Bridges cheers. Says you're almost skinny. Will you take off your shirt and prove it? No, cause I'm ugly. Uh, uh, Looks it. A renowned hero's soul. That's good. That's going to give me some good souls. I bet. Wait a minute. What the fuck? How do I... What do I do? Oh my god! Ah, 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 ah. He saw me take the plunge. He wanted to take it too. Well, alright. He was inspired by me. Okay, here we go. He was inspired by me to take the plunge. Very nice. <laughs> alright. Oh, what the? Rocks, though. Oh, you didn't, you didn't have to get up, asshole. I couldn't even see. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's a bad camera right there. I couldn't even see that he was attacking me. It looked like he was falling or getting up from his fall. Next thing I know, I get comboed. Like, I couldn't see it. <laughs> that was a bad camera. I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, come on. Why are there so many now? He's getting out of hand. Here, catch this. The fire is not helping. The fire is quite annoying, actually. Ugh. <sighs> I think it's time for stage one, two. It's not that the stages aren't doable. It's just that if you don't do the earlier stages first, it's fucking tough. You need to get, you know, way more health, way more stamina. You need way better equipment to tackle that late game shit, you know. Of course, if you're a master of the goddamn game, you can just fucking turbo right through it and beat it easily on the first shot. But I'm not a master of this game, so... All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Demon Souls. I ended up getting the uh, ring that has magic resistance, which is very good because I'm not going to be using uh, magic in this playthrough. This run, I'm not going to use magic at all. Oh, I used the boss soul by accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess I hope I didn't mean to do it. I hope I didn't use, the, didn't use that for anything. I didn't mean to use the boss soul. That was a complete botch. Oh well. It's the first boss. It's probably shit anyway. I'm probably not going to get anything out of it that I want. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Then touch the demon inside me. Hold on. Uh... We're going to flip this. This is what I did the other day when I played it. We're going to bring this down here. And then we're going to turn on the death counter. There we go. Okay, now we're good to go. Same guy from earlier. One last time. I think we have to find a way to open the gate Clear and save him. This passage, if it you. Yeah. The Lord's path, just over there, is now a feeding ground for dragons. 
Cool. So we want you to clear out the path so he can escape. And then when he escapes, the quest continues. Yes, there were quests in Demon Souls just like there are quest lines in Dark Souls and Bloodborne. It's the same premise. Oh, really? Let's check out these side areas. It's pronounced Falchion. It's not Falchion, it's Falchion. Oh, yeah. Falchion, that's how you say it. Okay. Wow, I died. Seriously? Stupid. I'm hitting the guy repeatedly. The guy just thrusts once or twice and I fucking die. It's so, so pathetic. <laughs> oh, you see how quick that was? Holy shit. Dude, that's fast. That's really good how fast that is. I like that. I like that. That's super duper fast. Oh, look at that. That's a running lunge. You can run and lunge. You do a slam. What if you do running R2? Oh, that's the same as regular R2. What if you charge R2? Now you can't charge it. Okay. Annoying. Half moon grass, good. I tried to parry, it did not work. Oh, it's hitting archers. So loud. So you guys have no idea. These headphones are so effing good that the bass is loud. Like, I, it's just blaring sound in my ear. I can't even hear myself think when that thing comes by. Pretty crazy. By the way, I have no idea what item I just got. I seriously have no idea. I wasn't reading it. Anyone know what item I just picked up? I wasn't paying any attention, which is not good. I was supposed to be playing the game? I thought it was over! I can stab with my shield up? I can stab with my shield up! Oh! I didn't know that. You could stab with the shield up. That's good. Carl the Judas says, it's overfill, I have the high ground. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I had no idea you could do this with the shield up. Oh, he's backing up and that blue guy is going to attack me now. Yeah, you piece of shit. I'm going to die. Yup. Super annoying. There's just no room to fight him. That's the problem. There's no room to fight him there. So stupid. If there was more room, it would be fine. But there's no room to fight him. I think... I think, sadly, the... I need to go back to the Falky in there. I think that's what you should use... You use, the, you use this spear to get through most of the stage, but once you get to him, you have to swap to the Falchion, because that way you can chop him. You need to be able to do more damage and move faster, and the spear's too slow. Yeah. And I gotta go back through the whole fucking thing again. Because that's this game. There's no checkpoints. Zero checkpoints. I have to go through the whole stage again. <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah, I was right. Fuck this piece of shit game. And now I don't care. Now I'm just gonna kill the one guy, and I'm gonna leave. Fuck this. This game sucks. Seriously, it's fucking stupid as shit. What the fuck? Oh, a checkpoint? What's that? I never heard of a checkpoint in 2018. Do the whole fucking mission over. Fuck your mother. Lazy ass game development. It's pronounced Falchion, apparently. Oh god. I can't see! I can't see anything!
I'm gonna die because I can't see. Oh my god, that was close. The stupid camera went to the wall. I couldn't tell what I was doing. That was dumb. The gunner glasses screwed up my eyes. I hate to tell you, I don't have gunner glasses on. We have not hit the halfway tip scroll of $50 yet, so I'm not wearing gunner glasses. <laughs> this puzzle row. You are lost. The stream, so it looks like, sadly, it's just going to be a, a very, very slow stream for tips, and there's nothing I can do about it. You know? Okay. Shout out to Bandito377, who just took me $5. Thank you for the tip, Bandito. I appreciate that. It's actually been a while since I got a contribution, so thank you. Well, it's been a pretty damn slow night, everybody. I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty damn slow. Yep, I was right. That's a huge bitch. Look at the size of this motherfucker. He laughed at me, did you hear that? Oh no, it's Sam that's laughing, okay. Yup, the archers. Wow! Run! They're not dying from the fall, I don't think. I can't tell if they're dying from the fall or not, but I can't concentrate. Because the music is so loud, and the sound effect of the music is insanely loud. Holy fuck, dude. Okay, I think they're all dead. Maybe? Or they're all on the ground not dead. Oh, they're all on the ground not dead. Look, they're not dead. Are you kidding me? I'm fucked now. I'm seriously fucked. None of them die. Not a single one die. Oh my god. They're all on the other side. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I gotta kill those guys somehow. I'm dead. Wow, one hit. One hit. Come on. A single fucking hit got me. Oh my god. That's so lame. Because I know the fight, but my weapon wasn't doing enough damage. So they all fell and didn't die, and I gotta do the whole fucking stage over from the start. That's the problem with Demon Souls. That's what, why everyone says Demon Souls is so hard. I, I, I know the stage. I know what I'm doing, but... The enemies don't fucking die, and now I gotta redo the whole fucking stage again. Yeah, I have to actually redo the entire fucking stage. No checkpoint. No bonfire. Okay. Ugh. The she wolf just cheers that I'm currently playing Sekiro for the first time. Watching this makes me appreciate the infinite stamina. Dude, I'm telling you, this is the original game from From Software like this, so... Everything everything that they improved upon in all the, the subsequent games is gone and nothing weapons are breaking like crazy No bonfires stamina runs out easily. It's everything's annoying Everything's fucking annoying in this game I'm completely stuck and now I'm dead fuck you from software. No, really fuck you from software He's trying to lure me to the other night see this the enemies are quite clever. The AI, it'll try to fucking lure you to other enemies and shit. What? What the fuck? You're kidding me. I had almost full health and one stab took my whole life bar. Oh my god. Fuck you from software. Fuck you. Dude, that's fucking ridiculous. 
I had almost full health, and the motherfucker took my whole life bar with one stab. Do you guys understand why this game is so such a fucking pain in the ass? Holy shit, dude. Come on. I'm not mashing. I wanted four hits, and then I wanted enough stamina to block the fifth. I do the four hits, I go to block, he just counter hits me, because it is, he's a tank. So he just hits right through my combo, and does 100% damage. Like, get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Fucking stupid. It can take me forever to do this. It's so annoying. Actually, this is not... This is actually one of the more annoying stages in the game. When it comes to having to redo it. Because you have to keep going across this entire area over and over. Most other parts of the game, there's a shortcut you can open or something. This is one of the few stages in the game there's no shortcuts. So it takes forever. Uh, I did update the death counter. Idiot yelling, update the death counter. I already did. Hot hand heck. Just gifted five subs to the channel. When the shortcake not found. When the MI too lethal. One to Natalcog 1392, one to Sleepy Time, and one to Wild Dog 84. Congratulations to all of you on the gifted subs. Thank you, Hot Hand Heck, for the channel support. We actually just did it, ladies and gentlemen. We just hit 875 subs. We did it. So that is it. We've hit the sub goals for the month, guys. Thank you. Christmas event is happening, and it will be a special holiday edition of DSP Tries It during the Christmas event. So thank you guys for that. Good shit. We're at 1,488 subs. That's the most subs we've ever had, everybody. 1,488. Damn. Oh, good. Deli sauce is invading me. I just got a ridiculous amount of crafting items. But deli sauce has invaded. What's funny is those aren't rats, those are dogs. <laughs> Delicious deli sauce. Where's deli sauce? Oh, one of these assholes. I hate. Oh, deli sauce! Yo, deli sauce! You cheesy motherfucker. Well, Deli Sauce killed me with his giant ass fucking shield and some kind of switching weapons there. Thanks, Deli Sauce. I appreciate that. Yeah, whenever you're human in this game, you can get invaded. And the thing was, when I played it originally, the invasions weren't a big deal because the game was so old at that point. But now I'm probably going to get invaded all the time. Which is fine. It's a game mechanic. What can you do? Once you die, you can't get invaded anymore. So... Play Cool 18 just hit me a dollar, said I only beat this game in Dark Souls 1 on PS3, Platinum Bull. There's no cloud save for Dark Souls 2 and 3 on Steam. I lost the saves once. Losing 20 hours on Dark Souls 2 and 10 on 3. Lost any desire to ever finish Bull. Has loss of save date ever affected you? Sucks big to me. Yes, it has. Luckily for me, I, I in general, over the years that I've been a content creator, it hasn't been that big of an issue. Maybe every once in a while I've lost the save file here or there, but it's rare. I've been pretty lucky in that regard, not really getting corrupted saves or anything. Only in a few rare occurrences, so... It never happened to me in Dark Souls, thankfully, because that would be a pain in the ass to have to start over. This blows. Today's just a bad day. Kobe Bryant passes away in a tragic helicopter crash. My saves get corrupted and deleted from friggin' nights. What else could happen? I hope nothing else. I hope that's it. Seriously. That's gotta be it, man. We gotta cheer up. We gotta have a good day. This is not good. We gotta have better than this, dude. Ugh. I'm insensitive? How am I insensitive? What? I'm upset because horrible things are happening today. 
Obviously, Kobe Bryant passing away is way more horrible than me losing my game save. But obviously, for our stream, trying to have an enjoyable stream, the game save corrupting sucks ass too. So multiple bad things are happening. I'm insensitive. Uh. Uh. This is people being stupid. Let's equate someone's death to Phil losing his game save. I never said that, you fucking idiot, but you know, that's what morons will do. <laughs> Make shit up, put shit into my mouth. That'll be the headline on the video on YouTube today. Phil equates Kobe's passing with his game save corrupting. Fuck off, piece of shit. Suck my ass. Suck a turd right out of my butt. How about that? Suck it. Suck the turds. <laughs> Fuck you. <clears throat> it's just like piling sh shit on shit. You know? You hear something awful. Okay, let's play a game to forget about it. Oh, look, the game's fucked up too. It's like, what's next? You know? I just got hit. What hit me? So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Demon Souls. I played this earlier today, and I beat stage 1-2, and now we're on to stage 2-1. Wow, that landed directly on my head. So, so much for the weak healing items. I've already wasted them. <laughs> Oh, that's right. So I need to change the settings. Sorry, guy. I, every time I play this, I have to rotate everything around. Every other game I play works fine. But when I play Demon's Souls, it's like an hour of work to fucking rotate everything around. So now I have to transform this to be vertical. I have to take this. And I have to... Hold on. I have to take this death counter, which is not really a death counter, but I have to drag that to the bottom of the screen. Then I have to have the other death counter up here. here. Then I have to, you know... I have to file 14 forms. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. I think I got it working now. <sighs> wow, they both hit me at the same time. Synchronized. The guy's flailing wildly and hits me. So here we're going to go with the bullshit of, of Demon Souls and Dark Souls. And what I mean by that is every enemy can swing through the wall and hit you. But you can't swing through a wall and hit them. If you hit a wall, you bounce. And therefore, you can't attack th about through walls and hit anyone. But they can all hit you through everything. It's completely unbalanced and unfair. But it's always been like that with Demon Souls and Dark Souls. The, the game just isn't fair. It's fucking cheap as shit. Very cheap. He's right. Do you know that? If you can't tell, I'm trying to fucking do something here, and it's very annoying with this game. Because look! Because with this game, these fucking guys just show up out of nowhere and attack me when I'm trying to do something. Oh my god. Thank god he missed. This is super fucking annoying, man. Alright, now hold on. <laughs> Friend of the Chiefs said I'm looking dapper. My red vest is Superman curl. Very positive. Thank you. My super, you like my Superman curl. So here we go. We already got fake tips tonight, which is why I was doing this. We got a fake tip already tonight, guys. Yep. Uh, Henry Chu says, Look at your YouTube ra ratings lately. They have more likes than dislikes generally. We consider enabling comments. No, are you a fucking idiot? Of course not. Of course I'm not enabling comments. Yeah, I just got a fake tip. I had to refund. So there you go. I do appreciate those of you who are here and genuinely supporting the stream because this this guy is just a piece of fucking shit. He really is, like, lowest of the fucking low. Alright, now this bridge will not break. Okay, sharpening stone. I'm gonna ignore those guys. Happy birthday! <laughs> I get the feeling they put a lot of new messages in here. They did. They probably put a ton of new messages into the game on the floor and shit. Just says stupid shit. Welcome to the dump. <laughs> Welcome to this shithole. I think just a nice view. I don't think there's anything else here. A gore oh, it's an item. We're now in Hero Cell. Cool. What a gorgeous view. I would praise the sun, but that's not in this game. So, if I praise the sun, there's no point. But look at the gorgeous view. It's a truly gorgeous view. 
If only From Software could actually make it look like this, but they're too lazy, I think. <laughs> they had to have there had to be another game, another game studio remake this game to make it actually look and perform good. From Software couldn't do it. <clears throat> okay. Kanji Monsters, it's hard to focus when the graphics are trash. I'm I would never been a graphics a graphics uh aficionado, I guess. I just never will have. It's nice if a game has some pretty graphics, but I don't need it, you know? Okay. Now, Timbo's trying to defend from software. He's like, how can you compare the power of the PS3 to the PS5 and 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 basically get on from software? Listen, from software could have remade this game. They did not. They did not. Alright, I want... There's an item over here? Yeah, right there. I want that item, so... I'm going to just let this rotate around and grab it. From Software could have remade all their games for the launch of PS5. Imagine if they did fucking Dark Souls Collection 1 through 3 completely redone with next-gen visuals, better controls, better frame rate. It would have been the best-selling fucking starter game of all time. Seriously. It would have been by far the best-selling launch title ever. What's From Software doing right now? They got their thumb up their ass with Elden Ring. <laughs> so, I won't worry too much about From Software. They don't need to be defended, okay? They friggin' they're so they are, they're, they're so behind on Elden Ring. They had to actually assure people they're still making it. Because we haven't heard anything about it for a year and a half. And they're not talking about it. People are like, are you still making this game? Like, yeah, we are. Don't worry, we're, we are. <laughs> well, good. Fucking thanks for reassuring us. Okay, we're good. We can go to the next part of the stage now. No, I don't secretly hate From Software. Honestly, I think From Software just gets a pass. Like, their games are great and all, but they could definitely be better. And people just accept the shortcomings of their games because it's From Software. You know? I don't really like that. I think that people should be more more demanding. Yeah, she's supposed to go up here. Because you could drop down... Oh, let me get these. Oh, shit. Now I'm nervous. Is this a booby trap? This totally looks like a booby trap. Avoid a fall. This is a booby fucking trap. That's why there's all those items sitting there. That bridge is going to fall. There's no fucking way that bridge is not going to break. So the question is, how do I actually get those items? <laughs> I don't know. There's no jump. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna walk really maybe maybe it's not sprint, maybe it is walk super slow. I think you're right, it's probably walk very slowly. Alright, I'm gonna try to walk really slowly, ready? Execute clown mode. Oh shit! Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Clown mode activated. That was wow. <laughs> that was the closest call ever in any From Software game I've ever played. I've never had a closer call than that. I've never seen that shit happen. Deactivate the clown mode. Excuse me, that was absolutely disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Oh. And, uh, where are we headed? That is disgusting. Ugh, what a pain in the dick. All right. Whoa, that's great. I haven't targeted, and I went to throw it. It untargeted him. Okay. Here's come a couple more. Good. Two more. Wow, I got robbed. He was right in front of me. Missed twice. Nice double kill. Oh, he killed his own dude. What an idiot. Alright, there's only three of them. There's two of the rock throwers and there's a guy sitting behind them. What? That didn't even... Oh my god, it didn't touch me. Twice it didn't touch me and the game registered as his hits. Are you fucking shitting me? This fucking sucks. 
This sucks. That's fucking bullshit. It didn't touch me at all. There we go. There's another one right behind him. There's another one right behind him. Now we got a dog. Jeez. Lizards and dogs. Oh my. Okay. Oh, what the? Uh, there's a second one. I couldn't even see it. Where the hell would that one even come from? I have no idea. I couldn't see it. More sharpening stones. That's good. Oh, fucking shit. I'm running out of healing items. I have almost none left, so... This is going to be interesting, trying to beat this with no healing items. That had... The lava in it. Sounds like something just fell in my house. I don't know what it was. It was loud. Hold on. I want to see what that was. Something just very loud just fell in my house. I'm going to make sure everything is okay. <laughs> Hold on. Ugh. Well, guys, bad news. The undead have invaded my house. I have to go downstairs. I have to fight some uh, some demons. So I have to cancel the stream. I'm sorry, guys. No. What happened was a clock fell off. A clock fell off the wall. We had a clock hanging on the wall downstairs, and my wife was cleaning, and it fell and hit the floor. It made a really loud noise that I could hear all the way up here. So I just wanted to be sure it wasn't anything serious, and it wasn't. So I can continue on now. <laughs> okay. Yeti to me, $1.20. He says, do you ever want to travel with your wife to another country now that you're a rich man? I am not a rich man at all, by any means. But one day we talked about various things. One day we'd like to go to California for... <laughs> Cops outside, hear that? It's loud. I wonder how close they're going to get. I wonder where they're going. Anyway. um, Now the siren stopped. <laughs> I guess I should take a look. Let's take a look here. <laughs> nope, it ain't me. That would that would be something. I, I was playing fucking Batman Arkham uh, Arkham Knight when I got swatted over five years ago. So that would have been a hell of a thing. I'm fucking playing Batman Arkham City. <laughs> you know. Um. <clears throat> anyway, so Dr. Tony Huge did a 300 bit cheer. And he says, honestly, didn't even know or thought we would hit the tier 2 so goal already. Now that we hit it, I'm going to focus more on contributing via tips and cheers since it looks like Murdoch covered for me during the day stream today. Did he? Murdoch? Oh, you mean with the sub? Oh, yeah. Murdoch was very generous earlier today. He gets it a bunch of subs. So, yeah. Very true. And I do appreciate that, man, because, yeah, we're good on subs for the month now. And, honestly, I don't really want to over-promise and under-deliver. So unless anyone has a really good idea for a tier 3 sub goal, I think we're just going to lay off on that for the rest of this month, okay? <laughs> Critical Reg is cheered. Oh, by the way, the top cheer of the night, Dr. Tony Huge, and top tipper, so thank you very much. Critical Reg cheered. said, I've been watching you since third grade back when you were playing Web of Shadows. Thanks for introducing me to the F word. You're welcome, Critical Reg. Now, fuck off. <laughs> okay, then don't fuck off. I'm just... <sighs> The Armored Spider! There it is! Oh, gotta heal. Okay. 
Dude, what's that? Blood. Oh my! I survived it! I'm very slow. I can't, I'm too slow. I can't move! I'm dead. Yep. Where am I? I couldn't even see where I was. So honestly, that fight's tougher because they changed the way it looks, honestly. That's why that fight is so tough. I couldn't tell at all where to go when he did that fire attack and I remember it not being that hard because you used to be able to tell what was going on you could turn around and run um what you need to do is stay mid-range and poke him but not get hit by the web if you get hit by the web you're slow and then when he does that fire attack you're basically fucked over like you can't do anything about it um so yeah what I need to do is go back and basically try not to get stuck by that shit but I am out of healing items I need to go back and uh I need to go back and buy healing items. I'm pretty sure that they that I can I can get souls. Oh, who sells them? Wait a minute. This person might sell them. I want to buy healing items. Tony Tony Uchi says so it was it's transgender awareness week being up to anyone who has come out or still in the closet. What are you talking about? Transgender? What are you talking? Wait a minute. Transgender, you're not in the closet. That's that's if you're gay and you're not telling someone you're gay. If you're transgender, you're not in the closet, are you? I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't seem to make sense to me. So who would sell me items here? What sucks is I gotta go through the whole second area of the stage again. Again, there's no bonfires. You have to go... I have to go right from where I started, essentially, all the way back through this stage again to do this. So that's really fucking annoying that now I have to do the whole stage over. Now, I did open a shortcut, but that shortcut only takes me halfway through the stage. Okay. Ugh. Thank you, Gorilla Pimp. For the cheer, there's no way I'm I'm reading your insanely fucking huge giant paragraph message. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Spider stone chunks and shards. This sucks. All I have is full moon and dark moon. I'm gonna waste them. I'm just gonna run by all these guys. Well, I was going to, except I got stuck on the wall. Well, no, that's not gonna happen. <sighs> I should have been able to get by them, but I got stuck on a fucking wall. Do you see why this is so annoying? It's so fucking annoying. I don't want to do the whole... I seriously don't want to do the whole stage over, but now I have to. I'm going to have to re-kill everything around there. Ugh. All I need to do is go back to the beginning of the stage to the fire pit. Which I'm trying to remember how to fucking get to now. Oh my god, it's too much of a fucking maze. Over here. Critical Red said, if I could go back in time to my early days of YouTube, is there anything that I would change? Um, I mean, the thing is, I've always tried to do the best with what I knew at the time that I was doing it. It's not like I purposely did anything wrong or whatever. Today, I would say, yeah, now I know to go back and not say this fucked up thing and not do this thing and not do that thing, right? So, but the thing is, it's like they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. That's because I know what I know today. So, if I could go back and redo stuff, sure, but I've talked about this a million times, what I would change. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck that fat fuck. <laughs> John, man, thanks for cheering. I don't give two fucks what Wings did it when he was streaming earlier. I really don't. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm being told that I'm off by one death on the death counter. Okay. There you go. 
I'm the only streamer. I'm seriously the only streamer who has to play from software games and has to have a death counter. No one else gives any, their viewership does do not give a fuck. But my viewership just wants to like count for some fucking weird reason to make fun of me. So I have to waste time updating a counter instead of just playing the game and having fun. No one else has to do it. Go watch anyone else playing this game and see if they have a death counter on their screen. I dare you. <clears throat> what the fuck? He didn't use that attack before. Jesus Christ. Wow. Why is he being so different this time? What? Dude, he's totally different now. Totally different attack patterns. This is ridiculous. I can't even move. There's nothing I can do. I'm fucked. I can't move. I'm too slow. I have to wait here. I can't move at all. I can't get away. Look, I can't get away. This is ridiculous. Again? Oh, come on! Dude, this was seriously completely different than the other times that I bought this thing. Now I have no healing items left. There's no way I can kill him now. There's no way I can kill him now. <laughs> Why is it so different than last time? He, he literally didn't do these attacks last time. Oh, I can't even move. I can't move. Now I'm slow again. I can't move. Dude, I'm fucked. I have no healing now. I'm done, no healing. I can't move at all. I'm done. Wow, I used every healing item. This is broken as fuck, dude. This is broken as fuck, and this is, I'm serious, this is harder than my first time playing it. I'm, I'm dead serious. This is way harder than my first time playing it. It's way harder. It just seems to me like the, it's, it's getting more and more ridiculous. Like, the first time I fought him, he didn't use that triple fireball at all. This time I go in there, he just does it nonstop. I couldn't even get near him. By the time I got near him, I'm completely slowed and I can't do anything and I waste all my healing items. Like, Jesus Christ. What is that? <laughs> I don't remember it being that hard. I don't remember it being this hard at all, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> Holy fucking shit. And I, again, I have no souls and I have no healing items. So I can't fight that boss again. I can't. I have to go basically grind and do all their stupid shit. There's no way I can fight him again. Yeah. That's crazy. People are basically saying, yes, it was redesigned. And now it's harder. And, yeah, that's what people are saying. They're saying that the game was redesigned to be harder because so that it was different for, for older players who played the original. Dude, that boss is that's ridiculously tough compared to the original. In the original, I remember you just all you gotta do is not get super slow. And then you can walk right up and just keep poking them. Why is it the second time I fought the boss was completely different than the first? The first time I was able to just dodge the fireball, walk up, hit, hit, block, hit, hit. Then this time it's like, oh guess what? Fireball, 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 fireball. What the fuck? <laughs> The whole point of a video game is that you're supposed to be able to find different ways and unique ways to get past challenges. Okay then. Well, Jagalese, thank you for the $5 tip, and he agrees. He says he thinks that the death counters are purposeless. I shouldn't do them. The trolls are going to have a death counter anyway, so what's the point of me doing it? And I agree with you. I think it's a waste of my fucking time. I really do. I think that this counter is just annoying as fuck because I just want to jump right back in and play. And instead, I got to worry about updating this fucking counter every time. All it does is annoy the fuck out of me. So I think this everyone can just say, fuck this. I'm not doing it. Uh, Dr. Tony Huge Shoes, it choked me in the shallow water before I, I, I get to sleep. All right. Sounds good. Fuck the death counter. You're not getting it. How about that? 
All right, let's do something else. I have no healing items. Okay. Uh, Lilu just did a 50 bit chase. Can we get a counter or is that too much for this hardcore run? I'm not doing a death counter. Grow up. <laughs> Grow up. All right. So, yeah, he's not going to come out. Sir, what yeah, you guys want me to update the death counter? I don't give a shit. It's a training mission, but if you really want to update the death counter, I will. I really don't care. It means absolutely nothing. Can we have a death counter for this playthrough? No, we cannot. I'm sorry. Denied. Absolutely denied. John Manchie said, Real talk, thanks for the awesome streams. Keep at it. And it's our rune shit. He said, Isn't there something where you can just have a press a single key, automatically upticks one? I don't care. I don't have I don't need to do a death counter because I no one else does it. It's not necessary. It's completely annoying fucking shit. It's immature shit. Because he's absolutely right. Jack Lee's absolutely right when he says the fucking people who want it, who are the haters anyway, they're going to track it themselves anyway. So let them do some fucking work, all right? Rather than people, oh, you didn't update it. You're up by one. No, stop playing. You're up by one. Update the counter. Well, fuck it. Now I'm not doing it anymore. Haha, <laughs> so there. Now I'm just going to play games and enjoy them and not be pressured by whining ass fucking people who don't care about the quality of the stream anyway. They just want to annoy me. So I'm not doing it anymore. Okay. That's locked. Gorilla Pimp Tree said, Today's Hunting All Games birthday. Can we sing Happy Birthday? Happy Birthday, Hunting All Games. I'm not singing. Talk to Tony Huge Tree said, I agree. Take the stupid death counter off. The stream's about gameplay, not a stupid artificial gimmick of, of dumb. Yeah, I agree. It's not even a gimmick. It's just something to annoy me. Phil, you didn't update it. Phil, your death counter's off. Phil, Phil, you didn't see Phil. No, stop playing, Phil. Stop having fun with the game, Phil. I'll do the death counter, Phil. Fuck you. How about that? Fuck you. You ruined it. Oh, I'm toxic again. Good. That's great. I, I barely stepped into the cloud. I'm toxic. Thanks. Avoid those who are filthy. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Everyone gives the juice that the death count was a distractor me from the start. All the morons asking for are dumb fucks. I wouldn't put up with it. Snooty Root Juice, I've been loving your PS5 coverage. I'm loving mine. Started Demon Souls tonight. I'm already at 18 deaths. Where are you at? I don't know because I don't care. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Great. I forgot about that. He's going to suck my face and kill me. Yep. Stun and face suck. <laughs> the old face suckeroo. He got me. I got to remember how to kill these guys and not allow them to do so much damage. I don't remember. I gotta fight them a bunch of times if you remember. Is that a guy coming out of the cellars impaled in the wall? It's disgusting. Try fist. Oh yeah, I wanna fist his ass. Of course I do. Who would wanna shove your hand right up his fucking asshole, right? Well, that was close. Holy shit. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. We're totally gay. Oh, Home Authentic viewers said, what's the difference between total tips and death counters? What? Total tips so people know how much support there is because I need that to keep my business running. Death counter is something that troll annoying fucks use because they think it's funny to say that Phil died so many times in a playthrough when in reality, you're supposed to die 40 billion times in a playthrough like this. That's the point. The game's ultra hard. You persevered through it. Counting each individual death, it takes the immersion out of the game. I can't even concentrate on the game. Instead, I gotta worry about constantly updating the counter and have little annoying shits bother me about it if I forget it. So, fuck that. Well, I think I'm toxic now. Oh, man. Jack Spartacus says he needed to go. I agree. I'm just, it's just too... It's At this point... If I can't enjoy the game because people are just going to keep trolling me about the fucking counter, then I don't care about the counter, you know? Like, that's where I draw the line. And that's the point we've gotten to, so I don't care anymore. Okay. Oh my god, you're kidding! They have spears and they can poke through the wall. Wow. They have spears and they can poke through the fucking wall. What? I wasn't even near him. 
Yeah, I don't know about this. I swear, this is tougher. I'm not even near the guy, and he knocks me down for 50% damage. Like, what the fuck? I'm not even remotely close to him. I got a backstab! Ha 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 ha! Fucking idiot. Take that, bitch. I got a backstab on him. HPC Killis says people are going to troll me regardless of who cares about the counter. You're right. That's right. Who cares about the counter? I don't. So I'm not going to do it. You're, you hit the nail on the head. I don't care about the counter. People are going to troll anyway, so who cares? Don't do it. I agree with you. And I already got that item, so I'm done there. And nothing here is a dead end. Yup. Uh. What? Uh, authentic, homemade authentic viewer, you're a complete fucking idiot. That's all I'm gonna say. You're actually a, a ginormous moron. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah. Let's get my health back. I killed him, and he expended his bowels, and a widow's lotus came out of his ass. Albert Aponte tipped me a dollar thirty. Said, "Wish the family good health and and uh, get a well rest tomorrow." Yeah, chances are, if my wife even goes out with me for anything, it'll be very, very little. Like just a necessity that she wants to go out with me. Well, first of all, it's the last day to eat out, but she can't eat. She can only mush like mushy food because of her jaw. So unless she sees dramatic improvement overnight, basically we can't go out to eat anyway. And then after that, everything, all indoor dining is locked down permanently by our governor. So. <laughs> So it's basically we're missing out on the last time to eat out. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, so likely I'm just going to go grocery shopping in the morning. There are probably some errands we'll run during the day, and that's about it. It's not going to be a very good day. Uh, FL Gibson says, do I resent it when people constantly ask me to play hard games? I don't resent it, no. I know people want to see me do something with challenge. They find it more fun. Fuck you. Yeah, blood everywhere. I don't resent it. I just hate it when people won't let me play how I want to play or do what I want to do. And they, like, they try to enforce their own fucking rules on me and shit, you know? <laughs> then Star Rune cheered and he said that Infinite 55 said that he liked the death counter. Because when he saw a sudden influx in deaths, he would know that that particular part of the game is really hard for me. Yeah, well, I, I hear you at the same time. It's super annoying to have to keep doing it. And I hate when you hear people annoy me and yell at me about it. Oh, you're off by one death. You you have to stop everything you're doing. Stop enjoying the game. Stop the flow of what you're doing to go update the death counter. I hate it. It drives me nuts. So maybe if people knew how to behave, I wouldn't mind. And I'd be, just, I'd be like, okay. But since people want to be obnoxious about it, I just don't want to do it. It's time to say goodbye to it. It's almost as if he plays games to have fun. Guess what? Wrong. ML Gibson, if anyone wants to do a death counter and count it themselves, or if the mods want to do it, that's fine, but I'm not putting it on the stream. I don't care if other people track my deaths. I just don't want to do it myself. I'm tired of it. After a million From Software playthroughs, it's just not fun anymore. It's more tedious and super duper annoying. I got the secret dagger. <laughs> it's a secret. Jagley's absolutely right when he says the fucking people who want it, who are the haters anyway, they're going to track it themselves anyway. So let them do some fucking work, all right? Rather than people, oh, you didn't update it. You're up by one. No, stop playing. You're up by one. Update the counter. Well, fuck it. Now I'm not doing it anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Demon Souls. I haven't played this in a few days now. And this is actually the start of my first major stream of Demon Souls. I have not actually done... A whole stream of de a whole stream of Demon Souls yet at all. The streams that I've done were like an hour here, an hour there. I've never done an actual full stream of it yet. Okay, so this is the first major stream of it that I'm doing, and I'm hoping for good progress. Get up, stab him. Now I'm dead. I'm dead now. Yep, it's over. Whoa, what a great way to start, huh? What a great way to start. The game starts with an enemy standing right in front of me. There's no way to get past him. And I immediately get slaughtered. <laughs> what a great fucking start.
What a pain in the ass. Now I gotta try to remember how to get back to where I was because I haven't played this in a few days. I think this is the gate. That's what you guys get. That's what you guys get for making fun of me for 10 straight years saying I'm bad at games. Now it's all coming back. <laughs> Comes back to bite you right in the butt. If I just fight this guy in a fair area, it would be fine, but... He's just a troll. He hit me through the fucking wall. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. Through the fucking wall. What the fuck? Look how far away I am. Are you s Oh my god. I seriously don't remember these enemies being this annoying. How the fuck is he hitting me from a million miles away? What the fuck? See what I mean? I've been saying through the entirety of me playing this game so far, it's been like, what, like five hours maybe? That I feel the game's way harder now. Like, when the fuck was his hit radius that big? He's hitting me through walls like a million miles away. What is going on? I don't remember it being that bad. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. I'm playing that later tonight. Maybe it's a meaningful update. Gorilla X Pimp now took me $3. And he said, all right, I'll admit I've been acting up a bit and I apologize for being toxic. I apologize to Anonymous and other chat viewers in the chat. I'm not toxic. Just a tease with Anonymous. I said it and I am sorry. So there you go. Anonymous, Gorilla X Pimp has apologized. I don't know if Anonymous is actually here today or not. But well, Gorilla X Pimp just apologized. Uh, I mean, it would be up to you to decide if you want to accept his apology or not. Not up to me. There. Fuck you. So if you if you do accept his apology, Anonymous, by all means, unban him today. Right now, I'm playing the game. I'm not really too worried about it. Um, I guess we'll talk about it behind the scenes and see what we want to do here. Okay. All right. I have not been to this area yet. New area. I like he's complaining that his people suck. It's like your it's your people. <laughs> it's your people, dude. Your own people who you train and you put in charge and everything. You're complaining that they suck. It's your fault, then, dumbass. Is this game as bad as Sekiro? It depends on what you mean by bad. It really does. Um, the game is tough as fuck. But it doesn't have a parry mechanic like Sekiro does. It does have a parry, but damn, it's it's not like Sekiro parrying. Um, it's super duper challenging. Fuck you from software. No, really. Fuck you from software. Fuck you. Fuck you from software. Seriously, like, come on. The combat of this game fucking sucks. Alright, so we cleared this out. I'm trying to remember the ways to go. I don't really remember very well. At all. Um, Super Scuba 6 is cheer. Says, how do you feel about gamer girls? I'm all for some guys that don't feel the same way. I don't give two fucks about gamer girls. Uh, I don't care about anyone's gender when it comes to being a gamer. At all. I don't think it matters. Why does it matter what your gender is if you're a gamer? What, what does it even have to do with anything? Um, it's just a general statement you made, so I don't care what gender you are. You're, everyone is welcome to be a gamer, in my opinion, and that's my take on it. I don't know what else, what else to say because I don't really understand what you're getting at. Who cares about this stuff? Why do people ask questions like that? Oh, how dare females be gamers? You know, not that I'm married to one. <laughs> oh, I'm so insulted. How dare a female want to play video games? I'm married, stupid. Oh, cool. Swaggins just cheered. He says, so not sure if you, me if you mentioned it. The secret new door that has been opened. I talked about this last time I played. I said people found a secret door in this game that wasn't in the original game. And people didn't know what it was. So they figured it out. He says, if you find coins in specific world tendencies. And when you collect a set amount of said coins. You trade them to a crow for a key. Behind that new door is a unique armor set called the Penetrator's Armor. It's not available in the original game. Well, that's kind of neat that they did add something new. I guess that's kind of the ultimate challenge of the game, then, to get the, the world tendencies to align the way you want. Feel it. Okay. So, I've all given some to rank the Soulsborne series in Sekiro. I still think Dark Souls 1's the best, even though a lot of people have that up for debate. I say Dark Souls 1, uh, then Bloodborne. Even though I love Bloodborne, I think Dark Souls 1 started it all, so it kind of deserves the most credit. 
Um. So Dark Souls one, Dark uh, probably Bloodborne, then maybe Dark Souls three, and then probably like Dark Souls two and Sekiro are equal for me. Now Demon Souls is so weird to rank because it's such an anomaly. It's the first game in the series. I like this game, but. There's just so much about it that's outdated. The no bonfire system. Like, I gotta be in this, this fucking stage for a million years. And if I die to these arrows now, I gotta do the whole stage over again. It's like, fucking seriously? You really want me to redo all that? Yeah, you have to. The game's designed like that. You have to redo a ton of shit. Oh, it's so tedious and annoying. And it's, it's, in it's design. This is what old school gaming is about, brother. Rabier reverse both great damage, even though they have a narrow attack range, armor and hard skills, blah 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 blah. What sucks is it doesn't actually say blah 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 blah. Jethro's main cheese said you need to go over there where that guy is who brings the boss back. There's a key in there. Well, thank you, Jethro's man. I just read it. Sorry, I missed your cheer. Thank you, Jethro's main, for the cheer, but I was already gonna check this out anyway. Okay. Press F in the chat for the unread cheers. I've read every cheer. What are you talking about? I read every cheer today. So, I wonder, should I use the spear in this fight, or should I attempt to use the falchion? Because the falchion is going to be much faster and deal better damage, but the spear is going to allow me to hold my shield up during the fight. Hmm. That's right, Jethro's main is absolutely correct. He says, the problem with the game, he cheered by the way, thank you for the cheer. The problem with the game is there's no checkpoints, so because of that, every time you die, you have to go to the entire level from the start and kill all the enemies again. You're right, and that's why it's so frustrating. That is the, the major frustration with this game, for sure. Don't forget to press it on. I'm in trouble. Rick, I'm in this message. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I don't remember the boss, so we're gonna just see what happens here. I might get fucked up. At least I have the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes if I need it. Okay. Here we go again. Same old shit, dog. Just a different day. Here we go again. <clears throat> oh, God. That's creepy. Dude, that's fucking creepy shit. Oh, my God. Whoa. This is fucking creepy. <laughs> The Fool's Idol. Okay, aren't there multiple ones in the room that are fake? And you have to kill the one that's real? I almost remember that. Like, you run up there to stab it, and then more show up that you have to kill, and they're not all real, but they all shoot magic, if I'm remembering correctly. There's two of them now. Oh, what? No! Oh, God, no! Oh, fuck. There was a trap I ran into. Alright, at least the trap's done now. I think it's gone now. No! I'm gonna die. Oh, my God. The fucking trap stays there. No! Fucking shit. That sucked. Trap right to my left. Oh man, this is getting tough now. Oh no! I had to do it. That's not the real one. Oh, man. No! No, I can't move! They're all fake. Heal, heal! No, it doesn't work! I'm dead. Wow. Well, I tried. I fucking tried. I'm gonna use the Falcon. 
Yeah, the Fal I need to use the Falcon to do max damage. The Falcon would have been much faster and did way more damage. So, my definite problem there was using the spear. I didn't need the spear at all. I could have used the Falcon and even two-handed the Falcon and ran around and chopped the shit out of her. In fact, that's really how you're supposed to kill that boss, okay? Is you two-hand, if I remember correctly, and you just go for max damage. You don't care about getting hit by the magic. You roll around it. But now I gotta go all the way back through the entire fucking stage to get back to that boss again. And I have no healing. <clears throat> I have no healing. I can only use a full heal once. I have no healing. This is the problem with the game. Is that you? There's this stage, no healing items spawn the entire stage. You don't get a regenerative Estus flask or anything. So you're pretty fucked. Now I have to somehow get all the way to the end again. This is so ridiculous. It's so fucking ridiculous. Fallout 3 fan cheese said, how's Demon Souls going? As you see, you get progress, but then you get fucked. And that's the problem with this game. You just get fucked repeatedly. Now I need to somehow get back there without taking any damage. Which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Quite frankly. Oh my god, there's a guy in here? This sucks. This seriously sucks. This fucking sucks. I'm gonna die now. And now I have no health. Now I do this, and guess what's gonna happen? Now people can invade. <laughs> and now I can't heal again either, because I'm human. Oh, great. Oh, this is really good. <laughs> oh my god. I hate this fucking stage, and I hate this fucking game. I seriously do. It's too annoying. This is so, uh, it's so tedious and unfun. Now, I don't even know where I am because I fell. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I need to go. I'm lost. Wow, that's a really well-designed fun game, huh? Here we go. I'm back at the beginning now. Yeah, how am I going to fight the boss now with not even full health? And uh, uh, no ability to heal. <laughs> Unreal. This fucking sucks. Fuck this, dude. This sucks. This fucking sucks. This absolutely fucking sucks. Are they out of their fucking minds? See, like, normally Dark Souls, you have fun. It's like, this isn't fun. I have to re go, go through the whole fucking stage with zero healing items. Wow, that's really exciting stuff. I fell through the hole again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, is oh, I don't want to do this anymore. You lo you lose your desire to play. When this shit happens, you gotta do the whole stage. Like It's been two hours I've been playing almost. Like an hour and a half. I can't even beat a single stage because that's how they designed Demon Souls to be the most tedious shit ever made. Like, oh my god! Give me a break. Do something to fucking give me a bone so it's entertaining. Like, it's not. It's just fucking annoying. There. This is where I'm supposed to go. And now there's another guy. This sucks! This game fucking sucks. This game fucking sucks. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Constantly whining. Where? Where? Shut the fuck up. God damn. Well, you guys heard what I said earlier. I said this may be a playthrough I have to farm. I might have to. I might have to waste time and go to certain stages and just grind on enemies. He hit me even though he was dead. He's dead and he hit me. 
The game sucks, man. It's so fucking annoyingly stupid. Wow. He really earned that when he was dead and still exploded, right? So I'm screwed. I can't beat the boss with no health. I'm, I, I'm completely screwed right now. There's no way to do this. And there's another one. Yeah, I don't even know what to do. I give up. Fuck this game. <laughs> can't bite the can't fight the armored spider boss. Can't fight anything here. I can't fight shit. Nothing drops any fucking health anywhere in the game. You're like, what the fuck? I really want to go back to the first stage and kill the generic enemies for an hour just to get healing items. And that's what you have to do. They designed the game that way. This guy actually hit me. This is why in, D in Dark Souls you get an Estus Flash that regenerates. Because they realized it was insanely unfun for people to have to, number one, go through the entire stage from the start. And number two, to have to grind health. They were like, wow, that's really not fun. Let's change it to be a better game. But this game has all the old flaws. Wait, is this the right? I don't even know if this is the right way. No, I think I need to go all the way down. Yes. No! I give up. I wasn't going to beat him anyway. I wasn't going to beat it anyway. I'm lost. I'm seriously lost because the game is so, so poorly designed that I can't even do this. I have to go back and I have to grind for healing items to even be able to get to the boss now. It fucking sucks. It just sucks. It's not fun. It's really not. When you when you get stuff going your way, it's great. But shit like that, that's not fun. Now I gotta redo the whole stage over and 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 over. Like, I don't want to. I don't even know what's a good place to grind for health. You know, I don't know. Here, let me uh, let me dump a bunch of shit. Let me dump a bunch of inventory. Jad after me, dollars to swap the bug snacks. Yeah, bug snacks is way better than this game. Seriously. Like, Book Snacks is way better than this game. It's just more fun. <laughs> this game is fucking annoying as shit. You're like, wow, that's really a fun a fun situation what I just went through. Oh, yeah, it's great. Whining and complaining. <laughs> Volkuro, or Volkuro, I should say, cheers, said, isn't the, the point to be challenging? Well, there's a difference between challenge and just tedium. And that's the problem with Demon's Souls is it's outdated. It's a super tedious game. Having to redo a, a stage from the start that's dark as fuck. Everything looks the same. It's a labyrinth. You get lost easily. Oh, all the enemies respawn and no one ever drops a healing item. Oh, by the way, your Estus doesn't... There's no Estus. It doesn't regenerate. So you have to go grind on another stage to get healing items to go back to do this stage because you died on the boss. It's just not a well-designed game. That's why every single subsequent game was better. Every Dark Souls game, Bloodborne, Sekiro, all added in things that made it... Yes, those games are challenging, but they're fun because they're not tedious. This game is tedious, and that's what makes the game super fucking annoying. Okay? Rainbow Sparkle says, no one cares if you farm. Get someone, you'll be good for a while. Yeah, I don't even know. Where do I farm? What's a good place to farm the healing shit? I don't know. I would need to, I would need to know what's a good place to go farm. So I don't waste time because I don't want to waste streaming time. You know, streaming time is, is is value to you. I don't want to waste your time walking around areas and killing generic enemies that's not helping, you know? I tone to me $2 dollars and you beat Bloodborne Demon Souls as a cakewalk compared. No, it's not. Bloodborne's much, a much better and easier game than this. I'm serious about that. I feel Bloodborne's easier. This game is just, you really get annoyed playing this game. Okay. I, I really feel Bloodborne is a much better and more fun and, and easier game than this. This game is nowhere, anywhere close to being as good as Bloodborne is. That's nuts. <clears throat> and when you have a head of a regulatory body telling you the opposite, literally lying to you, Stoneface lying to the public, because he's trying to be a, you know, a, 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 what do they call silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone but people are believing it because they don't know any better and that's what we have to stop uh i could go grind and that's it angelo bestia i don't believe i got your tip no i don't believe i got your tip oh wait there was a tip and i totally missed it 
Yes, I got a dollar tip from Angela Best. She said, I love the Souls games. I seriously suck at them. I wish they'd implement easier modes for casual gamers like me, but it's explicitly clear the games are supposed to be played on harder modes. Yep. And, you know, it's it's not only the argument of making them easier. There's people who, who have handicaps, and they want these games to be accessible, too. And they're just not accessible. Like, these games, because, oh, the get good mentality, they're so hard. People can't even play them if they have a slight handicap. It's, like, impossible to play this shit. Oh, so you play this game, you know. You have so, I hate to say it, you have so, like, little worth to your life that you feel that, like, you need to play the hardest game known so that when you beat it, you can be like, I beat the hardest game, I got the biggest e-dick. Like, I don't care about that shit at all. I want to play a fun game. And so far, you know, fighting 12 plus fucking enemies in early game areas before you can even really learn the mechanics, fighting bosses with two, three fucking phases, this early on, this is not fun. This isn't fun. It's work. That's what they made it. The game is work. It's not fun. It's work. That's it. Fuck you. 672 to me, six dollars seventy-two cents. And when you farm, wear overalls and a straw hat, so we can call you Farmer Phil. I mean, you might as well. That's what I mean. Like, it really is annoying. This game is super annoying in that way. That I, I remember my first run, I farmed in the Shadowman stage, which we haven't gone to yet. And so I actually probably would remember the whole stage because I farmed like crazy offline, not streaming back then. That was what seven years ago. I remember doing it, just farming because I was like, "There's no way I'm going to beat this game if I don't farm levels." And I did I farmed levels so I could upgrade my shit. And also healing. I had a ridiculous amount of healing items in that first run because I farmed so much. Rainbow Sparkle series said 1 1 and 1 2 are good farming spots. When you go back to 1 3, it's one of the best farming spots in the early game for healing. I was just buying more healing with the souls. Drop rate overall is determined by your luck stats. No. Okay. But you know what? With the power of PS5's very quick loading, this may not be an issue. Oh, wow. Well, with the PS5 loading this fast, this is excellent. This is a major hurdle of the, the original game that's being fixed here by the PS5. Because this thing loads so fast, this will not be a big deal. So what I did seven years ago, however long it was, I think it was about seven years ago when I first played this game the first time. When I was grinding for shit like this, what I would do is I would be late night, I would have a, a drink, no lie, I would have a drink, and I would basically have... On my computer, I would have something playing, like a movie or a TV show or something. I would have both on my computer. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't do anything! I'm holding block! Not that it matters. But still, I didn't even do anything. I'm holding block and I died. So anyway, as I was saying, about well, seven years ago, what I would do is I would grind doing this at night. And I would have a drink, and I would watch something on my computer over here while I was grinding on my TV. So I would do this for like two, three nights a week when I was playing this playthrough. And one night I would get like a ton of healing items. One night I would get an insane amount of souls. And so when I was playing the game, I would every day I, I played, people were like, oh my god, how did you get so many more levels? How did you get a hundred healing items? And that's how I did it, just by grinding like this repetitively over and over and over, doing something else that was far more entertaining on another screen. I'm holding block! Yeah, it's fucked up. It's not working right. Because when I hold the shield, he's not supposed to be able to hit me when I have the shield up. But he's hitting me. Okay. And that's just so I don't end up wasting those souls. I didn't want to lose them going through this fucking World 3 a, a million times. So, alright. I gotta do it again. Maybe the Falchion will do better against the fucking Tentacle dudes. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the Falchion, because the Falchion is so much faster that maybe that's the way to go. Maybe my whole problem here was I was using the wrong weapon all along. It, it very well could be that was my problem. Alright. That the spear's good, but not against these fucking Tentacle dudes.
<sighs> fuck your world tendency bullshit. Seriously, fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm not dicking around, man. Alright. I'm gonna two-hand this fucking boss. I'm gonna try to do max damage two-hand falchion. Okay. Oh, I hope I built kill the boss this time. I really do. I just gotta dodge a lot. Dodge the magic. Okay, I don't know where the fuck she went. There's one on the far side, and I think there's one behind the column here. I saw a lot of the freeze pads in the center, so I'm gonna try to go around the edge. This one has an energy bar? No, it's a real one. Okay. Oh, what the? There was a freeze pad right there. That's a fake one. Real one. Almost dead. Big one. Fake one. I think that's the real one right there. Yes. No! Heal. Roll. Fucking pews in my way. Okay, the real one's over there then. No, oh, boy. Heal one more time, then I'll go for it. I think I got... Oh, no. Done. Caught by the pad. Nothing I can do. Unbelievable. Caught by the invisible pad. Nothing I could do about it. Good news is I didn't waste a lot of healing. I think I used like three healing items. So it's not that big of a deal. But I almost had her and that's definitely the pattern you need to use. You gotta go for max damage two-handing to kill this bitch. Because you don't want to have to fight the clones a million times. There we go. Two hand. I think two hand is the way to go. Well, except for right now. Because I'm about to die. Instant death. And there's nothing you can do about that. If they decide they're going to do a tank attack up close like that, you just can't do anything about it. You're dead. And that's the problem with the game. It's really unfair. Like, what was I supposed to do there? There's nothing I can do. I can't dodge that. It's point blank. There's no way around it. So just accept your death. Accept your fucking death. Front of the church. <laughs> Got her. Good shit. What an annoying fucking boss. Alright, well. Why is it always... I died over 9,000 times. <laughs> no, I think I'm like 25 or something like that, but I'm not counting anymore because I don't give a fuck. Maybe I should actually try to fight the spider boss again. I wonder if I'd be able to do if I maybe if I two hand against him, I'll be able to deal enough damage. Cause you know, not really. Cause you need to block. You definitely need to be able to block when he's attacking. But then again, if I roll, maybe I'll survive. I don't know. Suicide waffles cheering says something incredibly stupid. So I'm not even gonna read what you said. And if you say shit like that again, I'm gonna ban you. I swear to God, and I see it. It's a ban. I'm just done with it. I'm not stupid. I'm pretty sure I can skip all these early guys. 
Because all I'm trying to do is get to the area with the lava that I already cooled. So I'm pretty sure I can run past all this shit and just get to that area. <laughs> oh, fuck. This way. Oh, my God. Well, if I had made the right turn, it might have worked! Wow, I did zero damage. Why did I do no damage? This is the wrong way. I should. Yeah, there's another way to go, I think. To get into the lava quickly, and I can't remember where it is. Unless this is it? No, this isn't it. Or is this it? This is it. It's over here. Wings pulling strings through, so you should fight someone with the scraping spear again. I was telling my wife about the scraping spear. How how insane it is that they even put that in the fucking game. It's an ultimate troll weapon. It's only for PvP, and it's so fucking evil. I couldn't believe in my first playthrough that that's what happened to me. I tanked him! I tanked the fire! Nice! Well then... I actually don't know what to do. Swaggin says, well, does the game actually have a menu that shows the amount of deaths you've had? I have no idea. Oh, here's your world tendencies. Right now they're neutral again, are they? Because remember it was negative, that's why the guy with the red the red tentacle face dudes were showing up. Apparently now they've gone back to being negative. Huh. Anyway. I don't know what to do. Wings pulling strings just did a hundred bit cheers. The playthrough will be another promising. This is how you don't play. Don't say I'm trolling, I only found your channel through those vids. It will be this is how you don't are you kidding me? Every soul's playthrough I ever do is this is how you don't play. Now this one's gonna be sixty frames per second to fail. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? Of course it's gonna be a this is how you don't play. Um, and some idiot actually just said, this is how you don't play, even though I've been doing incredibly good today. Regular sharp stone. And I don't have, what the fuck? Are those bombs? Oh. I don't know I like the looks of this. Look for trap. Yeah, it looks like a bomb. <laughs> uh... Uh huh. You fucker. Wait, why is the other one still glowing? Oh no! Oh! Come on, you piece of shit. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. That's the definition of bullshit right there. It glitched and still blew up even though the other one had blown up. He punched me right in the face. Oh my god. <laughs> so. There's another bomb down that way. I know there's two ways to go. I don't remember which way you're supposed to go here. I don't remember. At all. It's been too long since I played this. Wow. Uh, someone just asked, if I never played a Soulsborne game before, where do you suggest I start? Honestly, the most fair one of all is Dark Souls 3. It's actually the easiest one of all, too. But if you're a beginner, you might want to start with 3 and then head back, because they get harder the further back you go, really. All right. Take one for the team. So, I'm almost out of healing items. Great. Might have to go grind again. Oh, my God. All right, Patches. Look at his face. Oh, my God. First time he's ever been animated. It's fucking Patches. I called it. <laughs> oh my god.
This takes forever! Junior Mason, I need a club. I don't have any blunt weapons at all. I have zero blunt weapons to fight these things with. This is a major problem. Stupid con console Dumas is not well equipped for this. Console Dumas is, uh. He brought the pokey pokey instead of the slammy slammy. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna take fucking hours to get through this room. I'm gonna heal again. Even though I'm almost out of healing items, look. Oh my god. But we're enemies ahead, thanks. No, I thought there was gonna be like a fucking party. A birthday party with Kate and clowns. Do I'm gonna go there? What's in this door? It's not what it looks like. What? Okay then. Anyway, what's this? I'm not even gonna comment. I'm not gonna say a single word. Uh, I ended clown mode permanently. This seems pretty safe. All right. J Dog 2009 took me $4.20. I'm watching your Q7 playthrough. I heard you mention contributions uh, are low and YouTubers may, t may want to tip off stream if they can't attend live. What's the best way for us to let you know our tips are from a certain game? Just say it in your tip. Like right now, J Dog. You just said that you were watching Yakuza, Se uh, Yakuza 7, you decided to come by and contribute, and I appreciate that. There was someone else who just did that the other day as well. Um, so thank you. Just come by, tip, and say, hey, just so you know, this is for Yakuza 7. I really like your playthrough. Thank you very much, J-Dog, for the tip. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, by the way, we're very close to hitting the tip skull for today, and I'm streaming for about another 40 minutes, everybody. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, hi. Stop begging and get a job. All right, thanks. Appreciate that. Remember, oh fuck, remember when the worm came out and fucked you up in November. Hope. Full moon, could this be the boss? I found the boss without finding a shortcut? Nah, there's gotta be a shortcut the other way to open up to get back to this boss, because I'll never find this boss again the normal way, right? I don't know what the bo what this boss is, and it makes me super nervous because I don't remember anything about this area. I know there's a flame worker or fire lurker or something coming up, but I don't think that's now. I think we're too early. I'm almost positive that's the next boss down here, not after after this one. Four commands is let's go right after spawning instead of left. That's the shortcut, huh? <laughs> okay, whatever that means. I am so fucked. There's no way I'm beating this boss on the first try. There's just no way it's happening. I don't even know what it is. I might remember it after I see it, but... There's no way I'm, I'm one-shotting it. So I'm gonna have to do this whole fucking level over again. Oh, I'm summoning. No, I'm not gonna summon, but I'm gonna get fucked up. I hope it's not the Fire Lurker or Flame Lurker. I can't remember his name. <sighs> okay, you guys ready? It is the fly fire lurker or flame lurker. I'm so fucked. This is one of the hardest bosses in the game. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. Oh man. Why me? The flame lurker. Immediately hit. Wow. 
Oh, now I can't even step on certain areas. Wow, 16 damage. I'm not gonna cure, I can't hurt him. I can't hurt him with this sword, so I can't win. I'm not even gonna heal, there's no point. I can't damage him. I need a better weapon. Yeah, I'm done. I think you need a, a blunt damage weapon. I don't have one. What the fuck? Whoa! Zero health. Oh, I have zero health and I stepped in the fire. Yeah, I don't have. A, I can't do it. I don't have anything good to use against him. I need a better weapon. Without a weapon that's gonna do damage against a hard type enemy like that, I can't. I can't hurt him. The good news is I have cra the uh, the items I need to upgrade my weapons now. I have them. Okay, so that's a positive. Just sucks that one day I'll have to go back and do that whole stage again. Maybe in a, a few years. It's crazy you can grind those. Because in Dark Souls you can't. And in this game you can grind those for items. Alright. Well. Here's what it is. I can't. There's no way I can kill that thing yet. I need to have better weapons. I don't have the good enough weapons to fight that thing. Um... So what I'm gonna have to do, upgrade my weapons, go to other stages, right? I can go to 3-2, or I can go over to 4-1 or 5-1. I'll probably do 4-1, which is the Shadowman. I think my weapons would be effective there. I think so. Shao Kahn Artist is here and is subscribed for 44 months. Thank you, Shao Kahn Artist, for 44 months of support. Just so you guys know, I'm on the stream for roughly 20 more minutes. We're so close to hitting the tips goal, guys. It would be nice if we could, but... You know, it's not looking too good right now, honestly. But we're so damn close, it sucks. Um, talk about a greedy old fuck. The, the hands of God, right? Hands of God. Look at this. A pair of fists belonged to a man who became a pugilist god. Once there was a mighty warrior who slaughtered dragons with his bare hands. Jesus Christ, seriously? True men would come to worship this mighty fist. And legend spoke of him as the Big M. <laughs> big M, big M, big M. So, we want this to go three, yes. Now, same thing, quality falchion, where it seems to go down in stats. Why would I want to do that? Does anyone understand the upgrade system for this? I don't really get it in Demon Souls. I don't know why I would want it to go down. Usually, in a Dark Souls game, you could get it to come out of its, its tree... Of upgrades, but then what would happen is you'd add it some kind of an attribute to it. Like, oh, now you're taking it out of here, but you're adding magic or whatever. This isn't doing anything. It's just lowering the fucking the base staff, and it doesn't seem to do anything else. It doesn't raise the scaling, nothing. So I don't know why I would want to do that. Maybe I'll just hold back. Oh, here you go. Star Saint Marks' quality will bring it back to plus one, but then it has better scaling as it levels. Notice the bonus is plus twenty two on the quality when it's only a plus one. Gotcha. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. Sadly, I think we need to go grind for healing, which is really fucking stupid, but we have to because I have no healing items. So we actually have to do this for like a few minutes, and then we can go to a new stage. So, I'm going to be out of time. I'm not going to have time to start a new, a new stage. But next time around, I think I'm going to start stage 4 or 1, which is the Shadow Men. Um, I think I'm equipped to do it now with my upgraded weapons and a little bit more health and everything, stamina. I think we'll be good with the Shadow Men to, to, to take them on. No, I'm not playing a 4K Wubeck, baby. This is 1080p. That's the most on my capture device can do. 
so I'm not able to actually see anything above that. Or I wouldn't be able to capture it and stream for you guys, so... Let me tell you, in 1080p, fucking PS5 is amazing. I can imagine in 4K it probably looks great too, but I, I'm... I'm running at 1080p and I'm stuck there. What can I do? What's funny is I'm playing games like Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Sometimes the frame rate dips real bad. And I'm on performance, you know, low resolution performance mode and the frame rate's dipping. No, you are not Shadow Band Evil Libby. Stop that right now. Oh my god, you really want to know what the name of my capture device is? Um, it is uh the Avermedia A3 Extreme Cap or something like that. It's it's over six years old. It's like a seven-year-old capture device. You know, that's what I it's what I started with when I moved here. To Connecticut, or excuse me, when I moved here from Connecticut in 2014, it's what I started using. I just use it every day. I never really had to upgrade it. The stream is not muted, Evil Room. You can stop with your horse shit now. <laughs> I got calls both to moderate Evil Librium and give him mercy at the same time. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And then there's, I remember the boss of that area is a giant gluttonous asshole monster, if I remember correctly. He deserves accolades? Who deserves accolades? What's hilarious, people are saying, why are we wearing pajama pants? First of all, I've always worn these kind of pants during the fall and winter. Always. The entire time I've ever done content for 12 fucking years, I've always worn these pants when I, when I, all day long. When I'm streaming, when I'm not. Um, when I go out, I wear jeans. Now, during the summer months or spring when it's warmer, I'll wear shorts. Different kinds of shorts. Um, but for the most part, this is what I wear all year. What's hilarious is that I guess people are looking at like, oh, he's just wearing these now. I, this is I've been doing this every single time. Like, I don't even know why you guys are bringing it up. There's definitely, it's been on camera before. There's no way this is like the first time you guys have ever noticed that I'm wearing these kind of pants. These, these Breath of the Wild pants my wife bought for me three years ago. No, two years ago. Yeah, she bought them for me, I think, in late 2018. And I've been wearing them ever since. Um, But yeah, like, I don't know why you guys think it's a big deal. It's, by the way, it's either like... Lighter PJ pants if it gets colder. Oh, did you see that animation? That was nice. Like a little flourish he did there. Um, I'll wear heavier pants like sweatpants. Oh, shit. My, my weight? Like, what exactly, what pants do you, would you expect me to be wearing Um, when I'm doing, like, video game streaming? Like, do I need to wear sla formal sla dress slacks? Yeah. <laughs> dress shoes? Dress, dress, so you know, socks, you know, it's like I'm going to, to a fucking high-end, oh, like a lawyer going to court or something. Like, what do you expect me to wear when I do this, exactly? I'm just curious what you're thinking. What, what do you guys have on your mind? It's the ultimate straw man! That would have been bad. There you go, Blamage C-Type says I should be wearing 5.11 tactical cargo pants when I stream. Yeah, like, what do you guys think, like, normal I have to either wear, if it's, if it's warmer weather, I usually wear shorts. Like, gym-style shorts. Okay, if it's if it's a little bit cooler, I'll wear thicker shorts. When it gets fall, I start wearing like lighter pajama pants. Like these Breath of the Wild pants are very light. That's why I wear them for now. When it gets colder, I'll wear like sweatpants. You know, something like that. Um, what exactly do you expect me to be wearing when I'm playing game? I, I'm at a loss that you guys think that I should be doing something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Demon Souls. It's been a few days, I think three days since I played this last, and last time around. We failed a ton. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we had a lot of issues. The Shrine of Storms. Archstone of the Shadowmen. Island's Edge. The Island Shrine of the Shadowmen, who worship storms and mourn the dead. Since the appearance of the Flying Storm Beast, the souls of the dead have been lured to the island by its demons, where they are revived by finding purchase of in the bosoms of uninhabited skeletons. There's a lot of fucking skeletons in this stage. It's a pain in the ass. Um, whoa, not even close. I like the fire effect. That's so cool. Ah, oh, you fucking hit me. Stupid Manta Ray. He hit me again! Son of a bitch, Manta Ray. He's a fucking trollish dick. Whoa! I thought I was out of range. I guess not. I guess I'll heal now. Christ. Mm. 
Wow! Oh, you saw what happened? Yo, he hit me, and the manta ray hit me at the same time. Did you see that shit? They hit me tw they hit me together and took my whole life bar. You troll motherfucker. That combo hit completely destroyed me. Ow. This one's not even... Wow. <laughs> he took the plunge. I love it. Oh yeah, that's chopping him up. Look at that. That fucking manta ray hit me again. Whoa! One hundred percent damage. I did not realize that I was in his range. One hundred percent damage. Yikes. Yikes. I'm getting backstabbed with this sword. Okay. So, this area was the one I would grind in. This very first area. I would kill all the skeletons. And then I would go fight that Vanguard demon dude. And they would, I would get, like, insane amount of souls just for doing this. And this is how I leveled up. I'm not even kidding. Like, 50 fucking levels in my first playthrough of this game. Oh, great. 2 re one I don't know about this. This is not good. You definitely don't want to be fighting the 2v1. It's a bad idea. I did not want to pull the ball, but I pulled them both. <laughs> that was a complete accident. No, I don't grind anymore. Pragmatic Tactics says... Do you still grind in RPGs? Dude, you, like, I never grind. You, you guys see all the gameplay I do. I don't have time to grind. I stream so much, I don't have time to grind. Rambo doesn't have time to bleed. I don't have fucking time to grind. I got shit to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, fuck you. Fuck this fucking game. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Ew, look, his butt cheek is fucking moving. Did you see that? His butt cheek vibrates. That's nasty. Oh, what? The backhand? The backhand got me. Yo, his disgusting jiggle jiggle physics butt cheeks. As I'm striking, his butt cheeks are wiggling. <laughs> That's nasty. That wasn't in the original game. Come on, man. They really had to add that? They had to add the wiggling butt cheeks. Of the Vanguard Demon. <laughs> it's hard to judge the distance of a lot of the enemies. It is. You think it looks like they can't reach, or it looks like they can and then they can't. Some of the hitboxes are a little weird. And, like, it doesn't look like he's gonna hit you. And then he fucking hits you with a move that's, like, insane range. Like, Jesus Christ. What? I, I was locked on, but I ran the other way. That didn't even make sense. I was locked on. I couldn't attack in his direction. <laughs> it's not my fault. The game is a piece of fucking shit. Trollish dicks. Okay, don't don't want to go there. I guess we're going down into this hole here. We can go down to the hole, or we can go the other way. Let's see what's in the hole. I think this leads you to a another area with items, if I remember correctly. You know what? Where'd it go? There we go. Wing spear. Let's try this. What the fuck? Well, I didn't remember that. I did not remember that at all.
Die! Yes! Thank God! Now I can just fucking fight the normal dudes. Oh my God, that is so frustrating. Thank God he's dead. Woo! Team 2 Twitch says, Do I think that this is better or worse than Dark Souls' game? I think it's pretty much the same. If it, You know what I mean? Like, it's not any better or worse. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, shit. Alright, I gotta get my sword. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Oh, no! That's fucking Dark Souls for you. That's Demon Souls right there in a the nutshell. You fucking asshole. He slipped. He slipped and tripped. Oops. That was a slippery ledge. <laughs> <laughs> he took the plunge. I love it. Alright, I've had enough of this. I'm just gonna fucking just beat everything now. Enough pussyfooting around. I had enough. Stupid fucking game. <laughs> oh my god. I'll get these motherfuckers for this right now. Enough of this. I'm getting my revenge, dude. Fuck this. <laughs> of all things to be defeated by. I defeat giant vanguard demons. I defeat everything. I'm defeated by a fucking slippery ledge. A slippery fucking ledge. Barely made it. Oh, this is the start of the stage. Regenerator's ring. Ooh. Okay. What happened? Oh, you... See? What? What happened? What happened? No, what happened? Oh, shit. I don't remember. Probably a gimmick boss. Sadly, I don't remember the fight. Uh. <laughs> this is no time to be reading messages. <laughs> now that's cool. Ack, ack, ack. Ack, 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 ack. Eat the incredibly weak healing item so you don't waste the good healing items. There you go. Uh, Drakiri just reset for four months and said, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right. I really... Someone named I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm totally gay just sent me $62 and we hit the tips goal for the night. They said nothing. It was just I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm totally gay. That's all they said. And they probably just wanted me to say I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm totally gay multiple times during the stream. So that's probably why they did it. Fire works well. Well then. Leechmonger trophy. Isn't it funny how in these Dark Souls games, especially the early ones, the bosses just don't seem evenly stacked, do they? <laughs> so, number one, I had a fire element on my sword that was probably adding added damage to the bosses. It seems like its weakness was fire. Um, when the leeches were on you, you couldn't heal. So all you need to do is not get hit when the leeches were on you, and you're okay. It wasn't like it was, you know, killing me with damage over time or anything. It was just, don't get hit again, and you're all right. And when the leeches are gone, you heal. I mean, that was insanely easy, right? Insanely easy boss. Oh my god! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Stay Don't lose them. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, Hydrated Streamer Tips here. He said, Phil, what is your opinion on simps, and who do you think is your biggest simp? Dr. Tony Huge is here, and is this tip $30? So thank you, Dr. Tony Huge. Because of you, we just hit the... Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Because of you, we just hit the tips goal for today. And you are actually the biggest tipper of the day. So thank you. Let's get that on the leaderboard here. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. Yeah. <laughs> so long, mister. That cash money grateful. All right, everyone. Vote on a vest. So thank you, Dr. Tony Huge, so much for allowing us to hit the tips goal for today. We'll have a vest on shortly for this hour of gameplay still coming up. Very nice. Also, Elon just cheered. He said, one of your biggest attractors just got canceled off of YouTube. Do you support that even though it was through false DMCA claims? Number one, I don't support false DMCA claims against anyone for any reason at all, period. I don't believe that two wrongs make a right, and I don't believe that even if you feel someone is doing something malicious or wrong, that you take them down through illegal means. So no, 100%, I am against that entirely. Um, now, I don't know who this is. I don't know what you're talking about, but again, I just have to urge everyone and let you know I have nothing to do with it. I have not received a notice from YouTube about about uh, claims in a long time. Like I told you guys, it was the summer was the last time I actually got something from YouTube asking me to verify my identity. I can tell you this. The past couple of days, I got notices from Twitch. Excuse me. Twitter. Not Twitch. Twitter. And Twitter apparently is no longer blanket granting this guy who's impersonating me the takedowns anymore. Because Twitter sending me notices now saying... Can you confirm this is you? We need you to send us a picture of your photo ID to confirm your identity. Twitter has absolutely never done that before. Not once. I was just getting messages saying, oh, it's just granted. It's just granted. Takedown granted. Okay. Um. So, the truth is, I think that Twitter, maybe, is wising up to the situation, to the fact that this guy's been doing this for a long time now. Because I've never seen them ask for verification of identity before. Not once. And now I'm getting that. This, I've got actually, in the past like three days, I think it happened at least twice. I got two emails from Twitter about that. Okay? So that's good news. I don't want people impersonating me. I think it's fucked up personally. And, uh, you know, that at least in that regard, there's some improvement. As for YouTube, I don't know how they're doing it. And the thing is, on YouTube, to my knowledge, there's only two ways that you can do takedowns on YouTube. The first is to actually issue a takedown through your channel. But to do that, you have to be logged in. And then you can issue a, like a takedown request through your channel itself. So obviously he's not doing that. Because no one has access to my channel. Now the only other way to do it would be to be, to be sending it to this, their general copyright address. In which case, if that's how he's doing it, why am I not getting any notice about it at all? Because I'm not. I'm not getting anything about, oh, thanks for your request, or granted, denied. I'm getting absolutely nothing. So I have no idea why I'm not, if this is the case. Um, so if someone got taken off of YouTube and it's because of someone impersonating me, uh, not only do I know anything about it, I, you know, I can't do anything about it. I didn't even get an email about it. I got nothing. Zero. So talk about being, uh, you know, unable to help in this, in this, uh, situation now here's the thing if you have a youtube channel and you get three strikes against you you can counterclaim those strikes and youtube will clear them up within at least the way it used to be youtube would clear them up within say a couple weeks and then you're fine but that's the issue here is is youtube going to do that or not i don't know um in this case i don't know if they've changed it or not i don't know how it works so okay fraud detective cheered he said if you said i don't know anything about it no one would say anything since you give a long elaborate explanation People are going to doubt you. Well, dude, number one, you're, you're full of shit. People doubt me anyway. I didn't give an elaborate explanation at all. What I've been saying is it's weird because I'm getting nothing from YouTube anymore, which is concerning. They're granting takedowns in my name, and they're not even sending an email to my email address to say granted or, or denied. Like, that's a fucked up system then, right? If I'm not even getting confirmation, something's wrong. But I'm not defending myself. I'm just telling you guys nothing's changed. You know, I have nothing to do with it, but I thought it would be good news that Twitter is asking Ashley for more information now and not just blanket granting requests, right? I feel that that's at least an improvement. I think Twitter wised up. Okay, camo. Camo uh, vest here. <laughs> okay. Rah. Okay. And the guy's not impersonating me anymore to get channels taken down. Then how did the channel get taken down? Right? Because someone just said it's a detractor channel. Um, yeah, he says that it's a detractor channel. So you would think that they would have taken him down for my content, right? Because that's how they're taking down these channels on Twitter and, tw and YouTube is by saying it's me claiming content, which I'm not. So if that's the case, then how uh, 
if that's the case, then how did uh, the, the channel get taken down if it wasn't me? If it wasn't someone impersonating my DSP gaming channel, right? I don't know. I can't. I was, I cannot remember the second World of the Shadowmen at all. If it, it's is this the one where it's it's a dark area and you go down to this like it's almost like a, 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 a ever going down like further and further down into like these catacombs and there's like these crazy turns where guys can jump out and stab you. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. That's it? I was correct? That is the world. By the way, what am I wearing right now? Regenerator's ring and poison resistance ring. Unless I'm going there, I don't need this. Well, let's let's see. Hmm. Action pack Ashley says, what was the egregious wound I suffered? Look at my hand. Do you see it? Can you see it? Hold on. Look at this. Do you see that on my hand? I'm trying to play with that. Can you believe that? Suffering through something like that and actually trying to play Demon Souls. It's 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 not easy, let me tell you guys. Okay. Alright, let's continue. Because I'm not a little fucking sissy who pisses his pants and screams like a girl. Ah, Christ. Oh, boy. Oh, he followed me. Oh, no. That was close. That was close. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Wow. He tanked it out, which is fucking stupid. <clears throat> He's... He staggered when I fought him in the in the in uh four one. Now I don't get staggered. He doesn't stagger at all. He just attacks through everything I do. <clears throat> that is dumb shit. It's just like here, <laughs> fuck you. Get a magnum and fucking put it right in his face and blow his fucking dinosaur head off. Instead, you're a little wimp. Again. Again, he just tanks it out. No FPG duck, I would not do grocery delivery like Amazon Fresh. He just tanks it out. It's so annoying. It's so dumb. He has no health. I can't stagger him ever. He just, oh, I'm a tank. I just go through everything you do. Well, fuck you. It's so stupid. Do I have to run up to the altar and hit the switch again? I think I do. Wow! Well, that was quite damaging, wouldn't you say? That was quite fucking damaging. Holy testicle Tuesday. 100% damage. Oh my god. Where are my souls? They're gone. They're not here. My souls are gone. They just weren't there. Look. Yeah. My souls are just missing. They just removed them from the game. They weren't even there. How fucked up is that? There was no way to get them back. So that's pretty fucked. Just steal my soul. All oh, 11,000 of them. <laughs> we mean permagon. They were permagon. That not also the enemy consumes your souls. <laughs> the door was already open. It was. I didn't need to fight him at all. I could have just ran out the door. Uh, I thought I had to fight it a second time. Here's one of the dead manta rays. I totally thought I had to fight it again. I didn't.
Very nice. Yes, I feel stupid. Yes, I feel stupid. God damn it. <laughs> At least now I know I don't have to do this shit again. Okay. I can't move. I got hit by an arrow. That's why my body lit up like that. They didn't actually kill me. The arrow did. The arrow hit my body and killed me. Right. Oh, they're still behind me. Oh! That hurt. I don't even know what hit me. I seriously don't even know what hit me there. That really hurt. <laughs> Someone pulled out a fucking proton pack and zapped my ass back to the fucking uh, ecto-containment unit. Holy shit. Ow. Fuck all of you. Oh, oh, the gang's all here. The gang is all here. Can't get by him. Phew. Whoa, what? He did it through the wall. What? No, 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 no. He did it through the whole wall. I'm behind cover and he hit me through the fucking wall. That's not fair. That's bullshit. The wall's supposed to block the laser. That's complete bullshit. It went right through that whole row of shit that I was between. Well, thank you, Sir Spartan King. Choose. Have we ever experienced 4K on the PS5? No. I can't. How am I going to experience that when I can't capture a stream at it? It'll just never happen unless I upgrade my rig. And it doesn't matter because I still can't stream at it anyway. It's Twitch's limitations. I must say I'm very happy that people were very generous to me this year. and They donated not only a new PS4 Pro, but this new TV. Because this game looks outstanding. And I'm only playing at 1080p. I can't imagine what this game looks like in 4K. But... Pretty damn awesome. So thanks to, to the people who were very generous to me this year and allowed me to do that. Yo, that's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. He me through the fucking column. The laser going through a fucking stone column. Come on, man. I can't get by him. Wow. Asshole. So sometimes I get by them, sometimes they're annoying and they get, they stick you. And you can't run by them. Very, very annoying. One of them died, he killed himself. Bullshit, now I'm gonna die. <laughs> I got impaled. Impaled by a column. Oh, what the? First time that happened. First time one of them followed me all the way in like that to hit me from behind. What's funny is 
when you watch a game like this or you play it and you're like, oh, well, you know, uh, Insanity is repeatedly doing the same thing over and over in exactly the same way and expecting a different result. When you play these games, you will get a different result every time. Like, that guy never had followed me all the way there like that that quickly. At one point, one of the gold dudes, I think, had followed me in. But it's just different every time. Like, what the fuck? Why did he follow me in? I don't know. He didn't last time. Look, now I'm stuck on a manta ray. This has never happened. <laughs> I didn't do anything different. I think a game like this just has so many variables that sometimes the variables can, like, hit into each other and cause chaos, you know? Third out of the third series that I challenge you to not explain every single death in this game uh, for the rest of the stream. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Here he comes. That was close. I was on the edge, dude. I was living on the edge. Oh, man. We're living on the edge. Oh. Now that time, the laser didn't hit me. Explain that. We're living on the edge. This is useless. Yeah, Crescent Moon Grass is pretty fucking useless at this point in the game. That's correct. Oh! Hi all right, fuck all that. I thought I remembered that room having guys in it, but I guess I'm wrong. Try flanking? Try flanking. Uh-oh. I don't know what's coming up here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We only got about 15 minutes left on the stream. I don't know what I'm, I'm coming up against here. Is it a boss? Are we at the boss? I have no, no concept of what to do here. Oh, no, is this a gimmick boss? Oh, shit, it's that big dude. It's a gimmick boss, isn't it? Is there something you need to know about this boss to beat him? Fuck. Ugh. I don't remember this. You know what? It's probably a stupid waste. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Ugh. Probably a stupid waste. I don't remember if he uses... I don't need the cling ring anymore. I don't remember what he uses at all. I don't, I remember it being a big boss or something, but I don't remember what he uses to fight. Ugh. Is this the boss that's blind? I'm trying to remember. Is this the boss that's blind and you can lose him? He doesn't know where you are? <sighs> I don't remember at all. I don't remember. <laughs> this is the blind boss? So this is the boss that you can sneak around him because he doesn't know where you are. But you just have to be quiet. I don't remember this at all, really, how to fight him, so... Yeah, he's blind. I think he gets pissed and he just starts swinging because he doesn't know where you are. Tried to dodge. I tried to dodge. Nothing. It didn't work at all. He still hit me anyway. He he just went right through it like he didn't give a fuck. Went right through and just owned me. Huh. <sighs> 
And the thing is, there's no shortcuts on this stage. You have to do the whole thing every fucking time. Yeah, you have to run through the entire stage. Uh, there's nothing you could do. You just have to waste all that time getting back to him. It's so fucking stupid. There's no way to backstab bosses, I don't think, right? I don't think so. So because he, he followed me, I can't get through. It's so stupid. Again, you do the same th exact thing and the game does something different. The game changes the outcome for you. Which is ridiculous. Why is the game changing the outcome? Why is he... one In one instance, he follows me and the other one, he doesn't. Why does it change what it does? Like I said, the game it seems to have so many mathematical variables... That sometimes it, you'll, you'll do exactly the same thing and the game will give you two different outcomes. Best compilation of visuals says, isn't it better for AI to be random than, than predictable? No, not in a video game. If you were trying to make a life simulator, sure. If you're trying to make an enjoyable video game, fuck no. I tried to dodge, nothing happened. Now I can't get in the door, look at that! How many times have I been able to walk in the door? No problem, this time I can't get in the door. <laughs> oh my god. It's ridiculous. I'm doing exactly the same thing I did before to get by. Now it doesn't work. They changed it, so he stepped, oh, a uh, half an inch further back, and he blocks the fucking door. When it's never happened before. Oh my god. Look at that! Completely different outcome. Completely different! The Uchi Katana does good damage to these guys. Yeah. Uchi Katana all the way against them. I got the beast in my sights. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Seriously? Didn't happen last time. That did not happen last time. Same input. Same experience, completely different result. It's completely different result. He decides, I'm going to throw a fucking fireball at your ass and hit you. Right? <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, I don't think I'm beating this stage today, guys. Much like stage 2-2, two -two, I can get through the stage, but the stage is so annoying... And by the time you get to the boss, it's like, oh my god. And then you gotta do it again and again. Like, I've only fought the boss once. I got a couple hits in. I didn't really know how to dodge his attacks yet. Oh, I'd like to fight the boss. Well, try for another 30 minutes to get back to him. Oh my god. Demon's fucking souls, dude. The demon souls trolls. What? Completely different than the last time when it let me run right by him. This time, no. Just die instantly. Unreal how different the game is. It's very, very inconsistent. It's an inconsistent game. Completely different experience. This would be like... You're playing Street Fighter. And sometimes when Ryu throws a fireball, you can jump over it and dodge. And sometimes the fireball just decides to come out at double speed. And you can't jump over it and you die instantly. Sometimes Ryu throws a fireball and it'll do this much damage. Sometimes it'll do this much. And sometimes you just instantly die. <clears throat> That's what this is the equivalent of.
<laughs> and the thing is, there's no point to fighting each and every enemy. Because even if you do, you still could die instantly to bullshit anyway, and then you wasted your time. You were so slow and arduous and taking your time, and then you fucking die anyway. So what was the point of it all? Just rush by it, right? Who cares? I, I do what I... I do what I like doing for a living right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. It's so weird. Oh my god. <clears throat> I tried to roll. Oh, now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. That didn't happen yet either. What last time when I got hit by the laser, this guy would miss when he tried to attack. This time he hits me in combos. Like holy inconsistent shit, dude. It changed again. It changed the outcome again. Completely different scenario. Instead of missing, this time he hits you while you're on the ground. Oh, okay. It's like I said, I really feel like the game has so many mathematical factors that it's not consistent at all. You know? Look at that! Now that's... The <laughs> now I can run by both of them completely and never get touched by them at all. Oh my god. Oh, got by the right hand side this time. Oh, wow. Let him come to me. Oh wow, I thought I was out of range. Now I'm dead. Yep. Whatever. I tried. I could definitely beat him. I could definitely beat him. I could tell you it's a little annoying because when you're on the sides of the map, like I was beating him convincingly. I had him and I knew the pattern, but then all of a sudden I was backed against the wall and it didn't seem like I couldn't walk sideways anymore. I was walking behind the columns. And all of a sudden, like, there was, like, I was completely blocked from walking behind the columns, and I couldn't see because the camera was locked behind me and wouldn't go left or right. So I couldn't tell why I couldn't move, which is very frustrating, obviously, because you want to be able to fucking move to keep fighting that boss. Like, that's not, that's not hard. It's just, it, the room is tougher than the boss. Like, the boss doesn't have any attack patterns at all. All he has is the lunge slash, a swinging slash that's a wide attack, and then he's got the, the one where he stabs the ground and it blows up. It's actually not hard. It's just the room beats you, not the boss. And that's what happened there. I was convincingly staying around him. But the problem was I got stuck and it screwed me up. It screwed up my, my attack pattern that I was using on him. But third out of the third series that I challenge you to not explain every single death in this game uh, for the rest of the stream. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. Well, good session of demon souls i hope you guys enjoyed it uh good stuff until next time all right great so ladies and gentlemen welcome back to demon souls last time around we made some pretty good progress i beat multiple bosses and the like and now here we are <coughs> excuse me in stage four two arguably one of the most annoying stages in the game all right it really is it's super annoying because you have to go through a stage where you have to run by so much shit. Um, seriously. That to get to the boss is a major pain in the dick. Alright. Now, I'm using the Uchigatana because it seems to be the only effective weapon against those 
ghost characters. <clears throat> okay. Um, but I'm hoping we can just get to the old hero and beat him quickly, but it might take me an hour or two. I'm serious. This stage is one of the most annoying. I always run through it when I play this game. And this may just be a major pain in the ass. I'm probably going to die a million times here trying to get back to the boss. And when I get get to him, I might not beat him again right away. So, hold on to your butts. This is going to be an annoying, arduous part of the game. But I'm used to it. I've already played the game twice, so I know, I know what's going on here. Okay. Here we go again. Same old shit, dog. Just a different day. Here we go again. Ugh. <clears throat> Um, Mola Viking took me five dollars. The Dreamcast failed because it didn't have a DVD player, which Sony had a patent on. It's not because you would burn games to the Dreamcast. There's no logic. You wanted to buy the game system. You had to pay for the games. Don't you get it? What? There is no logic in wanting to buy the game system. You have to pay for the games. Don't you get it? No, I still don't understand what you're saying. This is the third attempt. I still don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I still don't get it. Okay. The PlayStation had a patent on the DVD. So you can play DVDs on PlayStation 2. And? What does it have to do with games? Alright, I vote Gibson Truce and I'm here. Did I get my his apology for Golden Colts? Yes, I did. Alright, you guys ready? Clyde Lesson. Timmy Dollar Dreams, why would I ban someone for messing around? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why. Because it's my stream and I do what I want. If someone's annoying me, they get those boot. That's all about a nice lump of coal in your stocking here around Christmas time. If you don't like it, well, don't act like an asshole. How about that? Now, remember, the whole goal here is just to run by these guys, not fight them. If you fight each one, it just takes too long, and it fucking takes up too many of your health resources. Well, I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm screwed. Nothing I can do about that. As you've seen, I've attempted to do this many times, and sometimes you can do it no problem, run right by them, and then sometimes they just block you. And it's completely random because the game is based on so many mathematical variables that you will do the exact same thing a hundred times and get a hundred different outcomes. <laughs> it's so it's so ridiculous. So watch, now now I'll do it another time, it'll be different, and then I'll do it a third time, and that time I'll get by them easily. No problem. We've done exactly the same thing. Get out of my fucking way. Asshole. I tried the roll, and it did not come out when I pressed it, and I died. Jachurdi has reset for 35 months and says, like a flash of blue returning to the front lines, the haiku mod lives. How you doing? Did I miss anything or am I in time? You're just in time. But I just started. I just started, and... I'm going to die a million times getting through this fucking stage. It's guaranteed. It's absolutely guaranteed. I will die a million times here. Whoa. I have no idea why he ran in that direction. I was holding a different one. <laughs> this game is so fucking random. Wow. I'm so desensitized at this point to this shit. That time he never swung. See what I mean? He never even swung. I wasn't even near the... <laughs> I wasn't even near it. The hitbox must be large for that beam. Because physically the beam never touched my body. Yet it's, it dealt the damage. Wow. What I, what I will definitely say this. Okay. Um, what I'll definitely say is this. In future Dark Souls games, things became more consistent. In future Dark Souls games, um, speedrunners, etc., really define what you can do in this kind of game and mastered those games. This game is fucking wonky, dude. It really is. Like, now I couldn't get by him. I could that time. I did exactly the same thing. Third time in a row, I did exactly the same thing. I got stuck on his foot, and I couldn't get by him. I haven't changed my inputs or anything I'm doing. Again! Again, the beam was nowhere even showing near me, and it hit me. 
Mullah Viking to me five dollars. It says I am saying piracy boosted the sales of the Dreamcast. It did, however, not give the edge over Sony, who had a superior system because of DVD. I love you, Phil. You do you, but piracy did not kill the Dreamcast. You, you, you not suck at Souls games either. Yes, I do. Um, you do understand that even though the Dreamcast sold a million units or whatever, it didn't matter because no one bought the games. That's the point I'm making. You don't when you sell a console, you do not make your money on the sale of the console. In fact, most game consoles are sold around cost. There's very little, if any, profit margin on the sale of a game console. It's actually all made on the sale of the games and peripherals. So regardless of the fact that the Dreamcast sold a lot, it was the piracy that killed it because they didn't make any money on the game sales because no one bought the games. I understand what you're saying. You're trying to say, oh, but the, the Dreamcast wasn't a big failure because it sold a lot of consoles. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many consoles you sell. It depends on how many games you sell. You see what I'm saying? It's a very different thing. This time, nope, nope. Can't get by him. I can't move. Look, I can't get by him. <laughs> they won't let me get by him at all. What the fuck? Oh my god! Another different outcome. Another different outcome. They followed me in this time. <laughs> it's so random. It's so fucking random. Holy shit, this game is random. Anyway, Frog Detective, again, I don't know, Frog Detective, did you actually tip me because someone impersonated you? And I want to know if this is really you or not, before I give credit to this person who just uh, tipped, unless because it might be someone fake. Okay. Not him. Nope. So it's fake. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. Anyway, Dr. Tony Huge tipped me $3 and said, Vest time. I'm going to be going to the gym in about two hours to get my pump on. So I'm time to chill until then. Thank you. We, we have hit the tips goal. Although I'm looking at it and I'm not even kidding. Basically half of this money is gone to chargebacks already today. But what can you do? Uh, we did hit the tips goal, guys. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, so we got some asshole who's impersonating people today. And I apologize, guys. I'm trying to fix that. But it takes a little bit. Okay, the vest pole is in effect. Nice. Oh, this asshole. So, one time that beam hit me, this time it didn't. No explanation as to why, because I haven't done anything differently. Ugh. Okay. Alright, thank, thank you, Dr. Tony Huge, for another $1.30 tip. I appreciate that very much. Oh, what the? What the fucking shit? Are you serious? From that far away. <clears throat> Christ. You really can't do nothing in this game. Look, he's still trying to hit me. I can't even update the fucking leaderboard. I can't even update the leaderboard. I get cheap attacks. Okay, the red vest won today. Oh my god. This game is something else, dude. Yeah. Alright, anyway. I don't even know what to do here. It looks like my PayPal's all fucked up. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Mullah Viking to me $5. That's not what I'm saying. The PlayStation sold 155 million consoles. Dreamcast sold 20 million. They didn't lose the console war because of piracy. Piracy wasn't an issue. DVD had Sony had, was the Sony patent. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, j dude. <laughs> you understand the life cycle of the Dreamcast was like a year and a half in the States, right? At least in the United States, the, the console died incredibly fast because of piracy, okay? The PlayStation 2 had one of the longest life cycles of any console and was one of the best-selling consoles in history. So, of course, when you look at sales numbers, it's going to say 155 million versus 20 million. You're comparing like a six to seven year run to like a year and a half run when the console died because of piracy.
anyway, Dragon Timmy, four dollars twenty cents. I made the worst Demon Souls player for someone who beat the game twice. I am. I agree with you. I am the worst player on the planet. Thank you for the tip. I need to get the red vest, everybody. Well, I got my health back, which is good. <sighs> One more guy to get past. He hit me. I knew he was going to. What if I... Oh, come on. See, that's bullshit. So the, the Reaper hits me? Okay. Then he immediately recovers and throws a fireball. What? This game is bullshit. This game is 100% bullshit. 100% cheating. Sir Spartan King Chu, so you still have an issue with the vest rack fall? Oh yeah, I don't use it anymore. The vest rack is on the wall, but I can't hang the vests on it anymore. I only have three vests on it. The camo, the blue, and the gray. Um, if I hang all the vests on it, it falls off the wall constantly. So yeah, the, half the vests are on a pile on the floor. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. I'm just gonna give up. There's no point. Um, anonymous gifter gifted a sub to Jerk Store. Congratulations, Jerk Store. <clears throat> Basically, if I can't get past those two guys, just release and die. There's no point in trying to get by them. Because you'll never kill them because you got the archer shooting you, and then you've also got the manta ray shooting you. So with that much that going on, there's no way you're going to kill those guys and get by them unless you just run by them. It's too much. What, what do I even grab this for? I have no souls. They wouldn't let me buy. An anonymous sub gift to give this sub to Big D's. Congratulations, Big D's. This is annoying because these headphones are too fucking short. So I'm pulling on the wire now. Yeah, this sucks. The headphone cord is way too fucking short they give you with this stupid thing. You know what? Hold on a second. I have a headphone extension cord, and I'm wondering if I use it, if it'll work fine, or if it'll kill my audio quality. Alright? Give me a second here. Because I want to see if I, I... It's too short. It's annoying the fuck out of me. Ugh. Okay. So, put this into here, and this into here. This gives me a ton of slack now. Hopefully it doesn't kill my audio quality, though. Let's find out. I think it's okay. See, because I'm not splitting the audio now. I'm just extending the length of the cable, which gives me a lot of slack. So now it's not constantly pulling and shit. And now I actually could do this. I could push the receiver back a bit away from me. And I could actually move around naturally. This is good. <clears throat> okay, nice. I think we're good. Once again, they blocked the way they will not let me buy. <clears throat> so stupid. Hello, Habib Gaming. How are you today? I'm not kidding. This is going to be the beginning of the stream. This could be hours, guys, beating this stage. It's that annoying. This stage is that bad where you just have to tough it out until you can finally get past everything and fight the boss. And that's why it takes so long to beat this stage because if you take your time to do it, you end up wasting so many healing items <clears throat> to get through it, and it's not even worth it. Because you die to the boss anyway. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. There. Finally got by them. He blocked the door. I can't get in. God. <clears throat> oh my God, dude. He blocked the fucking door. I couldn't get by. 
That vendor must be like, Jesus Christ, dude. You're, like, you're having a rough time of it. You're running by every five seconds. <laughs> that vendor like, oh my god, this poor, this poor schlub. Right? I rolled. It didn't work. It's so weird because so I roll every time. And sometimes the roll works fine. And other times the roll just doesn't work at all. And I get hit. Before, I was going down the staircase and that, that beam didn't hit me. This time it does. Alright. Well, Mola Viking tipped another $5. And he said, I did pull the numbers out of my ass. The Dreamcast sold 9 million units in its first year. And the PS2 sold 51 million in its first year. Yes, that is correct. That is absolutely correct. The Dreamcast was not a successful console. That's why it failed miserably and was basically out of circulation in a very quick period of time. By the way, he also said that I'm not bad at these games. I feel... Let me put it this way. I'm definitely not the worst player. I'm not journalist level. All right? If I play these games a lot, I can get better at them, but I don't play them enough. There's people who, like, exclusively play difficult games like this, and they get really good, and... You're never, that's, that's never going to be me, you know what I mean? That's never going to be me. But you see, here's someone just said, this is sad, you're just throwing bodies at it. That's how you beat it. I'm serious. Demon Souls, Dark Souls and Demon Souls are two different animals. Demon, dark, uh, dark Souls, taking your time, killing stuff, getting the souls, doing all, is worth it. In this game, it's not. Because in this game, you don't regenerate Estus. You have to grind for healing items. So actually going through this stage slowly and taking your time is a waste of time. You end up wasting more time grinding for healing items to get through it legit than just running through it. Running through this stage is the way to beat it. If you take your time, you're actually hurting yourself. Now I'm fucked, yep. Nothing I can do. <laughs> Now, people are arguing there is no way that, that 51 million PS2s were, were manufactured in one year. <laughs> oh, my God. If this game had Estus flasks, then I would argue, take your time, go through it slowly, just like you would do in Dark Souls. But because it doesn't, because it requires grinding to get your healing items back, in my opinion, it makes absolutely no fucking sense to go through slowly. If you can get through a stage by just tur turboing through it, and you don't need the items in the stage, then just fucking turbo through it. Fuck it. There's no point in wasting your time being all slow and careful. If you know what you're doing, you can just get through the stage. But the problem is, again, it's random. Look how much damage that just took. I blocked, and look at the damage. Holy fucking shit. Okay. That time I got right by the guy, no problem. <laughs> oh, come on! He wasn't fully rendered yet, yet the game fucking made him block my path. <clears throat> I tried to roll, nothing happened. <laughs> Evel Gibson, already read that. CM Fool to me a dollar thirty. Said, "I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving." Back to the salt mine. All right, thank you, CM Fool. Ugh. Great. Ugh. And the guy blasted me anyway. <laughs> the guy blasted me. Holy shit, dude. He fucking hit me late. I was already dead. Evel gives us some soul as we said, this is the easiest one. This is the most exploitable, I feel. Like, if you know exactly what to do, I feel you can probably really destroy the game easily. Because the thing is, the game is short. The, the challenge is that there's no bonfires. But if you're an expert at souls, okay? Like, for example, if you're an expert, you just parry all these motherfuckers. Get right by them and everything, you know? So if you're an expert... Probably you can exploit the game and get past a lot of the things I'm having difficulty with. I'm not an expert. 
at entry level, this is definitely the hardest Souls game. It took 100% of my life. That never happened before. <laughs> I got hit by that a million times. It literally never took 100% damage. You see what I'm saying? That whole definition of insanity thing does not fly with this game. This game does something completely different every time. Every fucking time. Got stuck on the door for a second. What? Uh, right. I was completely inside the cave. And he swung and hit me through everything. And again, that's one of the most annoying things about From Software games. The enemies can swing through walls. You can't. Oh, great. The enemies can swing through walls easily. You cannot. So you get fucked. CM Fool to be a dollar thirty says, uh, Demon Souls or a full run of the Quiet Man? Why are we still talking about we're still talking about the Quiet Man, even though I've played it. Interesting. Yeah, why is it that every enemy in the Souls franchise can attack through walls and you can't? You bounce off the wall, everyone else just passes through like it's not there. Wow. Couldn't even lock on properly. Oh, Murdoch, chances are it's nothing to do with you. Chances are someone was impersonating you, so hold on a second. No worries, hold on. I'll fix it. Dechurity says, am I going to get 100% bug snacks? I have no idea. I am enjoying doing the side quests for the characters that you don't really need to do, but... I feel the side quests are fun to do because they're more challenging, requiring you to get some of the more rare uh, bug snacks, right? I wonder if I can parry these guys. I haven't tried it, but I wonder if I could parry them and get by them that way. Because, man, they're fucking annoying. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, the Paradox says, why don't you try a different stage? They're all like this. The whole game's like this. The whole game is exactly like this. I just tried to parry nothing. Wow, that was really worth my time, wasn't it? Do you see why it's not worth it? You're getting sniped by so many enemies in so many fucking directions. There's absolutely no reason to even try to fight it. It's just a waste of your time. It really is a complete waste of your time. It's just, it's troll mode nonsense. That's, that's Demon Souls, man. This stage in particular. Instant kill. Yes, FL Gibson, it's easier to rush by than fight these things. He's like, but you haven't done it yet. I did. Last stream, I did it a ton. You have to understand, I haven't not played this in a week. I played Monday last, it's Friday. So now I'm rusty. My timing's off. I don't remember exactly how to dodge everything. This is the problem with this game. If you're not constantly playing it and shit... You know, you'll you'll play worse, and I am. I'm playing worse right now than I was on Monday. For sure, I'm playing worse than I was on Monday. I can't get by him. There, finally. The hitboxes are so fucking wonky and weird. Okay. Wow, that time no one really tried to hit me. Oh my god, you've got to be shitting. You've got to be shitting. That was fucking great. I got by them completely. He did a homing magic attack that went all the way down the stairs and hit me in the back of the head. Wow. Demon's fucking souls, folks. This is demon souls. Wow. 
I was all the way down the staircase. The motherfucker still hit me. Still. And by the way, that's homing magic. That's why it hit me. It wasn't like he threw it and it goes straight. It's homing magic. Yeah, isn't that nice? Wow. I rolled. I rolled and it didn't work. Wow, I couldn't move. I'm dead, I'm dead. Wow, I survived. Heal quickly. Wow, I hit again. I'm gonna die. Wow, that was close. That was insanely close. You saw why I almost died, the camera. The camera locked in the corner when I was stuck over there at the altar. So I couldn't tell where to roll to get out of the way. There. Oh. The old hero's dead. Fuck. What a pain in the ass. See? Don't play the stage. Just fucking fight the boss. That's the way to do it. Seriously. Fuck the stage. I think I'm gonna go see if we can get the patches. And see what's over there. Because I never really explored that area. But first, let's buy more of these healing items right here. So I'm not wasting souls when I die. Notice I said when I die. Not if I die. Here you go. What? That made zero sense. Like I said, when I die, it's bullshit. He did two attacks, and then I should have had a chance to counterattack. He gets to attack two more times before I can swing once. Right. Whatever you fucking say, dude. Whatever you say. Okay. This game is much more complicated than Dark Souls with the crafting. You need so many different unique items to do it. It can get very confusing if you have the right ones. <laughs> Alright. Let's go see if we can upgrade the Crescent Falchion one more time. And then we'll determine what we want to do next. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Tony Huge. Um, I appreciate a $26 tip that he just gave me. Thank you very much, Dr. Tony Huge. So with the $26 tip, we're now at $202 of tips for today's stream. And that means I'm going to attempt to put on a Santa hat. I don't know how this is going to go. All right. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to stay on my head or not. I'm also hot as fuck already today because the sun is outside beating on my office wall. This is not going to work. <laughs> this is uh, this is not going to work. I was like, I don't know if this will work or not with these Sony headphones. The headphones are too big. Oh my god. This is so not going to work. The headphones are too big. That's the problem. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we'll see if this works. Probably not going to work. Anyway, thank you, Dr. Tony Huge. That gets us over $200 of tips today, and I appreciate that, especially because of all the stupid chargeback nonsense going on. It is much appreciated. Thank you, Tony Huge. All right. I'm not a clown, and I'm not an actor. There's two ways to go, but damned if I can remember what we're supposed to be doing here. It's been a while since I've been here. See you later, Habib Gaming. graphics <laughs> the graphics that I'm backstabbing these motherfuckers are amazing I'm 
I missed? You gotta be fucking shitting me. Yeah, they all have super armor, which is really stupid when you think about it. Now I'm dead. Why do they all have super armor? They're all little, little weak ass enemies. It's so dumb. Little weak ass enemies, and they all have fucking amazing super armor. As soon as they go into their attack animation, you can't interrupt it. Like, what? There it is! What the fuck? He's a little generic enemy, and you can't stop him. <laughs> you can't stop him. Oh my god. You saw that guy has a forked tongue? It was like a snake. I couldn't do anything. I was still in the animation. I was still in the execution animation. When I came out of it, I was trying to roll. The game wouldn't allow me to do anything. It was a, it was a guaranteed death. Wow. That's fucking stupid. That's really dumb right there. Execute clown mode. Huh. Plague resistance ring. Pretty coming up, I think there's a stage with plague. Yeah. This is the way. You have got the way the way. You are on the way. Have I been over there before? I see a lizard, and I don't know if I've actually been over there before or not. Oh shit, that was not the way! Damn it! I wanted that item. I didn't get it. I got screwed. Yeah, if I had walked on that, I would have been able to go over there. But I fucking fucked it up. So now I can't. Well, that was not the way. That is definitely not the way! That's not the way! Oh! That was not the way! Shit. Deactivate the clown mode. Do you think... Hold on a second. Oh! That's how you get this item over here. This is the way. This was the way. Sharp stone shark, clear stone chunk. Eh, don't really need them. Now what's the way? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Uh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh. Uh-oh. Now what? I don't see a safe fall here. Oh, fuck me. Well, uh, I guess I just gotta take the leap. There's nothing else to do, right? Uh. Alright, let's ban this idiot. Okay. Here we go. Leap of faith. Well, it was the way, but it was not the way to live. It was the way to get those items. Good thing I didn't really care about the 2,000 souls I had on me. He's getting pissed off. He's getting more on fire. Got him. Good shit. That was the right sword for it. That was definitely the right sword for it. Flame Lurker's Trophy. He needs the Soul of Scorching Heat. But how do I do this? I don't remember how to do it. Do I put it in here? No. Don't go forward without a polearm. <laughs> Fucking immature idiots. Don't go forward without a polearm. Alright. 
<sighs> that guy, like I said, everything about that guy is freaking stupid innuendo. Written for like a five year old. <laughs> Alright, maybe like a 13 year old. <clears throat> is I might want to fight the big boss. The big boss at the end of World 2. It's another gimmick fight. It's a total another gimmick fight. Underground Temple. Archstone of the Flame Lurker Demon. Ages ago, a fire demon was imprisoned in the underground temple littered with the bones of dragons. Beyond the prison in a sea of molten lava are the resting bones of a dragon of unfathomable size. Yes. And I think, if I remember correctly, isn't this dragon the dragon you see in the intro to the game? The FMV intro? I think so. This is not staying, by the way. It's falling again. Yeah. Is it a puzzle boss? It actually is. This boss, you have to use... Uh, things to kill it that normally you wouldn't you'd think you'd use. Oh, let's read the message. The Dragon God. Yep. That's definitely the dude from the intro. He's ginormously big. But, if I'm remembering correctly, the fight is nothing like what you think it is. You think, oh god, I gotta have a giant duel against this giant dragon boss, right? But it's a gimmick fight, so... All right. By the way, save and exit. All right, I gotta go on. I'm going on break. That's why. <laughs> okay, cool. Snow Carl, uh, dude, I'm serious now. Fucking stop it. Stop it now. I will fucking put the controller down and ban your ass on the fucking spot if you don't shut the fuck up with this nonsense. I had it. it. Cutting out the break of the stream is bad for my fucking health. How is that good? Oh, that's a positive change. I've had enough of your shit. So just shut up now. Move your finger, you asshole. Oh, I'm dead? I'm dead. This is annoying. You need to break all this stuff. It's stupid because you die a bunch of times doing this. Because you have to break all the shit. But if I remember correctly, once it's broken, it, it, it's gone for good. So you don't have to do it again. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Nothing, nothing attacked me. I was like, okay, I got hit by the hand, but then why did I take damage again? <laughs> why is there a weird lingering hitbox? Your eight is stupid. There's a weird lingering hitbox. Okay. Instantly killed. Yep. Uh, Stuck between his fingers. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I'll say this the fact that the loading time is non existent 
definitely makes it not as bad because the original Demon Souls is a big major thing. Every time you died, you had to wait like two minutes. Like I'm not exaggerating. The wait, the load time on PS3 was like ridiculous. <laughs> Ibsolvin, yes, I did know that. He says if you beat the tutorial boss, you'll go straight to this guy and he insta kills you. Yeah, you go to him and he just Im immediately just like destroys you, right? I got stuck. Well, there goes 20,000 souls. Yeah, that was the Flame Lurker souls are gone now. Yep. Oh, well. It's not that big of a deal. At this point in the game, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it really isn't. I don't really care. This is going to be a mess. This playthrough is going to be a fucking mess. Yeah, I didn't re remember that. Resuvius to me five dollars saying some girl beat this with a dance pad or something. Okay, that's great. Thanks for the five dollar tip. I appreciate that. Like I care. All right, let's continue. I definitely didn't remember that he does that. Like I said, I don't remember. This fight is so stupid. Like it's so not a real boss fight that I don't remember it. I just I've I've beaten this twice. And I've completely forgotten it because I don't care. can't even see what's hitting you. It just you just die. Uh, okay. Did anything actually strike me? I guess not. He pinched me. <laughs> he tickled me. What? I was <laughs> He had already punched. He wasn't even near me. Wow, talk about wonky shit. That's a terrible hitbox. He wasn't even near me and it hit me. Yikes, that's really stupid. I think, can't you just roll through it? I think if you time your roll right, you can have an invincibility frame when he's punching. So I think that the punch goes through your body. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's how you're supposed to do it. So you play it enough so you learn the timing of the punches. <laughs> Which was my favorite? I would say Dark Souls 1 and then Bloodborne. Then it's tough to call after that. Someone said, who's my favorite from software game? Definitely Dark Souls 1, the one that started it all. Um, see, I like 2, I just don't like mechanics of 2. I like the world design of 2, and I like some of the, the fights and bosses and stuff. I just don't like the mechanics of having to put souls into a stat so you can actually roll. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, I feel like Dark Souls 1, it just has the best world design with the amount of variety in the world. In the, the amount of variety in the world. I wonder if I can block these with my shield. I didn't even think about that. Anyway, thank you Crazy Spanish for the 17 month free sub. That's not what I wanted. Okay. 
Wow. That was completely ineffective. I wanted to give it a shot. Wow. Again, what do you want? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's so dumb. How did I even get by at the time that I got by? I have no idea. I don't know how I did it. This is seriously the equivalent of like, so you're playing Street Fighter and you get to a boss and the boss makes you play Tetris. Right? This isn't, this has nothing to do with the game right now. One hundred percent damage. Oh my god. Or like you're playing a first person shooter and then it's time for the boss. You have to pull out a dance pad and play Dance Dance Revolution to beat the boss. That's what this is. This is nothing to do with the game, what you're doing right now. <laughs> Oh my god, another instant kill? Why is it that sometimes I can get by it and then other times it instantly kills me again? The game is not consistent. D Dark Souls is way more consistent than Demon Souls. Why can sometimes he hits me for a chunk of damage and other times it's 100% damage? It, and it's not explained, it's just random nonsense. It's fucking nonsense. I just want to beat this part and do something fun. This is so stupid. Ugh. Look at that, it can't do anything. I don't even know if there's a place you can stand and not get hit. I'm not even sure. There might be, but I don't know where it is. I haven't seen anything that appears to be a safe spot. Because <clears throat> the hitboxes are so wonky, that's the problem. He's punching way, way around you in some cases and you still get hit by it. It looked like that was it, and it wasn't. I still got hurt. It looked like there was a pillar there, and it st he still hit me through it. <laughs> it's so dumb. It says, oh, yeah, you can survive. No, he broke the column that you were hiding behind. Dark Magus is not a pillar. There's a piece of rock. Here, this maybe. Nope. He hit you around the piece of rock. <laughs> I was directly behind it, still hit me. Oh my god. What do you think about all this? <laughs> what does the nutcracker think about this? <laughs> it's a bunch of bullshit fuck this <laughs> I wish I could do that and have him stand up there we go the nutcracker doesn't like it the nutcracker is very upset he wants to see me fight other stuff today he's very upset <laughs> uh Hello, Expand Dong. I already said hello to you earlier. Why are you asking for it again? Yeah. 
What the fuck? What a waste of healing, too, because every time I do this, I try to heal, and I waste my healing. Oh my god. Can he not see me? I guess not. He can't see me now. hit me. He never even attacked and I got hit. That was impressive. He didn't attack me, but I got hit anyway. So we know he's going to use fire here. Of course, I'm just slightly into the range of the fire. Of course I am. I don't know what the range is. So the range is it hits the column you broke. So once you break the column, you gotta take like two steps back. Alright, pure dragon stone and dragon demon soul. Very nice. That's two of the big boys down. Okay. Um... Gorilla X Pimp cheered. He said, "Take a dab for that anonymous and some ordinary gamers and Mudahar. Why are you Why are you talking about people who are banned from here? <laughs> Seriously. Touchdown, um, wow. Both sides are blocked. See that? When you fast travel, Tennessee resets. You had pure white Tennessee, so you could have gotten it. The problem is, you already fast travel it reset. Maybe you can get it if the God gave three points of pure tendency. Nope." No. That's dumb. Oh, I want to fast travel to the next is reset your world tendency. That's fucking yeah. I don't even. I never cared about the world tendency shit in this game. I think it's incredibly stupid. It's just this fucking weird nuance that's just more annoying than anything. Oh, you beat the boss. Nothing else has changed in the world. All you did was go to the nexus and back. Oh, you lost all your world tendency. Now you can't get your item. Fuck you. What the fuck kind of stupid shit is that? Beats me. Fuck you. Fuck you. From software. You dumb fucking ass cuck fucking pieces of fucking shit. You guys couldn't make a fucking video game if someone handed you a completed one. Some of these gargoyles are real. And you gotta fight them. Renowned hero soul. I'm gonna try my magic sword. See how it works. I can always go to the Uchikatana if I need to. And the shortcuts in this stage are lifts that I believe are cages. And you need to unlock them from different directions. Here he is! Get him out of here! So like I was saying, this stage is incredibly annoying because you can easily slip and fall. Yeah. That was great. Just turn back and go behind you. Yeah, but I remember there's a lot of secrets. Oh, here's an item. Nice. What are you saying? Fresh spice. Magic. Yeah, magic destroys these motherfuckers. Because it locks on and kills their ass. Yeah. Oh, really? Primatic Tactics says the Dragon Longsword would work really well here. Alright, let's give it a shot. Here he comes. There we go. Very nice. That is the way to go. Thank you very much, Pragmatic Tactics. Good recommendation there. You know, I have three weapons I could use. This is definitely the best one for this. Good shit, dude. Very nice. Uh, an anonymous gifter who gifted us up to handheld fat guy. Well, I don't know who the hell you're talking about because I'm certainly not getting my handheld. I'm not fat. So, fuck up. 
Shell Con Artist is too bad. Lords of Shadow 2 killed Castlevania. Yeah, it did. It sucked. Lords of Shadow 2 is absolutely terrible. I loved Lords of Shadow 1. I hated Lords of Shadow 2. It was like a complete waste of time. Terrible plot, too. Everything about it was just shit. A duty. And uh, I think he'll do a great job. I'm happy for him. I hope that, that uh, things go well and WWE doesn't fuck with... Oh, God. You're kidding! You fucking piece of shit! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Heal, 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 heal! I'm dead, I'm dead, it's over. I gotta do the whole stage over. Yep, I'm done. He did the one-two combo. He did the knockdown move and then immediately the stun move. And there's nothing you can do. If you get knocked down, you can't get up fast enough to get out of the way. So I gotta do the whole fucking stage from the beginning now. Yeah, if he knocks you down, you're fucked. Because then he hits you with the stun and then he grabs. That's, that's the worst combo that enemy type could possibly do to you. It's 100% guaranteed death, man. I mean, the good news here is it's not that bad because I didn't lose many souls at all. I only had like 4,000 souls. Nothing on this stage gives you many souls. The bad news is I gotta run all the fucking way back there. Now, I know you could run by all these gargoyles because I've done this a million times before. As you know, I've played this game before and this has happened to me. No, you cannot roll out. That's incorrect. When you're stunned, you're stunned. You have to wait for the stun to expire and then you can roll. But if the stun doesn't expire in time, you're fucked. And you saw he was right near me. He had knocked me down right next to him. So there was actually nothing I could do about that at all. I was 100% fucked. What I'm wondering is maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't use the flame sword against the magicians. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I get all that way and I miss. Maybe two-handing the Uchigatana against the motherfucker. Because there's no point in blocking anything. There seriously isn't. Oh, look. I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Froze TS resale for eight months. Thank you, Froze TS, for the resub. The Witness by Adam Jones cheered and said, I gotta get back to work. I'm trying to catch a late stream tonight. Keep grinding. Have a good day. Thank you very much for the cheers. Appreciate that. Yes, this is the correct way. You gotta keep going up. Or not. Wait, where am I now? Get out of my way. Oh, come on. I got it. I got a plague resistance ring and died. I picked it up and died. <laughs> but I did get the item. Uh, Mandalorian Merc just sent me $1.50. Thank you, Mandalorian Merc. Appreciate that. That was pretty funny. I got the ring as I died. You're not going to get me, asshole. Fuck off. If anything, I'm going to kill myself before he kills me. Okay, here we go again. Here we go again. Same old shit, dog. Just a different day. <coughs> here we go again. Same old shit, dog. Just a different day. Here we go again. So now we go back and go to you all the way down and all the way up. And I think there's items. If I remember down, there's items. And then up is the actual rest of the stage, I think. Am I reading Cheers or am I angry? I am incredibly angry, but I am reading Cheers today. Just so you know. Just don't be a 50-bit bitch, okay? Okay? Here's what you can do, Ninstar Rune. You can go fuck yourself and never come back. And I mean that. Don't ever ask to come back because you're not you're not the kind of person I want watching the streams. You're the person who tries to derail the stream constantly with nonsense. And I don't need your Cheers to fucking survive. I can make do without Ninstar Rune being a 50-bit bitch and derailing my streams with negativity, nonsense, and stupid shit. We're all trying to have a good time on the stream, and we gotta be derailed by an idiot. Go fuck yourself. Don't ever come back. Alright? That simple. Ah. Added new enemies because the heart has fallen. Oh, 
is annoying. Oh wow, I was healing and he fucking stabbed me during the heal. The funny part is it doesn't matter. Because now I'm starting where I need to start anyway because the heart has fallen, so I lost nothing. I've literally lost nothing by dying there. I'm gonna want a two hand because blocking the magic ain't gonna help anyway. And I'm gonna want to try to run up behind him and either backstab him or wail on him while he's going up the stairwell. He stunned me! I'm gonna get killed! Oh, it didn't do much damage at all. But that will. Okay. Now there might be another one. I think I remember there being a stairwell. I remember there being a stairwell with multiple ones of these guys in it. And this very well could be that stairwell. Alright. I think there may be another one coming up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I received an actually legit $50 tip from Murdoch. Thank you very much, Murdoch, for that. Let's get that up on the leaderboard here. Pay pags? Pay pigs. I said pay pags. Pay pigs for supporting you. Um, They called it up because they want to insult you. Alright, let's see what this is. I don't, really don't remember. <clears throat> Man eater? Oh no, isn't this the two bosses? I think I have to fight two of them. Two handing is not working here. Get oh, come on! I'm almost positive there's two of those. I'm, po I'm almost positive there's two of those. Once you get it down to 50% health. Another one fucking shows up. I'm almost positive. But that sucks, man. Well, Amp Ampact, thanks for fi your f a $5 tip. I don't need to know about you eating chicken nuggets. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But thank you for a $5 tip. I wonder if this is legit. Probably not. <laughs> Devour. Devour. Yep, here it comes. Trying to run. Can't do shit, I'm stuck. Uh uh. I can't do enough damage, that's the problem. I need to two-hand him so I can deal enough damage. And the Ujigatana seemed to be doing the most damage of all the weapons. The Crescent Falchion was not a good choice there. It didn't seem to do that much. So now so I only have I only have seven healing items left. That's it. It's the problem with this game. I'm gonna run out of healing items and not be able to kill them. Fucking super annoying. So super, super annoying. They're weak to fire. Dude, everyone says everything's weak to fire. <laughs> The Ujigatana was doing more damage than the Fire Sword. This is so annoying because he's flying now. That's bullshit. Nothing I can do about it. Is he glitched? Come on. Come down here and fight me, man. Oh my god. I can't beat him if he won't fight me and he keeps running away. <clears throat> I 
I almost had him, but now I'm gonna die because the other one spawned. Yeah, I'm fucked. I can't even do anything. So stupid. What happened? <laughs> nice animation. What was that? The, the reason I couldn't beat him, not because I wasn't playing well, because he kept running away. If he didn't run away, he would have been dead. I could have fought the other one one-on-one, -on -one, but how am I supposed to beat it when he's running away constantly, and then he gives the other one time to spawn? It's so dumb, right? He definitely should... If, if, I, I had bad luck. If he had done more melee attacks and not ran away the whole time, I would have been able to beat him. How annoying. Well, yeah, the last two tips that I just got were completely unregistered accounts. So, I don't think I'm going to count them. <laughs> Impact and Lobster Kid, you guys need to fucking make registered accounts and stop sending anonymous credit card payments. Um, so, I'm not going to count those because I don't think they're real. So, that means we're back down to 86. Yeah. Alright. So, I'll try one more time, I guess. I really don't want to waste these healing items, though. They're the best ones in the game, but... I'll probably try one more time, and if I don't do it, I'm going to have to go buy healing items. There's nothing I can do about it. Hello, Cheerio Eater. How you doing? Here we go. I rolled. Nothing happened. It's funny, they didn't fix his animation. The animations are still, like, long. I tried to roll. It's not rolling. Wow. Nice, ro nice fucking roll. It's still coming out late. I don't even remember that happening, what he just did, that animation. Come on. I was rolling, he knocked me down. I stood up and did the roll that late. <clears throat> that was so stupid. I had rolled before he ever knocked me down, and the roll came out that delayed. It's so annoying because you know play you play games like uh, like Neo Two this year, right? And the controls in that game are so good, like instinct. You go to dodge, you go to parry, you get it immediately. This game and all from software games, there's a delay. They purposely do it to make you fucking slow, and it's really annoying. Yeah, so I have it that my inputs are queued. So if I'm trying to do a move and I get interrupted, it comes out later. What? Why? Is that how it works in real life? I'm going to swing a bat at you. Oh, you interrupt me. So the bat has to swing later automatically. You can't stop it. What? <laughs> Fix that. <clears throat> so dumb. Crazy Spanks, it's not the controller. I didn't say it was the controller. It's the game. From Software games have always had this as a part of the game. And it's super annoying. It's ridiculously fucking annoying that that's part of the game. That was totally fair. I mean, completely and utterly totally fair. I'm petting the cat. They won't end the animation. They won't let me dodge. Nothing happens. I just get executed. Can't move. God. This is the most annoying fucking game. This is so lazy. Lazy game development. Oh, yeah. You can't move because you're petting a cat. You can't interrupt your cat petting technique to fucking stop that. Hey, fuck you. No, really. Fuck you. Lazy-ass motherfuckers. He's not. The thing is, the boss pattern is easy. If he wouldn't just interrupt everything he does immediately with a super armor attack that plows through what you're doing, he wouldn't be hard at all. But, you know, this is what all games are doing now. They're copping out. Instead of creating a pattern that's, like, challenging or interesting or unique, it's... Oh, just I just immediately get super armor and go through everything you do. 
Every game I play now is like this now. Every game, oh, I have infinite poise. I just attack everything you do and ignore your attacks. Even though you, I'm wide open, I'll pretend like I'm not. Fuck this game. Fuck that cop-out shit. That lazy-ass game development. That's exactly what it is. Here we go. Oh, I ignore it. Look, I ignore everything. I just attack non-stop. Fuck your mother. Fuck this. Like, to me, this game is work. To me, this is like, I have to really work my butt off to fucking succeed, and I don't want to do that. I want to have fun. See, I want to lure him over here and fight him over here. I rolled, that's so stupid, I rolled this way. I was holding down and press roll. The game made me roll forward. I didn't do that. I didn't do that at all. That was the game. I was holding backwards and roll, and he rolled forward instead, even though I was holding back. So that's not my problem, problem or fault. That's an issue with the game. For some reason it decided to, to roll off the ledge when I wasn't doing that. Jaturity says maybe don't lock on. This boss fight is hard for all the wrong reasons. If you're on a ledge where you can easily fall off. Because the controls are wonky in this game. It could fuck you over. You know? And then there's the second one that spawns. Like... If it were a straight up fight, the guy would be a fucking easy ass enemy. In fact, he'd be a you know, regular enemy to beat its ass. What? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? How was that fair? Are you out of your mind? What? How is that fair? The Demon Souls Trolls. <laughs> Yes, the controls are absolutely wonky in this game. Are you kidding me? This is before they improved the game's control scheme dramatically in the future Dark Souls game. The only thing they improved is you can 8-way roll now. Instead of 4-way roll, you can 8-way roll. But as you can see, it didn't improve anything. I'm trying to get up, roll backwards, and the game makes me roll off the ledge. I didn't do that. I was definitely pressing backwards and pressing circle. Why the fuck did I go the wrong way? Why am I doing no damage? Why was I one-handing? I, I swear to God I two-handed. I swear to God, maybe I didn't. I was like, why am I doing so little damage to him? Oh, I'm one-handing. That's not good. <laughs> That's really bad. Oh, it's fine. Not a big deal. I'm gonna get my health back anyway. I'm using all my Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. It doesn't really matter. Don't really need them. <sighs> Alright, try again.
Wow, nothing I could do. Knocks me down, knocks me down, and pushes me off the bridge. I had no control over that. Zero. <laughs> wow. Zero control over it. Just die. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to stop going human, because if I keep doing this and dying, it's gonna change the world tendency. So I'm gonna have to stop going human now, which really blows. I can certainly use the extra health, but since the world tendency mechanic exists, as stupid as it is, I guess I have to abide by it. I didn't I rolled up by myself, I never pressed roll. So my character rolled off, I never pressed the button. I was just trying to get up. He knocked me down after the first uh, push, and then he pushed again and pushed, clipped me off the edge with the second push. I never rolled at all. Uh, uh. Yes, the shooting says if you get knocked down, you'll get up again. Nothing's gonna keep you down, except falling off the bridge. <laughs> That'll keep you down. The other one's gonna spawn in a second now. Yup. I totally meant to do that. I totally meant to do a random R2 attack at that point. What's weird is people are saying that it triggers the second one when he's at a certain health level. Well, he was at that health level and it didn't trigger, then all of a sudden the guy showed up. I don't know about that. What it may be is it's two things. There's a health level, but there's also a timer. I think it might be both. Wait a minute. Where did, uh, oh, there he is. I think it's both, because I think if you just, if you take forever to kill that guy, I think the other one shows up anyway. Yeah, Melfus says it's, I'm right. He says it's about two minutes or 20% health, whichever comes first. So there you go. Hence, if he flies around a lot, you get fucked over. Because if he's flying around a lot, the time expires and the other one shows up regardless of how much health you've taken. So you need him to get, you need to get lucky. You need to basically have him not fly around a lot so you can fight him head up and kill him so the other one doesn't show up until you're ready. That's the problem. If he flies, you're fucked. And th that's the problem with the RNG of this game. Oh, I just, I'm just going to fly for like a, a fucking minute and a half of the fight. Well, now I'm screwed. Now I can't even hit the guy. Magic build is correct. Yes, magic build destroys this boss. I remember because I did do a magic build run the second time I played this. Magic build, he can't do shit. He just stands there and gets fucking wailed on by magic. And loses all his health easily. Yup. So there you go. Okay. Oh, these glasses are bothering me. Ugh. Alright, give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. I need to prepare myself for this stupid shit. That's why magic was toned down in later games. I mean, I would definitely believe that. Okay. I would most definitely believe that because... Holy shit, if magic is overpowered in this game. It is. It's crazy good. Isn't it the soul arrow spell or whatever? It just follows your enemy. It's like a homing soul arrow. It does like giant chunks of damage. I'm almost positive. Okay, I'm almost positive it's like crazy powerful. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. <clears throat> now I can't do shit till he comes down.
What? I rolled! It's not- it's not coming out, I'm telling you. I- every time he dashes and every time he's doing those- those stupid magic attacks, I'm rolling and it's hitting me anyway. It's just stu it's that stupid delay. It's that fucking dumb fuck delay in the game. It's not an instant reaction. Look, we're at, ready? Let me do it in a way that I don't fall. Ready? Oh, wait. Now I fall here, too. Jesus. Okay, ready? Look at that delay. You see that significant delay? I push, I release, I wait again, and then he rolls. That's crazy. Look at that. How are you supposed to react to anything? That's And every From Software game is like that. <laughs> Every from suffering and other games like I said, Neo 2, Neo 1, oh instant reaction. So Sekiro 2, I would say the parry system in Sekiro is instant. They made it they made it so that you could actually parry instantly. But these older games is like everything's delayed. If it looks instant to you, it's because you're fucking blind. <laughs> I'm watching my own stream back. It's not instant. <clears throat> Well, I really want to beat this thing, and sadly, it's not looking like I'm going to be able to do it right now. I might have to come back with more health, or if I can find more, more items to upgrade my weapons. Because it's just not happening right now. It's very annoying. I have no healing items left. What? From that distance? Holy shit, dude. From that distance. That's insane. Got him. Thank God. All right. Used every healing item. <laughs> every healing item. What a pain in the fucking dick is that? Man? An arrow to the ass. How nice. Bounce it right off my butt cheeks. Roll out! Roll out! Roll out! Dun 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 Roll out! Alright. The dragon should be to my left. Seem to be all right if I just follow the wall. No, no, that doesn't work. He's gonna go straight down there. <clears throat> hmm. I seem to be okay here. Yep. Oh! Ow! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, really? Melvis TV says, if you get to the beginning of the bridge from the Phalanx boss, where the dragon begins flight, or if we can go there right now, there's a pile of burned bodies as a checkpoint for you to stand. Position yourself right at them and you swing whenever the dragon comes by. And if you time it right, you can kill him that way. Jeez. Well, let's head over there. Let's see if we can figure that out. So the pile of burned bodies, like right here. Dude. 
Did I hit him? I might have. He hit me. <laughs> I wonder if I'm hitting him. Hard to tell. Nice. One more hit, I believe. I think one more will do it. <clears throat> and you guys said I couldn't do it. You guys said I wouldn't do it. Oh, I need one more hit. Son of a bitch. You guys said I wouldn't do it. He died! Small scale flame demon soul. He died. And I got his boss soul. Nice. Magic would help the, uh, the, the falchion. The crescent falchion. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. I honestly don't know what I want to do here. See, I'm Booga 2020. Did you just hit me? If you did, thank you. I want to confirm with you before I read this out. Okay? <sighs> Dexterity is going to make the Ujigatana a fucking beast. You know? Hmm. Hmm. See, Booga 2020, are you here? And did you tip me? Uh. He's not here? See, Booga's not here. So it's not him. He's not saying anything in the chat, so I guess he's not here. Uh, well, I guess it's another fake fucking tip. Unbelievable. What a fucking loser. Baldy, you never tip. Shut up. <laughs> Baldy, you never ever tipped. You're a liar. <laughs> You're so full of it. Oh, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. As they say. see here oh look an unregistered direct credit card tip what a surprise oh i'm sure this is legit all right well anyway sambuka is obviously not here this tip obviously is not legit so i'm gonna refund it <laughs> unbelievable quick buck quick buck quick buck right all right well Art thou finished? oh shut up up next world three three old monk which is arguably Hardest shit in the game, arguably, because it all depends on who you fight. If you fight a noob, you get past it super easy. If you fight someone who knows everything about the game and has insanely high level shit, it could be one of the hardest things to do in the game. So it really depends on luck. And we're going to find out what happens next. All right? All right. All right, all right, all right, my friends. It is now time for World 3-3. Three, three. The Ivory Tower. What is going to happen when I fight the summon boss? It could go any uh, or, or any which way. It really could. It could be I get someone who's kind of a noob and it's like a dominating victory. It could be someone who's like an expert. And has like the scraping spear trolling. It could be anything, so I gotta be careful here. Aren't there some enemies on the stairs? Yeah, there are. Care about them. They're not dangerous. Oh no! Holy testicle Tuesday! I didn't. What happened? Haha! <laughs> it initiated the boss summon while the guy was on the stairs. Oh my god. Okay, so there's the old monk, and he summons someone to fight you. And. 
That's right. That stupid hat. That stupid fucking hat. Now the old monk is actually nude. But he's also dead, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, this really sucks. Because I have to get past the magician. Right? I wonder, would he come down here to fight me? I think there's a there's fog at the down down here. I think. No? There it is. I was gonna say I thought there was fog here. If the magician comes down here. See, I don't know what's gonna happen. He's up there. He's up there he might be waiting for me. But I don't wanna fight the magician. I fucking hate that thing. Oh, come on now! Turn around. Turn around now. I'm invisible. It's so annoying. I hate these things. Alright, fuck this! I'm dead. Yup. I hate this. I fucking hate it. Carlton Jr. Cheers says, KH Knight's coming for me. Well, I'm already dead, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I'm already dead. It doesn't matter who is coming for me. It's the funniest shit ever. I swear to God. He accidentally calls Hulk Hogan a nigger. And I, you know, I'm not trying to be racist or anything. It's the funniest clip ever. You gotta watch it on YouTube. He goes, Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. <laughs> Hello, this is Nemesis. I'm coming for you. Okay. Um... And Jethro's main chief said, fight the magician, don't be a bitch. I mean, I have to, but look what happened. Look what just happened. What happened? No! He's doing it again. There's no way to skip this? Are you serious? There's no way to skip this scene. I'm gonna have to watch this every fucking time? No way. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I have to watch this every time. I might die to the magician like 25 times and have to watch this cutscene over and over. And never even get to the boss. No, they won't let me skip it. Keith? Keith S7. You gotta be kidding me! How is this fair? How is this fair? And now I gotta watch the cutscene again and again and again until he doesn't do his stun move, which is RNG. Oh my god. This is asinine. This is asinine. Play those video games, bitch. <laughs> they didn't think it would be stupid to watch this over and over. Really. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the real torture right here. This is the real Demon Souls, watching this over and over. Okay. He's strong? What the fuck? Yo, he's stronger than the other one. He's stronger than the one you fight on the stairs going to Maneater. They increase his health. And he does instant kill damage. I can't, I can't do this. I can't. I actually legitimately can't do this till I can beat the Magician. And I can't beat the Magician right now. Yeah. This is the dumbest thing ever that they did this. They made him insanely overpowered and he, a fucking... This is ri just ridiculously bad. Jethro's main, he doesn't go back upstairs. That's the problem. If you were watching earlier, you would have seen he was standing there just staring down the staircase and he never turns around. 
This is insanely stupid. If I don't beat him this time, I'm just gonna do something else. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna have to go to five world five two. I can't do this now. Ugh. Try block, you can't block the magic. It still kills you. It'll either stun you or kill you anyway. Dodging if you time it right, but good luck timing it in the stairwell. My problem right now is you saw his health pool is huge. I hit him with R2 and R1 and only did like a third of his energy bar. Like, what the fuck? Why did it make his health so high? How did I miss? I'm stunned now. Yep, yeah, it's over. Why would anyone even want to do this? Like, why would you get, want to be summoned for this boss if everyone just dies on the stairwell to the magician anyway? Right? This is incredibly fucking dumb. They remade the game and didn't fucking fix this. They're that dumb. What do you mean it's not broken? The summon should obviously be not be done on the stairwell. The summon should be done after you kill the magician. So you should kill the magician, walk up the stairs, then the summon happens. Not before the fucking magician. It's just stupidity. I give up. I can't do this. I give up. I'm gonna go do another world. This is a waste of time. This is a serious waste of everyone's time. I'm never gonna kill this guy, so I don't care. I'm gonna go to a different stage. It's more fun. I'm serious. Fuck them. That's, that's lame. Bluepoint improved everything in the game, and they don't have common sense to know. Do the summon after the fucking magician? Fucking dunce. That's dunce level game development right there. You just have to sit there and watch the cutscene a million fucking times. They're fucking idiots. Like, because every, again, I'll admit in the past I made many mistakes. All the things I said and did, the racist jokes and insults to game developers and stuff. That hasn't happened in so long. Fuck this. We're going to the Swamp of Sorrow. Fuck that shit. What a waste of my time. Yeah, I really want to sit here for 45 more minutes dying to the fucking magician over and over. All right, Swamp of Sorrow. This is right after we had killed the leechmonger. Now I might need to use, if I'm remembering correctly, either poison or plague reduction down here. I don't really remember. All I remember is it's foggy as shit, it's confusing as hell, and it's very dangerous. That's what I remember. The darkness. <laughs> Umbasa. This place again? Yes, so as I said, a giant bog. What you're expected to do is follow along the torches. You see them? You're supposed to go from torch to torch and use that to lead you through the bog um, so that you can get the items. Now, if you veer off the path, okay, there actually are other items. If you don't pay attention to the torches, you can actually beat this and get a ton of more items and shit. If I remember correctly. Welcome to the valley. Oh yeah, those valley girls live down here, right? <laughs> Psycho OC has done a 600-bit cheer. That is the biggest cheer of the day. Let's get him up on the leaderboard before I get to the crazy shit. Thank you for the 600 bit cheer, Psycho OC. Appreciate that. Hit the trigger by accident. Okay. Conversalist says, shout out for KH and I for trying to, to, to entertain by, by, you know, fighting me. Yeah, and I would have loved to try to fight him. I really would have, but, you know, Blue Point didn't, didn't fix the issue. I mean, that's just ridiculously dumb what they did. Summon before in his fucking overpowered magician. Fucking dumb. I mean, that is really dumb. 
Why were they not thinking? Oh my god. Oh man, really? Of all the attacks, he had to use that one. That was the one attack that was going to fuck me over. That was the one attack that was going to fuck me over because of the combo. God damn it. Ugh. That hit me, I rolled. It said it missed, even though I was directly behind him. I couldn't block, I held my shield. It's fucked up, like it's not doing the inputs right here. You can't block his, his club, I guess. I'm dead now. Yeah, I got fucked over. This is so stupid. They won't let me block and they won't let me roll even though I'm not fully in the sludge. They're acting like I am and it's fucking me over. That's really stupid. Uh. bit bitch, thanks for the cheer. It's the stupidest thing you've ever said anyone's ever said on my stream. So I'm just kidding. Sun Kwan, if you ever ask me when I'm playing Divinity again, I'm just going to ban you. I've had enough of your nonsense. Everyone already knows the answer to that. I've only answered it about 40 billion times, so I'm not wasting my time answering stupid questions anymore from people like you. Had enough. There's an item over here. Dude, it happened again. That's that's the game clipping me. I was running straight, and the game clips me off the platform. I'm not doing that. That's ridiculous. I was running perfectly fucking straight. Oh, my God. That's lame, dude. Second time in a row it clips. Oh, that's another thing they didn't fix. Old Monk boss still complete shit. They didn't fix that. Oh, it's the slug pile. It's the slug pile. You have to hit this, and then they fall down, and then down on the ground there's an item that comes out of them. Well, I don't have any more time, guys. That's it for today. I made zero... Please, I made zero progress here. That's okay, though. I mean, at least I know what to do now. Oh, people say just throw a bomb. Ah, it's fire damage. That's what it is. Fire damage. If I used the fire sword, they all would have come down. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the world of Demon Souls. Last time around, we did a bunch of stuff. And what I ended was I was trying to beat this stage, stage 5-2, which is this stupid bog... All right, where, sadly, really annoying assholes tend to troll. Also, there's poison everywhere, and it's dark as fuck, and it's really annoying. All right, it's one of the most annoying stages in this game, and actually in all of From Software games. And it's confusing to figure out where you're supposed to go. <clears throat> Faint stone chunk. All right, now I can fight this guy head up. I just got to not step into the muck. I'll be okay. Like that? Are you kidding me? They're saying I was in the muck even though I was on the on the wood. It counted as the muck and wouldn't let me roll. You see why this is so annoying, dude? It's super annoying. What the fuck did I do wrong there? Oh, you slightly stepped to the right and we count that as muck so you can't roll now. 
Oh my god. It's so annoying. It's going to take me forever to beat this just because it's made to be so annoying. You know? It's not, it's not even challenge. It's they designed this area to be incredibly fucking annoying. Let's make an area where absolutely everything fucks you over. And it's so tedious because you got to do the whole thing over from the start if you die. You know? It's super duper annoying. I think it's right here. Yup, here it is. So now there's a big ass item there. See that? It's amid all the slugs. I'm gonna die. Yup. <laughs> I think I remember what it is. Isn't it the Moonlight Greatsword? I think it's the Moonlight Greatsword. So you see, you see why that's so tough? The reason it's so tough is because you can't roll. When you're in the water, those slugs are pushovers. But when you're in the water, you can't roll at all. So you get fucked up and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't move. Everything in this bog is annoying as fuck because you can't roll in the water. You know? Some people are saying the sodden ring. I don't have the sodden ring. I don't know where it is. I don't know where the hell the sodden ring is. Apparently there's a ring that allows you to roll through this area. It makes it easier. I don't have it. It's hidden somewhere in the fucking world. I don't know where. <laughs> it is sick. It Here we go again with this. Help. Internet Famous McCroy, give this up to Kate Galleon. Congratulations, Kate Galleon. Thank you, Internet Famous McCroy, for the support. And Phantom R button, R3 button, shoes. I haven't seen Derek in chat forever. What are you talking about? He was just here the other day. How about you don't fucking pay... You, you don't bother... With other people who has nothing to do with you. Alright? How about you mind your own fucking business? How about that? Okay. Rotten arrow. Ew. Oh, I'll get some items out of it, though. Fuck off. Okay. Ugh. <clears throat> <sighs> Oh, yeah? All right. Hold on a second. All right. Thank you to the anonymous $2 tipper. I appreciate that. There was an anonymous $2 tipper there. Usually someone's so pissed off that they were disgusting people in my chat that they said I should do something about it, so I just did. <laughs> okay, uh... Alright. Alright, I've had enough of this guy, too. Another idiot. Get out of my stream chat. <laughs> For the months of August and September. What is this? Is it another gimmick? It is, isn't it? Isn't this the gimmick, boss? You have to run and kill the woman? I think it is. There's a woman hidden in here in the back, and yes, that's her. You have to kill the woman or something. Yeah. And if you don't, all the enemies just keep endlessly spawning or something crazy. Right? Well. I don't really remember. <sighs> Fuck this. Oh, I made it. There he is. I'm plagued. Come back, will you? I shall let you know. Wow, I almost got past him. But I got stuck. I almost got past him, but I got stuck. Yeah. What you need to do is die. If I remember correctly, you dodge him once. And you could get to her and kill her. I think. Um, let's regenerate my health. And then I get, I'm going to do that again, I think. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. Jose Martinez did a lot of it. Cheers. How are you doing? Happy holidays. I'm doing well, Jose. Thank you for asking. Happy holidays to you as well. To you and yours, of course. I couldn't roll. Oh, come on. 
The game wouldn't let me roll. I can't run either. I'm gonna die. Plague. The plague got me. They wouldn't let me uh, run there. And what's stupid is I rolled and I still got hit for some reason. Uh, where is he? He's not here. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Why does she have so much more health? She never used to have... I swear to God she didn't have that much health. I swear to God she didn't used to have that much health. She used to have died in like 2-3 hits. Now it takes like 20. What the hell? <clears throat> it's not fall. Oh my God, you're serious. Well then. How about a hundred headshots? <laughs> wow, that's broken. I didn't know you could do this. Until stream chat just told me I didn't know you could do this. This is super duper cheap. Wow. Well, I'm going to get an extra trophy for doing it this way, so I'll do it. That is ultra cheesing right here, dude. Admittedly, this is ultra cheesing. <clears throat> Alright, fuck you. Take a million headshots. I had no idea that you could do this. Ah, my head. Do I ever plan to beat these games legit? I already played this game three. This is the third time I'm playing it, stupid. I've already beaten it twice. So, oh, wait a minute. She got her health back. How did she get her health back? I wasn't paying attention. How did that happen? Maybe you can't do it this way then. Now she can't do it. Maybe it's I'm hitting her enough that she can't do it. Yeah. No, there it goes. There it goes. Are you kidding? Yo, that's so cheap. I don't know if I'm going to have enough arrows to kill her this way. If she keeps healing. Will the game allow me to beat her this way? I don't know. <laughs> it seems like she can only heal about a quarter of her health. Right? Oh my god. She'll probably health back. I'll keep doing this. There's a health. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to take it back anyway. Yes, she's only back half health. Oh my god. My hands are going to doing this. Yes, I'm seriously doing this. Why not? It's perfectly valid. Someone said the first time I fought her, I summoned. The second time I used magic. Well, magic is valid in this game. <laughs> I'm going to get a special trophy, apparently. So I want the trophy. That's why I'm doing it. If you don't like it, tough shit. That's how it's done. That's right. I'm using the Silvano Thumb Technique. The patented... Silvano thumb technique to win. Here we go. Dear Lord, you are too cruel. You abandoned us. Is that not punishment enough? Say goodbye, bitch. Done. Mean the Stratus Trophy. And may you be unharmed. Va Vanquish Mean the without killing Garl Vinland. <laughs> Didn't... Uh, let's try... Let's try Old Monk again. I don't know how this is going to go. Because I don't know if I can kill this motherfucker. On the stairs. It's so annoying. So stupid. Uh, KH Knight? No, I'm not playing offline. Why would you say I'm playing offline? There's messages on the ground. How can I be playing offline? <laughs> oh, I can skip it now. Wait, what? They didn't allow me to do that before. They never allowed me to skip it before. Now I could skip it. Huh. I wonder why. They wouldn't let me skip it last time. Oh my god. He's gonna kill me, dude. Oh fuck. Okay, he's almost dead. People are saying that somehow I'm it, I'm not gonna do PvP. Why not? 
I will definitely restart the game. I'll save here after I kill him. And I'll restart. I want to fight a human boss. I don't want to fight a robot boss. That would be considered cheating, I feel. I don't do not want to skip the human boss. I want to fight a human. How am I offline? All right, let me kill this guy and I'll, I'll I'll save and I'll reboot the game and see if it'll put me online. I definitely I definitely want to be online for this. How see the thing is how could I be offline when there's messages on the ground? <clears throat> right? There's a second one. There's a second mage. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're already Oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with this game? What is wrong with this game? There's a second fucking mage. Play those video games, bitch. <laughs> this shit is straight up evil. Wow. I seriously can't believe there's two of them. Rainbow Sparkles 007 just reset for 15 months and don't save and come back in. You're already online. People are trying to troll you. Huh? What do you mean don't save and come back in? I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh shit. Is there an enemy here? I hear footsteps. Oh. Moonlight stone chunk. Ooh, didn't I need that? Didn't I need that for my uh, crescent falchion? I think so. Okay. So what should I... Now that I've got both mages dead, okay... If I, if I stand right here and I save, and I leave the game and I come back, I'm past the mages, right? <laughs> no one can agree. No one can agree here. Seriously. KH Knight is screaming because he wanted to fight me, and he keeps saying, restart, restart, restart. Kid Galley says, no, I think that'll put you back at the bonfire. One point dashes, you're definitely online. People don't know what they're talking about. A ghost phantom just ran by. Right, I mean, obviously I'm online. But it didn't say that anyone invaded me, right? I didn't notice that. I don't think it said anyone invaded me. No, if you save and quit and you come back, the enemies definitely respawn because it happened to me earlier on in this stage. Well, this is really basically I have no control over this, right? Gorilla X Pimp Chewy says you'll appear you restart to appear online, it's a bug. <laughs> Cage Knight says you're in line, but you did not get invaded. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Pray for Rock says you're aligned and you're in human form, it allows people to invade, but for some reason you didn't get invaded, that's all. So what do you want me to do? It's not now, I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. Seriously. If I just go in and fight, people will complain. If I take the time to restart and now I, I die on the staircase a million times to the mages, people will complain. So it doesn't matter what I do, people will complain. <clears throat> Alright. Fuck this. Now, no one can say I didn't try. No one can say I didn't try to fight a human on this boss. If it doesn't work this time, that's it. I'll give it one shot. If it doesn't work, then I, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay? I'll give it one try. All right? Uh, I don't have to fight the mages again. 
Yes! Okay! Now, will I get invaded? I'm not getting invaded. No. Nope. No. Well, guys, I tried. I don't know what to tell you. I tried. It's not working. How stupid is this? Because this is exactly what happened in my second run in Demon Souls. If you guys remember... Ew, why is it yellow now? Wait, I can't even... Uh, it's not working. They won't let me in the room. I think the game is glitched. I have to leave and come back. It's glitched. The game glitched! There's a fart cloud. Oh! Never mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I get invaded. I want to fight a human. I tried. I fucking tried. Okay. It's the yellow piss fog of cowardice. <laughs> it's the chicken shit fog. Here we go again. It's only the tenth time we've seen this. They won't let me skip the cutscene this time. So I think I did get invaded. Yeah. Yeah, I think I legit got invaded. All right. Black Phantom Mia Lintz. What the fuck is that? That's a big ass shield. Dual handing, huh? Two handing. What the hell is that? Electricity. Or is it magic fire? It might be magic fire. Let me guess, it's corrupt corruptive and it's, it's destroying my equipment, right? Why did it do zero damage? It did zero damage. What? I was nowhere near. What? I'm nowhere near them. I'm getting hit. Yeah, it's glitchy. It's definitely glitchy. It's laggy. Wow, it's actually getting laggier as I play. It is. It's getting laggier as the match goes on. Not good. What? I didn't even get hit, and look how much health I just lost. Now I can't heal. Yep. The healing doesn't work. What the fuck? Okay, it only worked that time. Not that time, though. It's only working half the time. Weird. I'm not I'm nowhere near them. They're getting health back. Can't move. They got all their health back. What? How'd they get all the health back? They didn't even heal.
What? I'm not even near them. How many items do they have? <laughs> Seriously. Can't heal again. Why is their sword gone? They just headbutted me. Why'd they put their sword away? Whoa, I couldn't... Did you see that? I couldn't attack them. <laughs> what the fuck? Infinite combo. I'm stuck. I can't move. Infinite headbutt combo. This game is so broken. Got out. Now I got another sword. Oh no, it's the same sword. Can't roll, can't get out of the way. What hit me? I'm nowhere near them. This game sucks when it comes to the PvP. Completely stupid. How are they hitting me when they're nowhere near me? Nowhere near me again. Yeah, it's so broken. Again, why am I getting hit? Nowhere near them. Yeah, fuck, they're so dumb. It's not fair or fun at all. It's broken. You were nowhere near me. You were absolutely nowhere near me, hitting me from half the screen away. They had infinite items to toss at me, right? How many items did they fucking have? An unlimited amount of items to throw. <laughs> that is so fun. Yeah, it's really fun, all right. Well, whatever. Completely broken garbage. Now, let me guess. Now it respawned the fucking dudes, right? Now they're back. Now the fucking magicians are going to be back. And I got to do this all over again. My god, it's so broken. It's just bullshit. You're telling me they re-released the game and they couldn't make it work better? The, the, en she's not, the, the enemy's not even near me. And it's fucking hitting me from across the room. <laughs> the, across the room, I was losing 60% damage. They're not even touching me. Oh my god, the game sucks. They never, they never made the PvP val valid at all in this. Of course this game is awesome. I love this game. I really do. The game is a piece of fucking shit. Now I gotta kill the mages again, so I don't even know if I'm gonna get to the fight. This is so dumb. Pinrin Pan. Pinrin Pan. Oh, it's the Juggernaut! So if I get to the guy and I don't beat him this time, the human, I'll probably go to stage 1-3 and do that. So at least we have something constructive to do for the rest of the stream. Sure, it's the Crescent Falchion. Alright, let's see how this guy fights. Ready? Actually. I'm not gonna fuck around. Never mind. They don't allow you to. No, now I'm screwed. Who is the Juggernaut, bitch? Spear. I recognize it. I can't roll. Yep. Silly bitch, your weapons cannot harm me. I couldn't even do anything.
you a fucking ass? Just trying to break all my equipment. That's all it is. What? I can't even do anything. Every time I press a button, I get backstabbed. Seriously. Every time I press a button, I get completely backstabbed. They just keep getting backstabs when they're not behind me. The game sucks. The, the PvP is still just as bad as it ever was. They never fucking fixed it to work. Yes, just keep getting backstabs when you're not behind me. Great game. So fun. By the way, they, they lost no health. It's so fucked up. They lost zero health. I don't give a damn. <sighs> I'm made out of laughing taffy, This is so stupid. <laughs> Health they're getting back to a ton. It's not even like they're getting a little bit of health back. They're, they're getting all their fucking health back. I just got hit by nothing. My dude, it's not healing me. What is going on? What? <laughs> not, even me, not even next to me. Huh? <laughs> this game is terrible online. Seriously, worst fucking experience. What's hitting me? I can't do anything. They recover in time to heal, and I can't hit them because I'm knocked down so long. They're trying to go for the headbutt, the headbutt infinite, like the other person did. Oh my god. Oh, it's time, baby. <laughs> this is the most stupid, broken, pointless shit. That's why this boss is basically the ultimate troll part of this game, you know? Again, I can't even hit them. I'm nowhere near them. <laughs> I 
Getting hit by the magic. I'm nowhere near them. Uh. What? Why? I can't get up. Now they're going to get to heal. I can't get up. It's so broken. Couldn't get over there, wouldn't let me. I was like moving in slow fucking motion because I'm playing online. I can't get to them when they're healing. Got you, dumbass. Nowhere near them. What do you want me to do? I've been waiting for this shit all my motherfucking life. Not near them. Now they get a free heal. This game sucks. <laughs> this is so bad. I'll parry in the middle of my fucking hit after I already parried them. <laughs> Not parried, pushed them. Look at my biceps! What's hilarious is they're not timing it. It just it just works because it's glitched online. They're not timing the parry, they're just getting it. Piss back your ears! There's nothing I can do about any of this. There's nothing you can do about any of this. It's so broken. Can't I, look at that! I hit them and it did zero damage. <laughs> it's fucking waste of time. It's a waste of time. That did some good damage. Huh? How did I get- I had to get a backstab! Where's my 50 bucks? You know you owe me, motherfucker, from the last time. What? Okay. This is torture, I agree. This is utter waste of time. This is like, complete time waster bullshit. Who the fuck would want to actually play this, like, legit, and try to do this? This was stupid. You can't be serious! This motherfucker talking about me?! Haha! <laughs> it's so- it's so delayed, it won't even allow me to, to heal. They get to completely run across the entire thing and hit me from behind while I'm healing. What the fuck is this shit?! What? Okay. What hit me? Dude, it's so yeah, laggy. Now what, motherfucker? It's so laggy they get a backstab from that.
See, I can't get over there because of the lag. Now we're back to the stupid shit again. Yup. Back to this again. Not even near me. The hitbox is nowhere near me. Yeah, I'm just gonna quit out. I'm seriously just gonna quit out. There's no point in doing this fight any longer. All it's doing is displaying how broken the fucking game is. It's stupidly unfair. Online, you'll never get a fair match against anybody. I'm gonna fuck from the dragon, my bitch! <laughs> I can't, look, I can't even stand up. Now back to the scraping spear. They get a backstab. All right, I give up. I give up. Fuck this. I don't, I don't have. I was gonna say I could use a parrying shield. I don't have a parrying shield. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna fuck around. <laughs> Two naked people. Two naked people duking it out. <laughs> well, there's nothing you can do. It's completely unfair. It's not fair at all. No, of course, all my, all my equipment's broken. So I have to go use stupid souls and waste souls in order to get all my equipment repaired. Yeah, it's completely broken. I'm not going to be able to beat. I, I, seriously, I don't see how you're supposed to beat someone doing that. Because they, they know how to abuse the lag and shit, and it doesn't even play like the real game. You're, like, they're hitting you from half a screen away. It's super abusing nonsense, dude. Alright, well, I gotta repair all my equipment now. Like, I'm completely naked. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'll excuse just lucky it's me. 10,000. No interest, eh? I can tell you're not gonna lie. Okay. I can forge weapons. Okay. Yeah, so sadly now, I, I have no healing items. I don't have enough. I wouldn't even have enough to fight them again if I wanted to. So I'm just going to go to, like I said, I'm going to go to one to three. And we'll do that. And basically, Old Monk is just going to be the thing that I have to eventually be. And I have to eventually get someone who's not a crazy lag abuser. Or I could just turn the game offline and just fight the fucking AI, you know? <clears throat> Since... These people are not going to do fair fight. They're going to keep abusing the fucking broken ass game. There's nothing you can do about it. So, all right, in a ward. <laughs> okay, okay. Get a backstab. All right, I give up. I give up. Fuck this. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Knuckle, knuckle. Oh, I, don't have, I was gonna say I could use a parrying shield. I don't have a parrying shield. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. Knuckle, knuckle. Fuck around. Alright, hey! Goodbye. <laughs> See you again next. Well. Okay. So now this will open. I remember. The, I remember at least the earlier area of this level. <clears throat> A ton of, of uh, the glowing eye dudes. Yeah. Retro Jim resell for 17 months. Said, "Have a holiday, like Christmas, Phil Jasper, uh, Phil Cat and Jasper." Thank you, Retro Jim. Um. Yes, yep, called it. We talked about that article yesterday. I'm not going to talk about it again. 
Gorilla Pimp cheered. He's talking about Mayweather. All they do is he's like Mayweather. All they do is run for their opponents. Friend of Lichu says, "Don't give up." Oh my God, he trots away all happy. <laughs> all right, yes, I remember this room has a ton of enemies in it, and yeah, I, I specifically remember this room because this is a great grinding place. Where if you grind in this in this area, the starting area, you can get a ton of healing items and shit. Yeah, I remember. All right. Well, let's take a break. Come back with about another hour, and we'll go in one three and see how far I can get. All right. <clears throat> it's fine. A great sword. Wow, it's really great. Okay, so let's take. This is not the boss yet. No way. It takes us to the next area. Uh, wow, excuse me. That is disgusting. Disgusting stuff, guys. Hey, he's ignoring us, guys. Did you say sucker? He said, hey, sucker. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Horse shit! What? Wow! They would not allow me to heal. They would not allow me to heal. Super Dot Choosing the movie Big Daddy. Have you ever watched the scene where Adam and the little boy are going for McDonald's breakfast? I've seen the movie, so the answer has to be yes, I guess. Well, now I get to go through the whole stage again. Isn't that delightful? The game would not allow me to heal. I kept trying, and I kept getting interrupted by bullshit. <clears throat> oh, here we go again with the bullshit. Alright, fuck this. Oh, they won't let me go back! Are you kidding me? They w it's an invisible wall. The ladder is an invisible wall, and they won't let you roll off the ledge. Oh my god. It's all these things I don't remember about this game. Like, in Dark Souls, you would have rolled right off the ledge. In Demon's Souls, the ladder is a fucking invisible wall. So fucking lame. <laughs> so lame. <clears throat> it's official. I suck. What the fuck? He doesn't attack. I'm like, where's my attack? Where the fuck is it? It doesn't come out. <laughs> Let me give you my honest opinion. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, at this point, I'm, I'm kind of tired of the game. I really am. Like, it was fun two, three weeks ago when I started playing it, but now it's like, I, you know, it's not a great game. It's just not. It's nowhere near as good as Dark Souls. And this final stage, I remember being very annoying. You don't get a checkpoint until you open that gate up there at the top of the stairs. And it takes a while to get to that gate. And you just don't want to have to redo the whole stage from the start. You know? It's fucking boring to have to redo it over and over. Like, I don't want to fight the same dudes a million times. It's very... I'm glad I'm near the end of the game. Like I said, this is really the final stage. And this is bosses. But it's... They really saved the worst for last. It's so boring. It's also kind of lame that this is like the finale and you're fighting generic troops and shit, you know? You already fought the coolest stuff in the game by now. I was holding block. Whoa, the block came out late. You saw that? I, I pressed block. It didn't even come out right away. Yeah, it came out super late. He hit the wall with a shield. What the fuck? Uh, so boring. <laughs> I'm so bored. Oh, great! I landed on the stupid fucking thing. I landed on the stupid fucking... I'm so bored. <laughs> I really am. Uh. Oh. Look who's loving <laughs> now. <clears throat> I 
I'm honestly happy I'm almost done with it at this point. This kind of game I feel is more enjoyable if you actually take time and grind. I think, that, you know, if I had higher levels, if I was able to grind for the crafting materials, max out my weapon levels and stuff, I would have liked it a lot more. I would like it a lot more, but I remember my first playthrough, I died like like an insane amount of times, like 300, 400 times or something. But that's because I, I used to play it offline when I wasn't streaming. I would grind and get extra stuff. Like, just to play through it is kind of boring, honestly, at this point, at the end, too. Like, this is the final state. Like, there's nothing interesting about this. I'm standing on his head. I was standing on his helmet. It hit in the ass by an arrow. <laughs> Shook in the ass! Oh! Oh, boy. Here's one. That's... Oh, no. There's two. What are they doing? Oh, shit. Are they fighting the guy? Oh, no. You didn't even know the camera was on. You know every inch of... You know every inch of my dick and balls. Are you the guy? You know every inch of my dick and balls. It's the guy. <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that got caught, Matt? Yes! Really? I'm dead. I had no idea the guy was hiding in the corner there. I thought he was further in the stage. I had no idea he was hiding in the corner, so I didn't know that would happen. That completely took me by surprise, man. Now, he didn't die yet. By the time that I died, he hadn't died, so maybe he'll survive it. I'm not sure. <laughs> The penetrator. Oh, I got penetrated. You don't want to be butt fucked. Trust me. We are wrapping up. Okay, we are wrapping up. Um, you know what I really wish you could do is you. I wish you could bank souls, and here's why. I say that. What I would like to do is bank my fifty nine thousand five hundred twenty souls, and then I'd like to go fight old monk, and just keep trying to beat it legit. Until I do, which eventually I will. Um, so next time around when I play Demon Souls, it'll be the final session, the conclusion. And what I will do is we'll try to take on the Old Monk legit a few more times. We'll see. Maybe I'll spend an hour doing it, right? If I can't beat it legit and I just keep getting cheesed out by fucking people who abuse the online system and I have to beat the fucking thing offline, then I'll do it. But I, I'm going to beat this game on Sunday, okay, when I play it again. So... That's what we'll do. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a try. I'll legitimately try to beat the old monk as hard as I can. You know, I'll give. I'll really give it the old college try, as they say. I'll give it the old Silvano thumb try. And if it works, great. And if not, then we'll go offline. We'll beat it. And then we'll go to the end of the game, which is 1-4. And then the final boss and all of that. Okay? Fair enough. I'm going to at least give it a shot on Sunday when I play this again. Alright, so. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the conclusion of my Demon Souls on PlayStation 5 playthrough. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it up to now. The Old Monk boss, which we still have to beat the summon boss, and I've told everyone today on the stream I'm going to give an honest try to try to beat this boss, and we're going to hope that I can. I don't know if it's guaranteed if I will or not, but I'm going to really concretely try to kill the Old Monk boss today. If I can't, and I have to go offline, there's nothing I can do about it. I need to beat this game today, so if I have to, I have to, but I will legitimately try to fight that boss more today but before we do anything all right so hallelujah he reigns gifted another 10 subs one to toilet wad 23 one to george pone one to heck mech one to steven siegel plays galsiv one to yo bones one to grinbert one to fat farm one to the kings of soccer messy one to eric 92273 and one to rat fuxer also sir spartan king took the dollar and said glasses sir and then KH and I took me $2 to tell me about the Katana's thrusting attacks. So we're now up to $53, $52 in tips. So I can put on the gunner glasses. Okay. Thank you guys for the support today. We're at $52, $52 in tips. Also, Django Pops gifted us up to Knight of the DSP Republic. So ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially at... 953 subscriptions. 
So yes, we've hit the tier 2 subs goal. Unless someone can come up with a, a good tier 3 subs goal, I think we've hit the subs goal for the month. Although we are 47 shy of 1,000. I'm, I'm just kidding. No, you know, we, it, not a big deal. Talk about a greedy old fuck. <clears throat> Ever upward, as they say, right? Alright, guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Obviously, the Hallelujah he reigns for all these crazy gifted subs today. I appreciate that. <laughs> Always counting towards the next goal. The next goal is 3,000 subs. <laughs> no, it's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Uh, oh my god, it's disgusting. If I equip the cat ring, I should survive this fall. Now, it looks like those items are higher up. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Patches is down there somewhere, I think, right? I don't need the cling ring right now. I'm not dead. That was not good. That did not work out how I had planned. <laughs> that really stunk, actually. Okay. It's KH Knight. If I can get to him, I'm fighting KH Knight. But I have to get past these fucking mages first. Alright, you know what? Just to be safe. Because I want to fight KH Knight. Oh, you can't? Oh, come on. I didn't... Oh, I keep... For... I keep forgetting. If When you get invaded, you can't use that. Now I'm going to have so much less health. This sucks. I'm going to have so much less health. I don't know how to do... I would do a gesture to him, but I don't remember how to do gestures. Is it the D-pad? No. How do you do gestures in this one? Uh... There you go. How do you bow? There we go. I bow to you. You put an item down, but I don't know what it is. What is that? What the hell is that? Look at that thing. Yellow. An item? I don't know if I need it. Oh, Moonshade Stone Chunk if I want to upgrade the, uh... Whatchamacallit. Alright, you guys ready? I'm gonna fight him now. Oh, he's putting down more items. He's helping me to upgrade. Thank you. So I can upgrade the Crescent Falchion. Hello, J Jose Martinez. Thanks for the cheer. I'm doing good today. Thanks for asking. Alright. We got more items, more chunks. Oh, Dragonstone as well. Cool. All right, we're ready to fight. Sharpstone. There we go. He's got the fucking Moonlight Greatsword. Large Sharpstone. Oh my god. Put down a bunch of shards. Okay. Look at the range. Oh wait, these chairs are fucking annoying. Did that hit me? It didn't hit me, but the flame effect still got on me. That's weird. Chairs are fucking super annoying. What are you doing? The hell? I don't know what that is. Miracles and shit, I don't know what they are. I'm just throwing daggers. can't roll. I try to roll on reaction. It doesn't come out because of the lag. So it's impossible to accurately dodge any attacks someone's doing.
You got a spear. I got hit by no he wasn't attacking and I got hit. <laughs> wow. Very accurate hit detection. that. See, I don't know what that is. Just stay away. Back to the spear. getting his health back. So he has a regeneration ability that I don't have. So he gets all his health back. I couldn't even do anything. I couldn't move. Once he hit me with the first hit, I couldn't even do anything. Because it's, it's so laggy. You can't react to their attacks at all. It's basically you're just guessing what they're gonna do, and you're just trying to like, like, like. For I got the backstab. I guessed he was gonna do an attack, and I circled behind it. But like, you literally you cannot react to the gameplay because it lags so bad. So it's not actually a PvP match. It's just kind of like rock paper scissors. It's pretty stupid in that regard. I really, like, it's, I said I would do this for about an hour, and I will, but I'm totally not wasting time after an hour. I'm just going to go to the end of the game, so fuck this. And they redo the game. 11 years, they remake the game, and they still leave it fucked up. It's like, damn, man. They couldn't fix this shit? Turn around. Oh, my God. So boring. How the fuck did they not fix this? They're so dumb, man. Lazy-ass fucking remake. Great graphics, subtle improvements like the inventory system, but this is just fucking stupid. I don't want to fight this guy 5,000 times. See him again? He got him again. Cool. I'll try again. The thing is, I don't know. I don't know what's causing him to regenerate. This hell. <clears throat> what happened there? I don't even know. I couldn't attack. Wow, that's range right there. He's getting all his health back. He's tanking me, why? He's gonna die this way. Whoa, I just realized he got 50% health back. I had no idea. I stabbed him in his leg, dude. It did so much damage.
Oh, he got out of range that time. Oh, he didn't even touch me. I got hurt. <laughs> right. Wow, what's one hit? One hit was my whole life bar. Yep. One hit is the whole life bar. <laughs> so stupid. At least now. Since I, if people are saying I'm already in full Dark World tendency, then I might as well just fucking use this, right? The boredom continues. I don't mind the fight against the old monk. I don't want to do this fucking staircase a million times because the game is poorly designed. It's so fucking stupid. What happened? It's not summoning. What the fuck? Okay, I was delayed. Conversalist cheer. You say if you do research, you'll get a better understanding and a setup for this. You probably would be less bored if you provide better entertainment for the audience. Would you agree or not? What am I supposed to do to entertain you when I have to do this fucking staircase a million times exactly? Should I should I describe each stair in detail and tell you how the haptic feedback I can feel it I can feel my foot touching the step as I walk up the same staircase for the 27th time? There's nothing to do here. It's boring. The game is poorly made. It always what this part of the game was always poorly made and they just didn't do anything to improve it. It's just super annoying. At least KH Knight is being fair with the fight and he's not doing fucking super cheesy shit, you know? It's making it at least a, an interesting fight. I just want to fight him over and over. I don't want to have to do the staircase 47 times. But the game forces you to because it's poorly made. And they did not improve it. They didn't even try. It takes longer to do the staircase than the fucking fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, I did like no damage. Even though it looked like a clean hit, it didn't make the slashing sound, so it did no damage. Wow, okay. Whoa! Talk about a late attack. He interrupted my attack. The attack came out after his hit. Yeesh. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I thought there was something new over there. I was like, what is that? <laughs> It was just a fucking phantom. I can't even see I'm stuck in the wall because of the camera. Amazing. Can you shield break in this? I don't even know. Because I haven't done enough of it. To try it. I don't know if you can actually shield break. I couldn't hit him. Even though I was behind him, I couldn't hit him. I rolled and nothing happened at all. Great. So I did get a, a hit in, but then he pushed in the middle of the combo, which I didn't want, obviously. What was that? I don't even know what that was. <laughs> I don't have no idea what that was. Right? I was dealing insane damage and then I just instantly dead. Okay. Amazing. Well, you see how broken the game is? Like, what's the point of being able to be interrupted if your attack still comes out anyway? Because I interrupted the attack, yet it still hit me anyway. So what's the point of having... <laughs> Well, I'll try it a few more times. Like I said, if I can't beat him, I'm out of here. I'm just going to kill the AI. I don't care. I just want to fucking beat the game at this point. <clears throat> okay. Oh, my God. I just really wanted to watch this cutscene again. I've forgotten all about it. Uh, oh. Jethro's main says, I watch other people play this part and no one says this part's poorly made except you. Why is that? Because they're they're FromSoft ball suckers. They suck the balls of FromSoft constantly because they cater to that audience. And, you know, if they actually criticize the game, 
their audience would revolt against them. So they just got to keep sucking the balls. That's why. And Swaggin says, if you're going to keep shitting on the game, then you don't want to learn it. Just drop it. This is lame. You're right. This game is lame. <laughs> you're right. If I remember correctly, in the original Old Monk boss fights, didn't I trade death with one of them? Like, didn't I, um... Oh, it's actually not KH Monk this time, by the way. Or KH Monk. KH Knight. It's somebody else. So this will be interesting to see who this is going to be and how they're going to fight me. Is he going to turn around or what? Come on. This is the pro... He really quit! He quit out. He quit out. So that's it now. Actually, now it's AI. Because he quit out. Yeah. Now it's AI. He quit. He didn't want to wait. Well, I still gotta fucking kill these two mag magicians. He said, cheese my way to victory. I didn't do it. I wanted to fight the guy. He left. Well, I'll try it a few more times. Like I said, if I can't beat him, I'm out of here. I'm just gonna kill the AI. I don't care. I just wanna fucking beat the game at this point. Now everyone's complaining. I didn't make the game. So here, here's the thing with this game. If you're gonna take the broken shit, you also have to take the stupid shit that, that benefits you, right? It's both. So, the game's poorly made at this point. You have to fight insanely overpowered magicians that are the toughest enemies in the game right now in this stairwell, okay? You have to do it over and over. You have to watch the cutscene over and over. Unskippable. The PvP is irrevocably broken, and in 11 years, and they remake the game, they don't fix it. So, the game breaks. For some reason, the guy who I'm supposed to fight leaves. What do you want me to do? <laughs> what exactly do you want me to do? I didn't make the game. I only play the game. Now, fuck this. What's funny is, he takes less damage than KH and I did. Look, he has higher defense for some reason. I mean, he sucks. He's bleeding and he sucks, but you know. <laughs> you see blood gushing out of the body. Pretty cool effect. He countered me. Did you see that? He actually interrupted my combo. I better heal just in case. Win. Alright, fuck old monk. Fuck, fuck the stupid broken parts of this game. Dumb shit. I would have fought a human, but the game, the game fucked up. So what do you want me to do? Here's what you do. Write from soft and write blue point. And you say, why are you guys suck so bad that you didn't fix the old monk boss fight? There you go. Okay. Alright. Now, all we have left to do is 1-4. One, one, uh, one and that's the end of the game. <laughs> Ugh. Amazing gameplay. Oh, what the hell? It's Patches. Wow. I remember you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're here. Long been acquainted, so I'll give you a good price. Eh? Yeah, a good price, my ass. <laughs> Patches the hyena. He sells uh, good healing items. The full moon grass is good. He basically sells the best stuff you want. You want the fresh spice to rejuvenate your MP. Yeah, he sells all the stuff that you probably wanted the whole game. He actually sells the fragrant ring. I already found it, but he sells it. He sells the cat ring too. He sells new moon grass. He sells a lot of good shit. Dark wood grass too. I don't need any of it. Okay. All right. Fine. All right. Um. So. The soul of the old monk, a source of enormous power. Eat him. All right. I'm gonna level up here. <laughs> Everyone's just spamming boo. Seraph, Seraph, lol. Just cheers. You could have restarted and got a new opponent, dude. I told you I wasn't gonna do this all day. I gotta beat this game today. 
I'm not fucking doing 25 streams of playing people who abuse the online play of this broken game that they spent 11 years figuring out how to how to cheese it. I'm just going to beat the game. <laughs> so, yeah, if you don't like that, oh well, it's your own opinion, but I don't give two fucks. I tried. I fought him a million times. You know, what are you going to do? Uh, Jad F. Chase, if you didn't get any pride in accomplishment, you're right. I didn't care about it either. <laughs> I really don't care about it. All right. Um, well, Dexterity, obviously, is going to go a lot more damage. Yeah, fuck it. Just do it. Dexterity. Okay. Crazy Dex. 34 Dex. Jesus. All right. All right, so, there's nothing really left besides the final stage and the final boss, so let's check it out. Oh, actually, I should repair my, uh, my stuff. I can forge weapons. Okay. Alright guys, please stop spamming boo now. I let you do it for about five minutes. Please stop now. So I can <laughs> we can actually talk with people. <laughs> Gabe Lackmon, 12 cheese and more cheese, please. Have some cheese, rat. <laughs> DSP High Council is considering stripping your title of the King of Retro and devoting you to Prime Minister of Cheese. Alright, if I remember correctly, this final stage is annoying. If I remember, the placement of enemies and stuff is pretty annoying. Was a Drake. Storied warrior soul. Um nothing else. Alright, three red guys. Fucker. That was the hokey pokey. The big ass shield, that's the Tower Knight shield. Another 16,000 souls. The tower shield. Don't I already have that? I thought I already had it. <clears throat> okay. All right. Conversal is cheering that we're not mad. We're just disappointed. Well, what did you think was going to happen? I told you I'm not going to do that forever. I'm not going to do multiple streams of this stupid broken old monk. It's a fucking waste of time. It's not a fair fight at all. It's not fun. It's just cheese. It's ultimate cheese bullshit. Why would I care about that? I didn't care about it seven years ago. I didn't care about it. The second time I played, I couldn't even do it legit because the online didn't exist. They shut down the servers. I still don't care about it. It's still broken and I still don't care. <laughs> okay. Look for treasures. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a... Uh... Lizard. Hardstone chunk. Huh? End the stream while I'm only a little behind. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay. Alright, Golden Colts is throwing tomatoes at me. Very nice. Red eye guy.
My weight capacity is exceeding. What the fuck? Forgot he gave me all these items. There we go. Okay. Conversion list cheese for what it's worth that when I was fighting with those people, it was entertaining. I know, and that's why I wanted to do it. I wasn't just going to cheese it from the outright. I wanted to give it a shot. I wanted to see, you know, if I could beat it legit. And I, I could have... I, I truly believe that if I wanted to waste a ton of time, which I don't want to do, I would have eventually won. It would have taken forever, but I would have eventually won. The problem is I don't want to go up that staircase a million times. It's boring as fuck. I don't want to watch the cutscene another 72 times. It's boring. If they would just let you go right to the boss over and over, I'd have no problem trying that over and over. But the problem is they fucked it up. That fight is stupid. Oh, great. It's a big fucking sword. That is a big sword. I wonder if he drops that sword. <clears throat> Melody Zelda says, Why am I the only one who has to beat a PvP opponent when everyone else can beat the AI and not get hate? Why? Because I'm Dark Side Phil and people meme it up. That they judge me unfairly, they just make fun of me. Even if I had beaten that guy, it wouldn't have mattered. They still would have complained and said that it wasn't legit. Seriously, if I had beaten KH Knight or that other guy who invaded... They still would have said, oh, that's not good enough, because that's all they do. It's safe here. Yes, it is. Blue Eye Knight Greaves. <laughs> Steven Seagull cheered. He says, someone granted me a sub for one month. I don't know what it is, but shout out to Hala Hallelujah He Resides. I think it was Hallelujah He Reigns. And yes, they, they gifted a ridiculous amount of subs. Yes, I don't know what's with the spam. I didn't order any with my breakfast. No, just just people being stupid as usual. Oh, look, kids, yeah, not invading. He's going to show up here. I knew I remembered dragons. I knew I remembered dragons in this part. Well, that was invigorating. There's no other way to go here, right? You just, yeah, that's it. I don't really care about those items. I wonder if you can kill him with the bow and arrow here, right? You can probably shoot him with bow and arrow until he dies. It'll probably take forever. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he scared me. Yo, KH Knight. Dude, you fucking scared the shit out of me. I thought there was a fucking serious enemy that was going to fuck me up. We can fight right well. Damn, this is a shitty place to fight. I would like to fight somewhere legit. There's nowhere good to fight on here, I don't think, right? There's like nowhere good to go. Is there an open area we can fight? Over here, maybe? Eh. Because no, doesn't the dragon still spew fire here? Oh, it blows away. Maybe we can fight right here. Where, uh, where did he go? Oh, he ran over there. I think the dragon, I was just going to say, I think the dragon goes higher up. I thought I remembered that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, hallelujah, he ranges gifted 25 more subs to the channel. Holy shit. That's a lot of subs for today, man. Can we fight here? Will the dragon, um, not bother us? The night shield and a night... Ow. <laughs> I guess we're gonna fight here in this narrow-ass area. Great. I should get out the door. I can't believe it. What? <laughs> he teleported through the door and got a backstab. Even though I was facing the door. Holy teleportation, Batman. I rolled. Got him. I beat him. I actually beat him. <laughs> I actually beat him. Well, there you go. 
<laughs> I trapped him in the corner and beat him. Ugh. Oh. All right. So anyway, <laughs> shout outs here. Wait, hallelujah! Or he reigns gifted two twenty five sub bombs. He did. Yeah. What is going on? So anyway, Gabe Lackman twelve cheered and said everything is fine. It's everything is fine. Meme. Everything's burning. Nothing is burning at all. At all. Um. Melody Zelda did a 100-bit cheer, said, Why try to appease an audience that will never give you due credit? Because a part of the game is challenging yourself, and obviously I could have cheesed the Old Monk boss from the start. I didn't want to... <laughs> I'm not even touching my controller. <laughs> I'm not even... <laughs> anyway. Um, obviously, in fact, where are we with subs right now? 1,005 subscribers. We have gone over 1,000. Keep in mind, next month is going to be very hard to do any kind of subscriber goal because we're going to dip hundreds and hundreds of subs right near the first week of the month. So, today's the six, right? Okay. All right. I did not use a password for KH and I to fight me. I absolutely, I did not. Yeah, I didn't do I didn't orchestrate anything or do anything, guys. He just kept joining the game by himself. I didn't do I didn't I wanted it to be that if other people wanted to join, they would be able to. I didn't do anything there. He just kept doing it himself. Okay. We gotta go back to one one, right? Alright, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I received a forty-four dollar anonymous tip. Which means that we hit the tips goal for today. It was the gravy train, baby. I was making insane amounts of money. Like dirty, rotten, this is way too much fucking money for just playing video games kind of money. <clears throat> I didn't use a password. So you guys, you idiot, idiotic conspiracy theorist morons can believe whatever the fuck you want. I don't even know how to use the password. I did not use any password to get him to join. He just did it on his own. All right. <laughs> Stupid people. All right. So I better save, by the way. Here we go. The conclusion after the break. All right. No, I don't. My head is black. Black like the blackest night. <laughs> okay. Back to the first world to go to the mausoleum. ML Gibson shoots and when's the redemption run? Uh, when they re-release this for PS7. It'll be the redemption run. So, shout out to Why Can't We Be Friends, because people are actually already asking for a Sekiro Redemption run. That's because they're morons. Oh, fucking shit. Where would be the safe spot to fall? I'm not really seeing it. Like, the safe spot to fall and not die? I'm not really seeing the spot. Maybe... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no! I, oh, I slipped. I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. I think I see there's a hole in the wood that you're supposed to fall. Shout out to Storm HD who just sent me $5. Thank you very much, Storm HD, for the sub. This is a heads up. When you go back to the Nexus, your tendency resets. You cannot do the event. You get a really good ring when the Blue Drake where the Blue Drake slept. That helps with armor. Oh yeah. So the Blue Drake isn't there anymore, is what you're saying. I can go to where the Blue Drake used to be and do and get an item. This is like two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. I did it again. I fell. <laughs> I keep falling. Oh my god. At this point, I'm not going to beat the game. I didn't understand. I didn't know there was all this extra shit. I had no idea that there was all this extra shit to do. It was like, this is like a whole new area of the game now. And I don't know what's over here. Now where can I drop? Oh, come on. I slid again. <laughs> I slid again, dude. Come on. Oh my god. Is 
Is there nothing else here? I guess that's it. I guess we're done. <laughs> I guess we're done. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought that was something. Apparently it wasn't. It was death. It was actually death. All right. Well, fuck that. All right. So we need to get to where the knight was. The um, the red eye knight. You guys remember the red eye knight? That's where we're headed because we've got to get to the mausoleum, right? Mausoleum. All right. Let's go. That mausoleum. <laughs> Great balls of fire. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. I am the old king. Why did I do no damage? I can't hurt him. What the fuck? Is he glitched? Nothing hurts him. He doesn't really hit for much, but I can't hurt him. Like, this could take a couple hours. I can't hurt him because I interrupted him for no reason. Well, luckily he doesn't hit me for anything either. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't really hit for anything. Well, old boss, you have impressed one such as me, young knight. I am old King Doran. Where's he going? What the fuck? Strength to me. Oh. Sword in my hand. Oh. Okay. He's bleeding, which is great. He hits for a lot. Whoa! I tried to block. I instantly died. I could have beat him. I just didn't know that he couldn't block. I had no idea you couldn't block him. That's crazy. He went right through my attack. Why is he not moving now? What the fuck? He glitched. Oh, come on. That's cheap bullshit. Are you kidding me? He glitches and then he unglitches and insta-kills me. Fuck, man. Fuck you. What an asshole. What a fucking asshole. That's, that's cheap bullshit right there. The game glitched. Oh, my God. It's so annoying. How the hell is he so damage resistant? I rolled. It didn't work. Wow. Well, forget this. It's so stupid. I already got his sword. How did I already get his sword? What are you talking about? I have half of his sword. It says he had, he's using the soul brand. I have the demon brand. It's a different sword.
It's a big elevator. I'm really trying to build up that dramatic end. We're here. Isn't this the guy with the sword and when he when he uses it, it like does a shock wave or something? I think so. I think that's what this is. Dark side Elon, I says I missed his share. What's going on? Wait, what? What happened? No, I don't want to go back down. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Doesn't do anything. He's immune to arrows. There we go. False King's Trophy. Slayer of Demon False King. That's the end. You get a trophy for combining them? Oh, yeah. The old one, along with the maiden, was swept back into the lulling fog. Volataria was spared from the demons but also lost its knowledge of the soul arts. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. Sure. A brave <laughs> new hero of unprecedented power. Pretty cool how it looks, for sure. Makes no sense, but it looks cool. Thank you, Pragmatic Tactics, for another cheer. He said it wouldn't have been possible without Jim Bob. And thanks for the gameplay DSP. Alrighty then, thank you for the cheers. <laughs> That's it. Skip that. The Maiden in Black's Demon Soul. Obtained. Withdrawn. So it just resets. You get basically this is new game plus one. Yep. New game plus one. Human mm. names, it's simply trade with your souls. Upgrade this for me. He won't do it. He's a jerk. He won't do it. How do you uh Sorry. How would you forge the the two together to get the trophy? Ah, oh, well, <laughs> I don't want to redo the whole first level, so. All right, guys, so that's it for my Demon Souls PS5 run. First of all, my God, visually the game looks so very different from the original. Um, Gameplay-wise, almost identical to the original. The only difference, I would say, is the eight-way roll. It makes it a little bit more maneuverable, for sure. But outside of that, the PvP is still as broken as ever. The enemies are still as OP as ever. I mean, holy crap, the game is cheesy as fuck. So, damn. It was a fun run. Um, I would like to see them possibly redo other other From Software games. Like, I would see it like a modern a PS5 version of Dark Souls 1 would be probably outstanding. Although I would definitely like to see improvements to the game engine. Rather than with this game, it's almost identical game engine except for 8-way roll. It really feels like you're playing the original Demon Souls. Um, 60 frames helps a lot, I'll say that. 60 frames, you saw at the beginning of the playthrough I was parrying and stuff, which I've never done before. Um, that was fun to be able to do that in 60 frames. But outside of that, it's a good game. It's definitely not my favorite by any means. It's actually shorter compared to some of the other Dark Souls games. Um, ooh, um, but I liked it. Thank you to everyone who watched the playthrough. Thank you to everyone who supported the playthrough. It was definitely a good launch title for PlayStation 5 because it showed we can take an old game, but look how we can make it look on PS5. And you look at it, oh my God, you know, this is so effing different from the original game. And in a lot of ways, 
having the improved graphics makes it feel like a better experience. To, seriously, because some of the stuff in the original Demon Souls just looks so bad that it's kind of cheap and cheesy and, and just, you know, this made it feel like a like a triple A level game. So all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for a great playthrough. I really appreciate all the support during the playthrough as well. And let me know for sure if you would like to see a New Game Plus run sometime in the future. I would consider it. But for now, that's it for Demon Souls. Stick a fork in it. What's funny is I never knew, thought I would play this again. If you remember, the last playthrough was supposed to be the final run because the game servers got taken offline and everything. Um, little did we know it was because they were remaking it for this game, right? But I had a lot of fun with it and I hope that you did too. Thank you, everyone, for a great playthrough. Let's actually save for the final time. And thank you to Zebra for a final cheers. And I'm excited for my Game of the Generation countdown coming up. Yes, as long as people remind me, uh, I'm considering doing a Game of the Generation. By the way, this is a different screen now. Maybe because I've already beat it. Um, I'm considering doing a Game of the Generation countdown after my Game of the Year awards. We'll see. Okay, but anyway, guys, thank you very much. Two thumbs up. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Surprise cafe! Devour! Uh, I ended Clown Mode permanently. See you later, Derek.